Hi everyone! Turns out if you don't hit the mute button, it doesn't go live. <laughs> Nothing like starting with tech problems. Welcome everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox. As always, welcome to a very special live stream. Uh, if you could lip sync that first part, that'd be great. So I don't have to repeat it all. But today's stream, of course, is going to be a 12 hour stream in support of Covenant House Toronto. Uh, if you're not familiar with Covenant House, they're an organization that helps to support uh, homeless youth, trafficked youth, and those that are at risk. Uh, they've uh, they've helped more than a hundred thousand uh, young uh, hundred thousand youth since 1982 uh, with uh, you know, trying to get to get back on their feet after they've had challenges. But um, hopefully we'll have a wonderful stream today. I have a goal on the stream set for five thousand uh, dollars to raise for the organization. So if you're able to help support, uh, there is a link in the description you can use that will uh, get you to the donation page. Please don't send it as a super chat. Donations need to go straight to the Covenant House. Uh, I also have it pinned in the top of the chat there if you're uh, if you're in a position to help support that as well. But if not, uh, welcome to the stream and uh, hopefully we'll have a good time today. I have, I think, uh, four games lined up so we can try to change things around a little bit. Not just play a single game the entire 12 hours because that might get monotonous for everybody, myself included. Uh, and uh, yeah, welcome. Uh, big thanks as always to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Really do appreciate the support and a special thanks to all the top tier members that were highlighted uh, right at the start of the stream. My chin looks very chisel. It's the lighting. It's also sort of highlighting my my second chin under here a little bit. <laughs> uh, I got a new lighting setup and camera and stuff um, so that I can use one every once in a while. Um, Covenant House also sent me this T-shirt that has uh, the main mission logo on the front of it. Sorry, the directions are all reversed here on the camera. Um, so they got the, the Covenant House main mission logo on here, and then. Uh, it says main mission on the back as well. I was going to wear it, but it turns out it's a little bit on the snug side. So, you know, rather than looking like I'm wearing a wetsuit, I thought I would just wear a regular t-shirt and good and all. Hey, Nate, how's it going? Yeah, so uh, I thought I would start today with a donation. Um, actually, a couple of people have already donated. Uh, we'll flip over to uh, over to that. A couple of people have already donated to the campaign. Uh, so thank you very much to everyone that has donated. We've got about $150 raised so far towards the goal of 5000 Hopefully we'll do a really well today. Um, so big thanks to George and Cheryl, Beck Mortensen and The Pawn, all of whom donated. I'm going to make a donation to start the stream as well. Um, when you click on the donate button, it brings you over to this page where they make some suggestions for dollar amounts and how, what kind of things it helps to support. Um, so $125, for example, provides a youth with access to health care. $100 provides them with mental health and counseling. $40 provides them with food and shelter for a day. Uh, and then $10 to provide them with just food for the day. But uh, I'm going to put in a different amount here. We'll just, I'm going to donate $200 today. And I'll cover the processing costs. Uh, you can write a message here to me if you like when you make a donation. Uh, so I'm just going to put, uh, you're the best streamer ever. Not biased. <laughs> uh, and then down here, um, you can choose to show your name publicly or not. I'm going to finish the rest of the checkout, um, privately because I, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to show off my PayPal login stuff. That might not be a good idea, right? So I'll go through and finish the rest of that. So make the $200 donation. That'll get us up to $350 to start the stream off. And then uh, hopefully as we progress today, uh, we'll make some good progress as well. There are over 5, Sorry, I just need a... Canadians living with dementia. The Dementia Friendly Canada Project helps people like... Um, download receipt. Resources needed to better support people... Much. How do I get back to my own page? <laughs> Somewhere here I got my own page. There we go. To learn more about the simple and concrete actions you can take, Okay, hold on. I gotta find my own page again. Got it. Okay. Perfect. Alpine credits where homeowners get approved. Hey, I need a loan. I'm looking for a loan. Can I get a forty thousand? Eighty thousand. So we're up to three hundred and fifty dollars so far raised towards the five thousand dollar goal. I'll be checking back on this periodically throughout the stream so we can see how we're progressing, but uh, hopefully everything will go smoothly today. Aside from the tech problems I already started with when I didn't hit the unmute button. Uh, incidentally, I'm sorry for the advertisements on <laughs> Spotify. Hate that. Didn't want it to be like completely silent while I was here talking to you, so I figured I'd have a little bit of background music, but it turns out I get advertisements, so go that. Hello, Cryptic Fox from South Africa and the Del Pesh clan. Well, welcome to the stream. Thank you for, uh, for coming to hang out today. Uh, and it's Canadian dollars, so if you're in the U.S., it goes higher, I think. Uh, yeah, so 
Well, it, or I think when you're entering the amount, it actually puts it in as Canadian dollars. And so it's more like it, um, it's a bit of a discount. <laughs> you were hearing a commercial rabbit, yeah. Turn that down. Uh, let's turn that back up again. Like I said, I, I, maybe there's like a premium thing for uh, Spotify I can get that doesn't have ads. I should probably look into that. I don't typically use it very much. So I thought, uh, thought that would be... Uh, on issue. Um, so I have like four games lined up for today that I thought we'd play. I'm gonna play some Core Keeper. Uh, we'll play some Project Zomboid today, some Elden Ring today, and uh, probably some Seven Days to Die today. I think those will be the four games we'll play today. Uh, a couple of hours dedicated to each one. Uh, I may have to take breaks along the, the way in the stream, so if I do, I have a uh, break slide for that. Uh, and then uh, uh, next week when we do it, we'll play probably four different games than what I played this week, so we get a little bit of variety that way as well well too but uh welcome welcome everyone who's uh who's here so far 119 of you or whatever uh, it's gonna be a long day but it should be fun good uh, i'm gonna get the game all queued up here so we can start playing I'm gonna move my all my, my messaging by the way here uh court keeper guess which clan you belong to good luck with the stream uh i'm gonna assume it's the del pesh clan possibly <laughs> the name might be a slight giveaway Lower your donation was about $35 US with the processing fee. Yeah, so it turns out um, you just get a bit of a discount, right? Because it's in Canadian dollars. So if you, you know, if it's like 40 bucks or whatever, it'll be like 35 US, whatever the conversion is. Uh, I'm going to get uh, it's eight turn off here. Okay. Let's play some games. We played this, uh, what was it, last week we played this a little bit? Um, start game. Oh, good, I can continue. <laughs> I was like, I, I think I had to actually like, manually click save in this game in order to make sure we had it uh, had it all uh, all saved up and ready to go. Ducky Darkling, I'm doing good, thanks, how are you? Okay, I don't remember where we were. <laughs> I remember, I mean, I know we're here. Uh, I gotta turn up the volume here. Oh, wait a minute. Game audio is not working. Oh wait, yeah, there we go. It's good. Forgot there's no music in this game. All right, uh, I don't remember what we were doing. <laughs> Being entirely honest. Tin sword, 74. Oh yeah, we got the slime sword at the end of the last stream. Uh, I'm gonna turn this light off in my face. Uh, we got the slime sword at the end of the last stream, which uh, apparently does a little bit better damage than the one we had. We killed like one of the big, uh, the big bossy dudes. That's what let us unlock this crafting station here, if you haven't seen it. Uh, in here we can craft scanners for the other boss types. And then we got the slime sword in here too. And we got this cool little vendor guy that we got to move in, uh, who sells... Well, junk. He doesn't really have anything really cool. <laughs> but I gather there's more vendors. So similar to uh, Terraria, we can build more housing for them. And my bitrate is going in the toilet. Great. Fabulous. We might have some uh, some internet issues today. That's not great. Game crashed in Snow Wolf. He didn't lose any progress. Looks like it has a pretty reliable autosave. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Excellent. Um, I don't remember where we wanted to go next. So I know that over here there was that giant worm thing. Oh, here it is. That was like digging the path through here. I think that's one of the other boss types. So we can go uh, go do that kind of thing. The food on a tray outside. <laughs> Hey, all name change happened. Rissa, D's nerd girl. Hey, Rissa slash D's nerd girl. Oh, don't want to hit him with a torch. It's probably not the weapon to use. Got him. I gotta reacquaint myself with the controls. It's amazing how bad I am at remembering game controls when I stop playing the game for a day or two. One of the minor challenges of being a variety streamer, I guess. Remember if we we came oh yes we were up here this is where now this this can't be where the boss thing was but my stuff is broken so something wrecked it wasn't me I don't think I should eat something oh yeah uh little cabling bread so good. Hey Emily. Looking for something. <laughs> I 
or what? Oh, wait. Was this where the boss was? What's this thing on the floor here? I thought the boss was farther over there. I thought the boss we ran into was over here. Maybe I'm just misremembering. This might be the spot it was. Got the pattern on the floor. Yeah, I, I'm having issues with my my uh, my internet. It looks like it's it's wavering from like low end. Uh, it's going low and high, in like a big wave. I don't know what the problem is. Not uh, it's not great. Ow! Oh, oh! Don't hit me while I'm looking at my other screen. So nothing like uh, nothing like I can have a 12 hour stream with internet problems. That's great. Fabulous. Oop! Got stuff over here we can mine. Hopefully it'll get uh, it'll get sorted out. I, I yeah, I, I'm looking at the bit right, but it's not like I have the ability to manually adjust it when it's not working the way that it should. Um, it's currently showing 10,000 kilobits per second higher than I actually have it set for, which is great. <laughs> I don't know how it's doing that, but. Uh... It keeps it's dropping way down and then it spikes way up. It's uh probably something to do with my internet. Uh you're gonna put the stream up on your channel. The stream is constantly buffering for me. Uh yeah, the plan is to have it on the channel afterwards. Now YouTube can only take a stream up to twelve hours and then it won't uh it won't create a copy of it. So it will depend on how close we cut it to that line, uh whether it uh it will show up automatically as a as a video, unfortunately. And I don't think I have enough space on my computer to, to record a 12-hour uh, a stream to edit. <laughs> it's a lot of memory. Love your videos. Doesn't matter which game you play. Well, thanks, Anthony. I'm glad you enjoy it. Okay, I need to... I want to rack over to the... Oh, my, maybe I'll keep getting some medals here. We, um, I want to go back over to where that tunnel was, where the giant monster thingy was going through. The cave worm thing that was digging along. I'm pretty sure we have to kill that thing. I don't know if I'm going to need, like, some bombs or something to take care of it, because it whips through pretty fast. Or if it's just going to be a case of, uh, smacking it with my sword a lot, but... Yeah, that's right, that's right, a wave like that. <laughs> Kids device doing updates? I I don't know. It, so download isn't the problem. I have a gigabit download. It's the upload that's the issue. Um, that's what that's what controls the uh, the bit rate throughput or whatever. No, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's as simple as device updates. It's pretty stable right now. Hopefully it'll even out for a while. I don't know. I never know until I go live what it's gonna do. Little interwebs. Oh, you know, I'm coming all the way over here and I don't have a way to fix my pickaxe. Or do I? Oh, I do. I got the repair station. Hooray! Should probably do that. Cryptic, did Covenant House give you a banner to display people's donations? No, they don't have an act, an interactive banner, unfortunately. Uh, I went through all their streaming assets, and they had the uh, the background that I used for uh, when I'm using the, the larger webcam view. Uh, so they had that. Um, the wipe that I'm using is from Covenant House, but they didn't have something that actively shows the donation banner, unfortunately. I was trying to figure out how I could, how I could get uh, OBS to just pull it into the page and display it. Uh, but it wasn't working consistently, so uh, unfortunately we'll just have to check, like spot check in on it periodically, uh, and see how it's going. Uh, because I can't, um, I can't do it. Uh... Oh my god, we're up to seven hundred and seventy dollars already though so far. With uh, with more donations, thank you everyone who's been donating to support to uh, to support the charity. Uh, we had a donation from Jordan, from Ricky Lung, uh, the Del Pesh Clan made a donation. Anthony Mendola, Mark Booth. Uh, myself, of course, and then the three I mentioned already, but we're already up to $770, so thank you all very, very much uh, for that wonderful support. Uh, it's definitely going to help support a great cause. 
Hey, Ed Bob, how you doing? How's it going with the heart? Thanks for the five mem uh, five months of uh, membership and that support. That's fantastic. Ed Bob, appreciate it. Oh, right, I need the drill for that. Still don't know how to make a drill or what the drill even is. Can I hit this thing on the way by? I can. Can I chase it? Oh, it's a little faster than I am. Okay, I did some damage to it. I also got hurt. That hurt. Didn't like it. What the food do again? 45 max health for five minutes plus 2.8. There's um, there was one food we had that healed fairly well. I think it was the mushroom stuff, but I think I might be all out of mushroom stuff. Orange cave guppy. That is not even cooked yet. I don't want that up there. Forgot to cook the guppy. All right, I guess we'll just have some of this orange pudding or whatever. Mmm, yummy. Oh, I should put this table down, too, I guess. Get my stuff repaired. Bloop. Uh, fixed? Yay! Good deal. It kicked you out to an older str Oh, God. Come on, YouTube. Don't be like that. Yeah, I see the concurrent viewers are way low. It just dropped... Dropped hard in the last minute or two. Uh, there's nothing like having a 12-hour stream that's plagued by tech problems. You know, all the times that it could go wrong. Why when I'm doing a charity stream? Uh, it's possible YouTube's having issues, but it's probably a greater probability that it's my internet. You had buff right at the start? Oh, yeah. Is your voice louder than usual compared to the game volume? To me, you seem loud. Uh, I don't think so. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. I mean, my mic is similarly positioned and everything, so I don't know. I'm trying to move the mic a little farther away, it might help. Need IT support. I don't know that IT's gonna help. <laughs> They'll be like, uh, I don't know, it's your internet. Kicked out too, but came back. Well, welcome to everyone who's coming back after YouTube kicked you all. What a great way to start a stream. <laughs> I need to reboot your modem and router. I, I, maybe. I don't know. It's The thing is, it's not consistent. Like, right now, it's perfectly fine. But it just keeps coming in waves. Does sound better? Okay, great. Chop, chop, choppy. The sword's cool and all. What is it? So it's got, like... It slows down the target's movement by 41% for four seconds, which is nice. Um, so if I can smack that big thing, I don't know if it really slowed it down or not. It might not work on bosses. Uh, I don't think I have any skill points to spend. The modem can cause lag spikes. Maybe. Maybe. But if I, but then I gotta shut off the stream for like a minute, like a couple minutes. It, it takes a bit for it to reboot the modem, unfortunately. It's not exactly a fast process. So if it, if, it, if it continues being a problem, I'll uh, I'll try it. Oh, that took a bit. Killed all my torches in here. Little grub things have been attacking my torches. That's rude. Back. Ooh, what kind of fish could we catch here? I wonder. Oh wait, we tried this already. I'm not. I don't have the high enough skill in fishing or the best fishing rod or whatever. And I couldn't couldn't reel anything in. Get next door is mining Bitcoin. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Guess it's not impossible. Oh, here it comes. Come on, big wormy. I wonder if the... I hope the damage actually carries over. No, it looks like he healed. So that's no good. Okay, there must be a trick to getting this guy to come fight. Because uh, he's just... He's just rolling past me the whole time, and that's not going to get us anywhere, because every time he uh, gets out of sight, getting all healed up or whatever, that's no good. I don't think it's a, just a mobile thing, Jason, because I, like, I have seen my bitrate go all over the place. I can see tons of people have gotten booted and had to come back. Oh, good times. 
I don't think that's a worm. Well, whatever it is, it's not like, I don't know, the wormy type thing. Whatever it is, it's gross. Oh, this is a, it might be at the edge of the canyon here again. Maybe not. Oh yeah, there we are. That's the canyon there. Okay, I probably should focus on getting metal here. Take some of this back to our base and see what else we can make. Play spike traps. Spikes are your uh, or your modem in for another worm. <laughs> ah, we'll put my modem there. That seems like a good idea. It'll slow it down. It does a great job slowing my computer down. It's got to work on the giant, giant wormy thing, right? It's on his side. How come I'm not having it? Yeah, that's a good, good question. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is a YouTube thing. I don't know. Freeze Fox and all on this most glorious of days. Hope you got your coffee ready, Fox. Oh, I had one coffee already, but I'm definitely going to need more. Gotta feed that caffeine addiction, you know? 12 hours is quite a while. You need spike traps hurt. I gotta go make some spike traps, I guess. Ah, 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 get off me! Yeah, I killed his babies. That'll hurt it. Okay, I'm gonna find my way back here. Here's where the drill is. Whatever that's just something that we unlock through other materials that get us another bench or something. Or if it's like an item we actually have to recover from somewhere. No coffee, you need beer. If I spend 12 hours drinking alcohol during the stream, let me tell you, it would get messy. And it may not really support the message that I'm trying to promote right now. <laughs> like, look heads. Don't drink alcohol, but I'm really drunk. Yeah, is there coffee flavored beer? Is that an option? Maybe we could do like a like a two in one kind of thing. Not a slime. That's just a puddle of slime. Ah, ah, get off me. Back. All right, I made it. How do we donate to my coffee fund? Uh, well, super chats are uh, are still uh, still a valid thing, so you can still still send a super chat. But um, if you're trying to donate to the to the charity itself, uh, make sure you use the link that's in the description or uh, or the one that's pinned at the top of the chat, uh, so that the donations go directly to Covenant House. Uh, it's kind of a it gets to be kind of a challenge when that flows through my super chats because YouTube takes thirty percent off the top, and then there's a, like a month delay before uh, the funds come through and to be able to uh, pass it along. Uh, Emily, why are you pulling out all of the Christmas decorations? You're pulling out all that to get to one thing? Oh my god, you're gonna make a giant mess. <laughs> uh, okay, not that. Oh wait, this is the this is the new thing we did. This is where we made our fancy new armor. But uh, I had a. Oh, there it is. This is the new bench. Uh. Railway Forge. I should be making the Railway Forge too, probably. Knock table takes wood slime and tin bars. Did I get... I got more tin, right? I did. Let's make sure we smelt some of that. That all smelted up in there nicey nice. We got ten tin bars there already, though. Oh, I could make a shield, too. Offhand use. Shields that reduce any incoming damage by 70%. That's pretty good. Probably gonna want that shield. Have my daughter play Core Keeper with me? Well, we can't really play it on the same computer. Uh, and I only have one Steam account, so that's not really gonna work. Your head just exploded? Why is this now? Oh, because of the Christmas decoration pullout thing? <laughs> Honey, what are you doing? Okay, you're kind of covering the whole basement now, hun. Oh, God. <laughs> I think we might need a shovel to clean up later. Maybe. Can we wish you a Merry Marchmas? Oh my god. Uh, okay, so... The shield I do want to make, but that's going to take up some tin. I want to... Oh wait, uh... I want to make... I'm not worried about the base stuff right now. I'm kind of more interested in the crafting things. Railway Forge. The Carpenter Table is something we haven't made yet. Make one of those. Uh, I'm definitely going to need to get my hands on more tin, so that's probably a good cause to go back over where Wormy Boy was. 
I don't even know what to call that thing. It's not really a worm. Okay, this lets us make a rug, cover up the cold ground, and make your base cozy. Ooh, very nice. Uh, we can make a pedestal for showcasing things. Decorative torch. It can be painted. A safer, better looking alternative to crude torches. Or a decorative pot. So, carpentry table's all about the decorations. Let's make a rug. Gotta make my gotta make my place more cozy, you know? Actually, we'll, we'll put this- we'll get this to the vendor guy. There you go, vendor dude. I gave you one rug. I'm sure I need a whole lot more, though. You like nine of them, I get. So he can have one rug, but I want... I, I need more for my place, because my place is more important. Aw, ain't it beautiful? I will give him just, like, a little rug. Anyway, one left. Uh, Sure, there you go. Got a little runner rug there. I don't need this tin sword, we can put that away. Uh, the bridges I'll hold on to, I guess. I should probably try to cook up that fish. We have the heartberry seeds. Oh, I haven't done the farming in a bit. Probably gonna wanna take care of that. Let's um, get some heartberries growing here, I guess. Too much to do in this game. I don't know how I'm gonna keep up with it all. Wait a minute, what did I just plant? <laughs> I didn't, didn't really pay attention to what those seeds were. I have wood seeds, too, that will grow us, like, wooden roots or whatever, but I haven't made a spot for those yet. This is asked to send the miscreant upstairs. Aw, oh, Emily, Mom wants you to go. Is she, I mean, she's not really disturbing anything, but she is making a good mess. <laughs> the professional mess maker, as all kids are. Uh, sand wall can go in here. Put the wood away, I guess. Larva meat, plus 11 food. Can I cook larva meat? Is that a thing we can cook with? Probably is, right? Yep. Oh, well, that's how we make the steaks. I remember now. Fancy steak going on. <laughs> Let her live her best life. <laughs> okay, uh, I should cook up the fish too. That's what this was here, is orange berry pudding. So we're making more of that. Gives me health boost, so that's all right. I'm gonna need more mushrooms. Maybe Fox about nine months early for Christmas. Yeah, about that. You know, kids are. She's uh, she's just excited for the coming Christmas. Incidentally, we're up to a thousand and fifty dollars raised already for Covenant House. Thank you to everyone who's been donating. That's amazing. Thousand and fifty dollars so far. Crayon down, kid, and walk away. Yeah. <laughs> Makes up of this fish, too, I guess. Actually, I don't know if I made this one yet. That blue gabe guppy, uh, cave guppy, rather, is the uh, the only one of those I've gotten. And there goes my bit right again. Gosh dang it. Party guppy fillet. 21 food, 2.8 health every 20 seconds, plus 7% dodge chance for 5 minutes, plus 25% max health. That's Eat. Also, I hope everyone knows Baby Foss can't see this, so I'm cheering her on. on <laughs> it's Fox's fault for reading your comments out. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you for that. <sighs> Buffering issues. Okay, um, I can't, uh, I don't want this to have to, like, be an all day thing if I can avoid the buffering. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna restart my modem. It's gonna interrupt the, the, the stream for a bit. I'm sorry. All right, in theory, I'm back. Hopefully everyone can uh, see slash hear the stream again. We'll see what happens. Uh, hold on, I gotta refresh my page. Good old interwebs. Nothing beats interwebs. I think it'll be a little bit more stable now, and it's not... Uh, if, it, if we continue to have problems, though, then there won't be much I can do about it, because it'll just be a function of uh, my internet provider more so than my local modem. It's still fluctuating, but it's not dropping as much as it was. Good times. Well, welcome, everyone. <laughs> to everyone who didn't run away when it got super boring watching nothing happening. Uh, welcome. Oh, I need that watering can. Where did I put it? Gotta 
God, I gotta water the crops so they don't, uh, don't grow very well. Listen, buddy, if you're staying here, like, rent-free or whatever, you need to, like, do some farming work around here. Can you, like, do the watering? You're standing here already. You're, you're actively in the way. I can't water because you're in the way. Can you stop? Would you move? Standing over there with his pickaxe, stopping me from watering. I think he stops walking when I get close so that it's easier to, like, buy and sell from him, but he's really just kind of annoying. I have stability issues? Say it ain't so! Yeah, my, uh, my internet is a hot mess right now. It's not cooperating. Great. It's uh, midday on a Saturday. It, it's possible that there's just a lot of people using the internet in my local area. I live in a townhouse complex, so everyone who's using cable internet has, a, has the potential to impact my bitrate. Normally I stream at night, and it's not as often a problem, but... Uh, looks like we might have might have some issues today, which is just super inconvenient, but hopefully uh, doesn't impact our progress on the uh, the fundraiser we're working on. Which we're, uh, just as an update, we are at $1,050 raised so far for Covenant House today. Uh, so thank you to everyone that's donated. Yeah, ancient coins are for buying from the vendor guy. I gotta figure out how to make these, these spike trap things. Um... I thought I had seen them so- oh, uh, nope, nope, nope. I thought I'd seen them somewhere, but I don't honestly remember where. Ooh, I can make bronze stuff. What am I using? I'm using the copper armor still, right? Tin bars, copper bars, and fiber I need for that. Oh, there's the spike traps there. One tin bar makes, uh, makes one spike trap. So we can put a whole bunch of spike traps down and then get that thing to roll over top of it. Um, I only have two, two tin bars right now. We got 11. We've got 11 tin bars right now. Um, so let's, yeah, let's try the spike thing. We'll see what happens. I don't know if that's going to be enough or not. But we'll find out in a moment, I guess. I sent all three of my boys my way so the kids can have a play date. Oh, nice. <laughs> I mean, my, my daughter would probably appreciate it, depending on their age. And <laughs> keep her occupied. She's always asking for a play date because, uh, you know, kids don't organize their own play anymore these days. <laughs> Although my wife says no. <laughs> so I guess that's a non-factor. <laughs> She's like, no breaks for you. All that copper. Oh, more mushrooms. I want mushrooms. Mushrooms are good healing food, I've found. It doesn't have, like, all the buffs and stuff the same way some of the other food does, but it is good healing. Uh... And down here. Or have I? There's light over here. Only two-thirds watching have liked. Help popularize the charity by increasing the YouTube metrics, guys. Thanks, Steven. It's great that I'm doing a charity stream. Well, thanks, Ralster. Welcome to the stream. Twelve hours today, and then uh, next Saturday on April 2nd, we'll be, we'll be doing another twelve hours. Uh, both in support of Covenant House and their main mission to help uh, homeless, trafficked, and at-risk youth. I asked about getting a tour of the uh, the facilities as well, so I, I want to go and do that. Um, they're they've just with COVID, they've just started doing tours again, um, so I couldn't get in before the streams, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully, in like April or May, I'm gonna get a chance to go and check out check out everything going on at Covenant House and see the great work they're doing to help the kids. Needs more light. More light. I'm gonna take Mini Fox with me too. It'd be a good learning experience for her. Uh, another one of those things I need to drill. I wonder what those are. I'm really curious. I want to get a drill so I can I can see what the deal is with those things. Yeah, 
in all the woods. Oh man, I'm really hungry. Uh, steak is 2.8 health, 22 food. 19 food, 19 food. Looks like the steak gives the best amount of food. 21 food for that. Also gives 25 max health and 6% crit chance. Um, I think I want the... Well, we'll go with the, the orange berry pudding because it increases my mining. Eat a couple of those. Not that it's going to affect gathering wood, but... Like a big copper deposit? This one here? Maybe. That could be it. You might be right. It looks like a... Almost like a beehive shape, though. It's kind of weird. But you're right. It does look like copper. It's entirely possible you're connected. Oh, I made a Bailey's coffee while my internet was resetting. So good. Oh, there's one of those X things we can dig up. Uh, where's my shovel? That in place of our fishing rod for now. Boop. What do I got? Bone Creole. That's just a valuable we can sell, but that's all right. More than anything else, I'm going to forget to dig up those things. Wait, what's that golden thing? Was that is that food over there that I left behind, or is that something else? Yeah, it is. Never mind. It's just food. Way less interesting than I thought it would be. Man, that um, that food buff for mining is great. Ew. Oh, All right, I should probably go back over where the tin is. I think I need tin more than anything else right now. And I've kind of got a little far afield here. <laughs> Wandered off, just randomly digging holes everywhere. Drinking in the middle of the day, it's co it's in coffee though, so that negates the uh, negates the fact that it's alcohol. So good though, coffee and Bailey's baby. Ow! It's slime. Dare you attack me when I'm not paying attention, which is all the time. Uh. Let me. I should probably go back and drop off some of the stuff I gathered here. Ow. That hit me again. Didn't like it. Oh, there goes my interwebs again. Come on. Hello, everyone. Happy cryptic streaming day. Hey, Envy, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Found his lovely house with a live plant wall and steam shower. Only 3.5 million. Gee, is that all? How much are we selling the kids for to be able to afford that? Don't say free to a good home. I don't want that. Gotta get some rate of return there, you know? Uh, I gotta go this way. May want to look at the Mrs. Last Message. You're in trouble, but uh, yeah, I, I, oh, I saw it. Don't you worry. She's, she's always looking at big fancy houses we'll never be able to afford. <laughs> Just that, uh, it's that whole dreaming thing, you know? Uh, stone. We got some shrooms. Let's make some more berry shroom stuff. That's got to be good for us, right? All right. I thought I had fiber already stashed away. Guess not. If I was smart, I would move all my chests so they're like in the same spot, and I wouldn't have to not walk walk around back and forth. But turns out I'm not smart. So yeah. Uh, I don't need this hat. Let's scrap it. Salvage it. We'll get some more scrap we can use for repairing the stuff we actually do want. And I guess the, uh, the objective now will just be going to get more tin and see if we can mess with that worm guy. Uh, plants are still growing. They're fine. Hello all. It's the box and Hey, Raven, how you doing? Maybe one day when he gets to the million subscriber. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. That's a long way away still. I don't envision owning a three and a half million dollar house at any point in my life. <laughs> just for just for funsies, we were like, what would the mortgage look like on a house that's like a million and a half? Knowing that we couldn't afford it, we were like, I'm curious what it is. And it was like, even with 
even if you put like a huge deposit down, like four hundred thousand dollars or something, it was still like seven thousand dollars a month for the mortgage. I was like, nope, <laughs> not gonna do it. Would be prudent at this juncture. Here's the new man. Thanks for clicking the join button. Welcome to Duplicant. Appreciate the support. I think I'm lost. I'm not. I'm not lost. I'm on my way. Only lost for a moment. I wonder when this thing rolls through. So it it was healing. Ah. Uh, it was healing before it came back around again. So I wonder it, how much damage do you have to do at once in order for this to be effective? And can I? Can I okay, good. I can't spike myself. That's that's a good thing to know. Okay, I feel like we're going to need a lot more traps than that, but we'll see how much this does. That'll give us a sense of how many traps we need. So this is 11 traps. If it rolls through here, and it only does like 10% damage, then I need like 10 times as many as this. <laughs> 700,000 a month for a mortgage? No, 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 no. It was, uh, it was like 7,000 a month. Not 700,000. That was on a 30-year mortgage, too, no less. I was like, my god, honey, you keep dreaming, because we're not getting there. <laughs> oh, good, it's killing stuff down here. Good work. I don't know about the watering can out. Hey, Tina, how you doing? Does the spike slow them down, too? I didn't actually look at the stats on it. Uh... Melee damage? No, it doesn't doesn't look like it slows them down. Come on, big wormy. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh my god, I need a lot of traps. Okay. Um hopefully these will all stay here. Okay, I just wasted 1110. It, it it obliterated them all. Wow. Okay, we need we need many traps, like many many traps. So many many traps. Oh my goodness. Um, all right, good times. So it's one tin for every trap. So we need to mine just silly amounts of tin. Unless there's like a way to upgrade the traps, but I, I don't know that there is. Oh, what the heck are you? Oh, all right, got fiber. Like one of those uh, one of those grub nest things or whatever. Bombs. Oh yeah, bombs work too. Uh, I only have one bomb so far. It does a decent amount of damage. Stronger explosive for crowd control. I wonder. Um, I don't know what the timing is on the bomb though. Like how many seconds it takes to go off. I only have the one, so I can't- I don't want to test it, but I also don't have the way directly to make them. I'm sure there, uh... I'm sure there's a recipe we can get at some point. But in the meantime, let's go find some tin, because I'm gonna need tin. Wiki says you need something like 60 spike traps. Yeah, that, that's a good chunk of them. Good chunk of traps. The spiky nature. Uh... We're down here. Looking for the sparkles out here. I don't not seeing any. We could just randomly dig, I guess, and see what we find. Which one does the mine? Oh, that does the mining damage. I've got the mining buff going, and it's still uh feels like three or four hits to get through this clay stuff. Which isn't great. It'd be made way better if I could actually see something that I'm actually going after rather than digging blind like this. There's some over there. Just on yourself for science. Oh yeah, that, that sounds like something I'd do, but no. <laughs> I, I've only got one bomb. Name says the destroyer. Oh, well he does do a good job of destroying, so I guess that's applicable. Oh, there we go. We got some right here, and there's a bigger pocket there, and another one down here. Give the worm Bennett Foddy. It'll make it end it for himself. Then I won't have to fight it. Perfect. Brilliant plan. Like, no, I can't take any more. One new talent point available in mining. M -m -m mining 
Particular miner, plus 5% chance to gain additional ore or increased visibility. Let's do the increased visibility because I, <laughs> I want to be able to see the ore at a better distance so I can know where to dig. You only need one bomb when you test on yourself, so that's perfect. Oh, true. Very enough. Bombs are made at the alchemy table uh, with bomb, peppers, and slime. Oh, okay. Okay, so we gotta make the alchemy table then, which, again, we need tin for. Counting to three, no more, no less than lobbeth thine holy hand grenade at thine enemies who are not in mine sight. <laughs> yeah. Thou shalt not count to, f uh, count to four, and if thou hath gone to five, thou hath gone way too far. <laughs> Do you light a bunch of uh, bunch of fires in the worm's path? Uh, I don't know if the fires damage them. I mean, you I probably could make a bunch of like campfires or something. I don't know. I haven't even been putting torches down here. It's like, eh, whatever. We'll just dig in the dark. Oh, that one's across a chasm. Um, I have bridges on me. See what's over there, shall we? Over there. Over there. Is this tin here? Because if so, that's awesome. Guess it was tin. This big pocket of it over here. I know we could use the shovel and just dig up dirt and make a dirt path across the canyons, I guess. But whatever, we have the bridges, so I figured I might as well use them. Look at all the glorious tin. Oh, Dennis, there's some lovely muck down here. And I broke my pickaxe. Um. Boop, boop, bloop. Okay, repaired. That repair table is awesome. Now you know the recipe. Set those explosives on yourself. Well, I'm gonna wait until I get the bench made, and you know, just make sure I can make the bench. Have it available in my crafting table. I just I don't remember the materials it uses. I know it uses the gems, of which I have a few. What a nerd! You say that like if I'm not a you say that like I'm not a guy on the internet playing video games for people's entertainment. Doesn't that already define me as nerd all by itself? Do we need a sub description there. What is? <gasps> Found a, like a giant mushroom cave. I like shrooms. You know, for the food kind. I got a giant mushroom. Da -da -da! Giant mushroom, plus 15 food, plus 25 permanent max health. Permanent max health increase with the giant mushroom. The king of all mushrooms, growing in perfect conditions, made it unusually large. So, uh... So, for max health upgrades, we want, uh, we want super shrooms. Super shrooms! You gotta want... If I see any more of those glowy things, that would seem to be the, uh, place to go. I want to go where the mushrooms are. I want to go where psilocybin's growing. It's my white bikini underwear that makes me a nerd? No, that's what makes me a stud. <laughs> uh, bikini underwear. Good lord. Can't go wrong with the tidy whities There's so many mushrooms here. This is great. Be able to make all kinds of mushroom food. Like mushrooms and baked mushrooms and fish mushrooms. I wonder if they'll keep growing here. Like, can I come back to this? Is there a way to mark this? Remember, we can put map markers on in this game. I don't think we can, can we? That's actually, it's a different color pattern, I guess. So that, that's probably enough of an indicator. We can come back that way. Okay, let's go back and see if we can make the uh, the alchemy bench. Uh, oh, actually, how much tin have I got? I got 23 tin. I'm gonna need more tin. 
We got more tin before we go back. Don't need more nightmare fuel. <laughs> your definition of a nerd is when you're playing games and listen to your audience unsolicited backseat gaming advice, especially ones that send you to your demise. Mmm. So good. <laughs> you put underwear on your cat once? I'm I'm concerned. Concerned. That was a, one of those bomb peppers. I see. You been tab to get the map, and that's not how you pull up the map in this game. Show me something sparkly over here. I need some sparkly goodness. Oh, there we go. And the sand is. Oh, well, the sand was easy to dig through. Oh, it's good. There's like a five five deposit here. Plus more pepper things. Oh, nope, that's the uh, fiber. I'm buff there for a second. Weird. <laughs> Taking everywhere but in the sand. That's helpful. Oh, more shrooms. Mushrooms! Yes, cave mushrooms for the win. Oh wait, I found a new a new biome. That was stone there. Oh my god, getting the stuff out of this is hard. That's a different metal. I found iron! Oh my god, we found iron. I thought I could make anything with it yet, but we found it. Where am I? Alright. Okay. Alright. So, new biome down here. I'm not ready for that one yet. Still working on tin. Oh my god, this is so hard to dig through. We're definitely gonna need a, a, a pickaxe upgrade. to the sparkles. <laughs> the Forgotten Ruins? So there's like map points of interest on this? Or is that just the biome that's called the Forgotten Ruins? Are there actually going to be ruins here? If so, that's kind of cool. And suddenly in comes Mothman! <laughs> yeah, good old Expedition Zero, right in the face. This thing's had some really disturbing tongue usage. I, uh, I don't approve. Oh good, sand. I can dig through sand quick. My magic sand digging powers. I like all this iron, but I, don't, I can't even use it yet. <laughs> I just want it because it's a thing. And I know it's going to be useful. Captain Underpants. Will there be some Mothman today? Uh, no, I'm planning to play this uh, for a couple of hours. Uh, we're gonna play some Project Zomboid today, um, some Elden Ring today, and uh, Seven Days to Die. Basically a couple of hours of each game. Interspersed with my ugly mug every now and then, in between. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. Need more sparkles. Chocolate eggs. Yeah, I think you like you like chocolate in general, I'm pretty sure. 
Your case to die. It's not seven days to die in seven seconds. Yeah. Don't point out my obvious failings. Come on. How oh, rude. Gax is about to break again. And there it goes. Man, I'll tell you, carrying this uh, repair table around is super handy. Oh, you're out. All right, see you, old school. Dropping in. Have you killed any of the bosses yet? Just joining. Uh, I killed one when we when we streamed um, whatever day it was I played the game the first time. Uh, we killed the one boss. We're working on the second one now. I'm just trying to gather up a whole bunch of like tin to make uh, some upgraded armor and some uh, traps and that kind of stuff. Um, so we can try to take out the, the next one. But uh, so far, just one. That's why I got this fancy sword here. I, I got the... Uh, when you kill the boss, you get like its gem heart or whatever it is, and then you can use that to unlock the crafting station that supplies you with crafty things. That's a technical term. Yeah, yeah, we killed the slime boss, but we haven't, uh... We're working on the, I don't know what it is, like a giant larva kind of thing now. Trouble finding tin, though. Needs more tin. Chocolate covered devil. Ugh, gross. Your ugly mug gets a lot better if you play with Mothman. He's <laughs> like, because now we get to see you scared. Hooray! Yeah, the spike eater. Man, I put down 11 spikes and I wasn't expecting them all to get destroyed. Turns out they did. Um, so I wasted 11 tin. It's the damage doesn't stay when you hurt it, and then it gets a chance to move away from you. So that's, that's you know, an added bonus. Sparkles. Where's all the sparkles gone? Who's hiding all the tin sparkles, man? Here we go. It's even in sand, too. Oh, it's not. Darn it. Almost was. Darkness is too dark. Oh, there's another canyon here. Oh. I thought the canyons were going to be like just these big vertical sections that cut areas off, but turns out that's not the case. The big rumbling is the uh, is the, the the boss thing we're trying to get. He's uh, he's way off to the west a little bit, and he's too strong for us to kill with just a sword. But if we had bombs, many many bombs. What's a wood in here? A little chesty thing. What was that? I think it might have been uh, might have been iron in there. I keep switching. I, I forget you can like hold down shift and click to put the torches down. What if we had bombs filled with swords? That would be amazing, because it would both blow it up and stab it at the same time. Or dogs with bees in their mouths, and when they bark, they shoot bees at you? Those would be good, too. Heartberry? Yeah. <gasps> well, that's the swimming sparkles, or the fish sparkles. <laughs> Not swimming sparkles, fish sparkles. In the water, that's why I was thinking swimming. Oh, there's tin there. Give me the tin. 
Challenge for you. How many death counts can you accumulate throughout the different games you played today? Probably a bunch. Probably a bunch. I mean, Elden Ring will be the worst of the bunch because the game is just designed around death. Sharks with freaking lasers. <laughs> That's right. That the ultimate trap. Sharks with lasers. Lasers. We're half man, half monkey. I want my monkey man. <laughs> uh, he's got the classic half man, half monkey. Oh, what all I picked up there, but I got stuff. Got another one of those uh, cabling breads. That's good for food. Let's uh, let's consume some of that. Dry hard bread feels like a chewing chalk, but fills the stomach. I wonder if I could make cabling bread. Should eat this thing, I guess, to get the permanent health boost. It says it could be cooked, though, so I wonder what the benefit is of cooking it. Does it give you a, a different kind of permanent boost? Apes strong together. Ain't no ape. Ta da! Max health boost. I was like, wait a minute, does that give me a debuff? But it's the slime I'm standing in. Um, that's water. Slime cave. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. It looks like that giant, uh, the giant thing came through here, it looks like. Did I use... Oh, it does go, uh, it's got a bit of a meandering path. I thought it was going in a straight line, but it's not. Okay. Well, that's a thing I just found. Here it comes. It's got a flashlight. Oh, God, it turns. Okay, this would seem to be the place to fight it at a corner, because... At a corner, you can, uh... Sort of maximize the damage that's going around you, instead of going, just going away from you. I wonder if it goes, like, back towards my base, or if it just goes around and goes back downward. Our minds want to know. Yeah, bear necessities. <laughs> He's got the bear necessities. The very bear necessities. Um. No, it looks like it curves back upward again. Kind of helping with my. Uh... Oh, there's tracks over there. Helping with my tin accumulation. I just found tracks. An old mine shaft or something. Look at this. Got a necklace. Okay, so that's a sellable... Where'd the necklace go? Oh, there it is. Copper cross necklace, plus 5% critical hit chance. This pendant sharpens the focus, allowing for more precise hits. That we can wear. That's Q. Rub K-Pox seed. That reminds me, I gotta get back and get our crops. If, they're, uh, if they sit too long after they're grown, they apparently spoil. That would be bad. Look at this. Need a drill. Yeah, those have got to be large, large resource deposits. The other one was copper. That looks like it might be gold. That's cool. More fishing. My bridge. Only got three bridges left. Not gonna get me very far. 
One, two, three. Oh, it'll get me across, though. What? They're bridges. I can't put bridges on water? Helps if I actually have it equipped. There we go. Turns out bridges work way better if you equip them first. Who knew? Like some weird magic. Water. Your kung fu is weak. Warning. I don't know if we need the Nightbot message, though, so much, because that just sort of doubles the spam rate, it seems. <laughs> the Kung Fu message is funny, but it just kind of doubles the spam. <laughs> yeah, Night, uh, Rabbit's been working on uh, getting the, the Nightbot so it can catch those bots a little bit better, so huge thanks to him for that. Those bots are super annoying. Uh, we're currently, it's just as a quick update here, we are at, uh, $1,180 raised so far on our goal of 5000 So thank you to everyone who's donated so far to the Covenant House main mission. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully we'll have a fantastic day of streaming today with not too many technical difficulties. <laughs> We've already had some. Uh, and then, uh, raise some, uh, raise some money for a great cause. Okay, I'm stuck here? How <laughs> do I get out? Dig my way out. I can't find a way out. You gotta dig. Like more gold over here. Foxnet uprising soon. Ah, I broke my stuff. Doing all the mining today. That one looked different. What was that? I, think I got a. Must have been a gem I got there. Agent Gemstone. Go, go, gadget, Agent Gemstone. We got a little glowy patch up here. Maybe that's more shrooms of magicness. Nope. Not the right color. Just a flower. Yeah, well, Nightbot is is a um, um, Nightbot's a mod, so because they have the mod uh, mod permissions, you can't delete their stuff. Dodge a wrench, you can dodge a worm. Like dodging a wrench that's like four miles long. It's great. Feeling in my finger. Broad. Yeah, this worm really, uh, or whatever it is. Giant larva thing. What the? We found a place. The stuff in it? Pedestal stolen an old amulet. Valuable. Okay, there's like a whole base in here. I wonder if this is... Not like a dungeon thing. It seems too small for that. It's like somebody's house. I broke into someone's house! They won't mind. Stone skin potion. Plus 34 armor for one minute. I have no inventory space left. I literally can't carry anything. Copper shovel, which I already have. Carry this and the torches. I have to come back here. Where am I? Look here? And cook here. I'm like way up north of my uh, my normal base. What are these things? I wonder. I hate that my my inventory is full. I can't pick them up. What I got? Maybe I have some stuff I could throw away. We'll pick those things up and see what they are. Apparently it. It pays to follow the giant wormy thing. Who knew? I got here. I can get rid of. I don't really need wood pants, so let's uh, let's put those down. Uh, we'll scrap the wood pants. Anything else I can scrap here? I don't really care about the pedestals. I can make those. Oh, I can't scrap them, huh? Sucks. 
I guess just the wood pants are all we can scrap for right now. Give me a little bit of... New item, lantern and an iron bar. Okay, I've got a, I've got a lantern? So I had the small lantern, but now I got the full-size lantern. It gives me a little bit more light. Scrap this thing. That's, okay, that's salvageable, so that's good. We got some crude bombs, uh, which are not that great, but they still go boom, so that's something. I don't really need this either. I can't scrap that. Okay. okay. And we got a wood fishing rod. That compares to the tin fishing rod, so it is not as good. 38 fishing plus 74 fishing. Oh, God. Let me in. Don't wreck my table. No! Well, that's the thing that happened. The talent available and running. Oh, good. I can run tomorrow. <laughs> it scrapped my table on me. <laughs> well, I was going to scrap this fishing rod. But I guess I'll take it with me and scrap it now. I don't need this wood floor. That could stop. I throw that away, please. Okay, I need to go home because uh, giant monster thing broke my stuff. Need to go home. Gotta go cry. What if I could just I could just cut straight south of here, I guess. A little fiber along the way. Uh, what games are on your list today? I want to be around if you play Planet, any Planet Crafter. Uh, I don't have Planet Crafter on the list for today. I'll probably play that tomorrow, actually. Um, today I'm planning to play... We're playing this, so Core Keeper. We'll be playing some uh, Project Zomboid, uh, some Elden Ring, and uh, Seven Days to Die today. I have the list actually in the, uh, uh, in the description of the stream. Then next Sunday when we uh, when we do another 12-hour charity stream, uh, also in support of Covenant House, then we'll uh, I'll play like four different games than what we played today. You know you can dig up the slime on the floor with your shovel? I do. Uh, I dug a whole bunch of it up, which is why I haven't been bothered collecting it right now, because it's um, kind of a lot. I don't really need this. It's kind of handy to get rid of it. Nick and join me at all today? Uh, I don't think so. He dropped in on the chat a short little bit ago, but we didn't really talk about um, playing any multiplayer on stream. I'm punching the wall instead of using a pickaxe. That's yeah, that's way more effective. <laughs> uh, we didn't talk about uh, playing multiplayer today. Oh, reading chat while I'm digging. gold up here. Gold! We're rich! I don't know what to do with the gold, but we've got some. Sure it'll have its uses. Should try to the scenario maps of Project Zomboid, Last Man Standing, or uh, You Have One Day. I mean, I don't really like the idea of like just doing a, a, a map that's just a bunch of like waves of zombies so much. Uh, I might try one of the challenges, but I, I don't know. We'll see. I know you had recommended doing that one before, and I just and it didn't didn't sound super appealing to me. And I can't get across there, so that's a problem. God, there, there's gonna be a big thing here that's gonna be in my way and stop me from from proceeding this way, isn't there? to lurk for a bit? Well, thanks for chatting for a bit at least. Probably haven't noticed, but there seems to be a lot of digging in this game. See that? I even remember to dig up some of the X's. I probably missed a whole bunch already, but I remembered some. Oh god, I'm so... Th okay. This, uh, this direction I decided to take is, is not... 
wasn't it smart. I probably should just double back the way that I came. It's taking longer to move through here than anything else. I got like nowhere. So we'll cut back to the mine and we'll just run back down the down the giant worm path thing. I need like a teleporter that lets me teleport back. That'd be handy. There we go. Found the path. No. No, go away! Evil bug things. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Uh, that's a problem. Not more larva meat though, so that's good. Larva meat makes good food. Hey, Christy, you make good cookies. Good talent available in melee combat. Mm, melee combat. Ooh, our first one. Quick strikes plus two percent attacks. Oh, that's our second one. Second point. Another gem there, I think. Seems sort of gemmy. A little bit gemalicious. I'm a little worried it'll be like running down the pathway here, and then I'm gonna come face to face with the worm thing in my face. I know it rumbles before it gets to you, but <laughs> I don't know how quickly I can get out of the way. Not go through Slime Deville? Very quiet. Too quiet. Oh yeah, there's no escape along here. There's like a drop off on both sides. I need to dig a path through the slime in front of Gorm. Gorm the Magnificent? Is that what we're talking about here? Your haphazard tunnel digging messes with my OCD. You're welcome. The talent. Holy, look at it all. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm really not I'm not following any any prescribed path whatsoever. <laughs> I'm just kind of going all over. So now the issue I have is that my pickaxe is almost toast. The giant dude went ahead and wrecked my repair table, so I'm gonna have to follow his path. I can't dig anymore. There he goes. I love that he has a headlight. Somewhere down here is the way. replenishes the slime every time he comes through like is there any point to really like digging it up to move more quickly or is he just gonna come sliding through and replace it all with his gooey goodness Gorm the Destroyer aka the giant worm isn't that who we're fighting now? I don't know who that is that, that so that thing that like comes plowing through there does it have a home we can go like raid or is it just constantly on the move it's got to be wrapping all the way around the map. Because it comes up from the bottom and then like just it goes like all the way along this path up here and off. It must go like it must just like surround a big area here. He does just throw the slime path. Yeah, OK, I figured he would. He's just a little bit too gooey, you know, too gooey for his own good. Oh, well, too, too gooey for my good anyway. The guy that plows through, I think, uh, I think you hit him with the bombs. Yeah, we've got, um, we're gonna do spike traps, we're gonna do some bombs, we're gonna do some sword slashy slashing. Although, it seems like the slowness effect on this blade doesn't affect the giant, giant boss dude. I guess kind of makes sense. Kind of massive. He's real ghost brushes fuck Gorn, too. <laughs> Bust out them proton packs. 
Okay, I need tin. Give me the tin. I guess while we're here, we might as well make iron also. Yes! I, oh, I found iron bars. I'm in here for now. I can't make anything with iron just yet, but I'm sure we will be able to, because the thing. Uh, let's make more of the hearty meat steak. Someone had told me I think there's a button you can hit that makes you sort common things into the chest that you already have in there, and I don't remember what it was. Is that a thing, or am I misremembering? I, I might be misremembering. Swarm runs in a circle path. Yeah, I figured he did, yeah. Travels at a path until you do a certain amount of damage to it, and then it chases you. Oh! Oh, good! That's great. Oh, it's Q. Oh, thank you. That is so much more convenient. All right. Amazing. Thanks for that. God forbid I just read game instructions, right? <laughs> what do you mean I'm supposed to look at the controls? Anybody, I got some stuff, some, some, some stuff to sell you. You, you, uh, you, you, you want to buy my stuff? Buy those things. Fifty-six. Want some pedestals? Oh, he does buy them. All right. Glad I didn't scrap them. Wait a minute. That means I can make pedestals out of wood and just sell them to him. Because I think one of these things I had, I had things I could make. Pointable walls. Maybe not. I thought I had a pedestal thing I could craft. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, wood, slime, and tin bars to make the alchemy table. Painter's table I don't care about really so much. Carpenter table. Railway table. So it's the alchemy table we want to make the bombs. Bombs? Man, that table's the bomb. Oh, I gotta fix my... Fix my stuff. Oh, I put all the scrap away, didn't I? There it is. Oops. No, stop it. There. I keep the scrap on me. That's important. Bop. Oh, I need to make a new repair table, too, because smart that way. I gotta, gotta smell that copper first. All right. Farming it is. Gardening, I guess. Beautiful. That's beautiful. We got this. There. I think the R key will organize the chest as well. Ooh, I don't like to be organized. I just like the convenience of putting stuff away fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did I check the garden? I did just now. Just saw your message. A little delayed. Okay, we have fiber. Uh, put that away. Must have fiber in one of these chests, right? There it is. Bunch of gold in here, too. We got this bedroll or the camp mattress. I, I don't even know if there's any point to keeping these things. Resting place of a former adventurer? I wonder if I could just... Can I sell those, maybe? Will you buy this crap off me? You like trash? He does like trash. Good job. Yeah, fender's trash. Uh, I think I put the money away. Stone walls are new, so I don't have a spot for those. Um, I can scrap this one fishing pole. So we can get more scrap for repairing the good stuff. And then, uh, now this is done in here. I can smelt my copper and put the iron away for now. Our tin coming along. Need a lot of tin. A lot of tin. I'm gonna wind up drinking a ton of coffee today, I think. I probably should have taken, like, some Nexium or something so that I don't get vicious heartburn later. <laughs> don't forget to make a new repair table. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I'm smelting the copper for that, but I actually probably already have some. I do. I do have some. Uh, I need... wood? Play wall? No, no. There we go. 
up. Okay, got a replacement repair table, so we're in good shape that way. Uh, the rest of that wooden stuff can go away for now. There we go. Oh, I gotta do some of the shrooms too. Shrooms? Shrooms, you say? Uh, I'm going to... Wait. Wait, there's a way to split the stacks, I think? Do this split stacking again. You gotta right click, you get one at a time. Oh, shift right click takes it in chunks. Okay, so... Shift right click puts the stack in half. Got it. We'll make a bunch of mushroom things. I, I want to be able to... Um, these provide like healing and food. It seems to be one of the better healing ones. You get 4.2 health every 20 seconds and you get 20 food out of it. Versus uh, some of these other ones that only heal like 2.8 health a second. Now actually this one here is good too. The mushy berry pudding. 4.2 health and you get a bonus. 19, you know what? Let's make the mushy berry pudding. Mushy berry pudding sounds like it's probably the even better option. So it's good healing, plus I get a health boost, and it gives um, virtually the same amount of food. Is it control right click? I, did, I was pushing a button with my finger, and it worked. Anyway, I couldn't tell whether it was shift right click or control right click, but... Shift right click splits it. Control right click takes a stack of 10 out of it. Yeah, mushy berry pudding. Doesn't that sound delicious? He looks like the kind of guy that likes garbage, but he's that guy from Stardew. Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, this is still smeltifying. Uh, I'll take the tin for now. I'll need uh, eight slime, or sorry, five slime and eight wood, or whatever it is. Uh, slimes and woods, so we can make our alchemy table. Let's make the uh, railway forge, might as well make it. Got the stuff to do it. And I guess I'll put them down here, because I'm running out of space. Huh. Can't place on those tiles, I guess. All right. Okay, in here, we make the bombs out of three bomb peppers and two slimes. Uh, that's not bad. Care about the crude bombs. Oh, healing potions. Those are probably good. Enrage potion, plus 32.5% melee damage for 30 seconds. Okay. Stone skin potions. Oh, it takes larva meat to make them enrage potions. Heart berries. Okay, so I've got a good use for heart berries now. I was just cooking with them, but the fact that I can make other things with them... Pretty great. Pretty, pretty great. Well, I've got a lot of slime. Like a bunch of healing potions. Because Lord knows I'm gonna need them. <laughs> Alright, and then for the bombs, I need uh, bomb peppers. How aptly named. Ding! New talent point in crafting. I'm a crafting wizard. Thirteen, eh, let's make like fifteen bombs. We'll round it out to an even fifteen. <laughs> this is fifteen super even. Look at that, the bots are changing it up because uh, Rabbit figured out how to block them in one way, they just made a different one. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, did you ever dig up the X to the right? Uh, I'm not sure. I've dug up, I've dug up a few X's. Depends on which X you're referring to. I don't see one on the map here right now. I've dug up, a, dug up a few X's along the way. I, I don't know which one you mean. Oh, there's one here. Hi! Eat slime sword. Goodness. Huh. Another thing we could sell. It's mostly like... Oops. What the... Oh, wait a minute. No way to rearrange things there. I With a hotkey combination. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> How did I get into streaming and when did I start? Um, I actually started with recorded and edited videos, but I want to say like seven years ago. Uh, I was doing a lot of Disney Infinity at the time. It was pretty much the only game that I played. 
Uh, and then I, I started like add in a few other games. Um, I started streaming at one point. I, I did, I think, like one live stream of Disney Infinity, maybe two. Uh, and then it was when I was playing Oxygen Not Included a lot that I started streaming a lot more. Uh, I started streaming a couple times a week in addition to the edited videos that I was doing. And um, I don't know, I liked it. Things were going well. People were showing up, which was nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just sort of kept at it and... I gradually shifted to the point where I was doing way more streaming than edited videos, and that's kind of where I am now. I still do them every once in a while, but um, much more often I'm streaming as opposed to uh, uh, editing and uploading. I, I kind of used a lot of my tin. <laughs> I still have 41 left. You hooked me up with Gold Rush and Oxygen years ago. Yeah, I uh, there was a few games that I started playing a bunch on stream, um, but it was really Oxygen Unincluded that sort of kicked it off. Uh, and then I was doing some more like car mechanic simulator and things, and it, it just over time it got so that I was uh, I was doing streaming more often than videos. And now that's like I said where I am now. I tend to uh, tend to stream far more often than I do anything edited. Bomb pepper seeds. Let's plant more of those. Seems like those might be a good option. Let's get the... Or heart berries too, because those make healing potions, and I'm gonna go through a lot of those, I think. Garden's not big enough. Need to expand. I'm guessing I will I won't be able to plant in the sand over here. I had to guess. Um where is a hoe? Do I have to hoe this thing? Yes, I do. This garden's nothing but a hoe. Garden hoe that. Ah! I love your own videos. You're the reason I bought the game. Well, thanks. I'm glad you enjoy them. I played it like almost every day for years <laughs> and I sort of changed it up and started adding in more games and things and then I, I kind of drifted away from playing Oxygen Not Included in favor of playing just a variety of other things I think there's something to be said for if you play something every day for a really long period of time it starts to get a little bit too uh, monotonous I was finding that I, every time I built a, a colony I was making it the same as I did the last one almost Streaming so much more real, I just prefer it over videos over most of the time. Yeah, I mean, from a, oops, from a, a YouTube success perspective, um, believe it or not, edited videos are dramatically better in terms of like long-term growth. Um, but it is really nice to be able to interact with people while I'm playing a game instead of uh, only talking to myself all the time. Dude, get off my garden. Keep moving. All right. Uh, I want more of this fiber stuff planted. Ah, oh, you're in the way. I can't water that corner. Get out of there. Come on, move. Move your beard. Hey, Silent Fight. Silent Flight, rather. Love the content, Fox. Keep it up. Well, thanks, Grim. Why do you enjoy it? Mm, really stinks for creators. There should be a better balance. Uh, it's not about, uh, yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Um, the thing with a live stream is that, um, like, when do you want to watch a live stream? When it's live. Because then you get a chance to interact with the person that's streaming, you chat with other people and that kind of stuff. So it stands to reason that when you're not live, the, the content that you have on your channel is going to be um, viewed less because you're not live at the time. So it's just sort of the nature of how it works. Um, whereas a uh, recorded video, it doesn't really matter when you watch it, and, and it's shorter and therefore more clickable. You'll tend to digest a bunch of videos rather than watching like a three hour live stream recording. Um, so that's just kind of how it works. It's um, it's not really about them making it more fair or anything more so. It's just about you know the nature of people and type of content that it is. So like if you have the time to be streaming like all day every day, then that's that's one thing, but not. 
What made you choose staying on YouTube for live instead of Twitch? Uh, a couple of reasons. One, I had already built a channel here because I was doing edited videos, and I tried Twitch for a while. Um, and I was doing some dual streaming for a while, and then I realized uh, I was... It got so that I, I was trying to, like, split my audience between two different platforms, and that, that didn't seem like it made a lot of sense. Um, trying to get people to go from one place to another place in order to watch my content. Uh, and join a live stream with me it just didn't seem like a good choice. Uh, so I decided to instead focus on uh, YouTube. Dustin with a super chat. In an astonishing twist, streamer tells old man to get off his lawn. More at 11. Fox News. Not that Fox. The better one. <laughs> Thanks, Dustin. Appreciate the super chat. <laughs> yeah, get off my lawn. Ooh, we're up to uh, $1,230 raised now. The last couple... Last couple donations come from Nathan Lead Home. Uh, we got Anonymous Go Cryptic. We got uh, Jocelyn. Thank you for those uh, those donations. Really appreciated. Uh, I need to find a better way to see the list of everyone who's donated, so I can make sure I've got everybody acknowledged. But uh, thank you everyone who's been making a donation to Covenant House in support of their main mission. That is amazing. Very much appreciated. Uh, I have 15 bombs and 62 traps in this crazy slime sword thing. Let's go smack a big giant wormy dude. See. If I waste a, a, just a ton of my materials. Because <laughs> if I put down all these traps... Uh, and he doesn't die, he's going to destroy them all, and then I'm going to cry a little bit. Do I have any plans of doing more Oni Spaced Out? I probably will at some point, but I, I've been... I've kind of been enjoying playing a variety of other games instead of only playing the one game all the time. Um, and so... That's why I've kind of been playing other games. I love Clay, and I love their games, uh, and I love Oxygen Not Included, but it's been nice to change things up a little bit, and I've been really enjoying playing survival games and stuff. Whoops, I went the wrong way. Um, so yeah, I, I, I will be playing more Oxygen Not Included, I just don't really have like a specific plan around when. I watch live streams nearly every day, but I've personally never gone back and watched a live stream after the fact. Yeah, that's super common. A lot of people do that. Um, I have, uh, I've watched some after the fact, at least not my own, um, but it is way more common to click on a video that's, that's there than to click on a live stream. So that's just kind of the nature of people and how it works. Uh, that hurt me in my face place. And like, ooh, that's good healing. Um, let's get some shroom. Oh, I'm not ready for you. Oh, that's okay. We'll, we'll get him on it later. I'm going to follow him up to where that bend is up here. Where is it? I wanna go, I wanna go like up here where this bend is. I feel like that's a good place to fight him. Maybe you're just not normal people. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not that you're not normal people, it's just that people have certain preferences and they lean towards one thing over another. Make you strange. There's a lot of people that, um, a lot of people that stream games on YouTube, though. Uh, I want to, I want to clear this out a little bit. Make a little bit of room for fighting. Uh, there's only a couple of the streamers I actually go back and watch with any kind of regularity, though. I do watch, rewatch live scenes when they're funny, like Fox and Nate playing Seven Days to Die. Oh my god, we've, uh, yeah, we're just a couple of fools, so when it comes to that kind of stuff, we're gonna make it Gonna make it a mess of ourselves. <laughs> a game like Elden Ring, and I like the creator, I go back and watch all the live streams. Cool. Yeah, everyone has their preferences. Uh, would you say 2022 uh, has the best year for the most anticipated upcoming games for console and PC? Uh, I don't know, but there are so there, there's quite a bit of them. Um, I've been keeping a list on like a little notepad on my computer to try to keep tabs on what what's going to be coming up. Um, I mean, Elden Ring alone, I was already looking forward to, so when it came out, I was super happy. Uh, and there's definitely more coming. There's a pretty solid list of upcoming games and stuff that I, I really want to really want to check out. 
Okay, I'm gonna wait for the worm to go by again, and then when it goes by, we'll set up a bunch of traps here. Oh, I should text this the bomb. How long does the bomb take to explode? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that's a long delay. Um I mean that's gonna be hard. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch the worm with that. Up to YouTube, the pre-recorded videos usually are king because that's what YouTube's been uh, been for most of its life as a platform. I don't know that it's necessarily that. Like, when you think about Twitch, um, who does well on Twitch? The people who are already big, usually, because they already have an audience, and so people go and seek them out. And then the people they put on the front page will get a really big boost also, and that's one of the ways they can grow. They'll explode by being on the front page on Twitch where they're visible and people can see them. Because they don't really have much of a, uh, a suggestion algorithm on Twitch to recommend other, other streamers based on games that you might like watching or what have you. Um, but visibility of streams on YouTube is actually really high also. When you're alive, your, ten your stuff tends to be more discoverable than when you're not. Um, the reason, part of the reason why the videos do so well is because they're smaller and more clickable. Uh, and so you can watch something, get some good laughs, and then move on to the next thing relatively quickly versus watching a really long recording. And they're edited down, so you've got like, you've got condensed action and condensed content, whereas the stream is more strung out. Like, I, I would probably just chop this whole discussion out of a recording, but... I mean, you've been doing YouTube more than me, so I get, yeah, I agree too. Almost, yeah, it, you know, there's something to be said for scale. Maybe he'll detonate the bomb when he moves over it? Maybe. Maybe we could test it with one bomb when he comes around again this next. I have like 14 of them. Um... <laughs> I made him grunt. Okay, so when I hear the rumbling, I can just start putting down rows of bombs, and he should actually just plow right into them. Um, so let's get some spiky things going here. Uh, I don't know how far away I can put these and still have an effect. I also don't know if it matters how I place them. Like, I don't know if it I don't know if it changes the the nature of the damage he gets if uh there's too many of them clustered together. Yeah, he's like going sideways here at this point, so we'll Oops. <sighs> That's with my plan. I also wonder if my bombs will destroy my own spike traps, because that, that might be inconvenient. Maybe I need to move this down here. <laughs> Look at all these traps. <laughs> if this doesn't make him angry enough to come after me, I don't know what will. Oh, we're killing stuff behind me. Good. Right, eat it, you slimes, or whatever you are. Uh, <laughs> Alright, this is going all over the place now. That's it. So he'll come running through all this big spikiness uh, all the way up around here, and then uh, we'll have some bombs set up for him when he comes through, and hopefully... Hopefully this works-ish. Hopefully. Put him in by Queen. It's much quicker action scenes, more space together, has its own... Yeah. Yeah, you can get, like, a lot of editing. People put in, like, special effects and all that kind of stuff. Well, this is a nice surprise. Hey, Sasha, how you doing? Yeah, I'll be live 12 hours today, right through midnight. And I'll, by the end of it, I'll probably be insane, but it'll be a good time. And it is definitely for a worthy cause. All about supporting the kids. Wiggity splat! I think as a parent myself, you know, like if I, uh, if I knew that my kids were having troubles, it's really nice to know that there are resources out there that, that would help them. Callisto Protocol is out this year from the makers of Dead Space. Yeah, I have a list. Uh, I'm afraid to tab out because it makes me silent and then I won't hear the thing coming. Um, but when I, after this thing goes through, then... Uh, $40 Canadian in the till. Thanks, Dustin. Appreciate that. Thank you for helping to support. 
Um, I'll pull up my list. I, I made a, a little post-it note list for myself on my computer of the upcoming games and stuff. I don't know if this is gonna... I don't know if the bomb is gonna blow up my spikes. I prefer that it not, you know? By the end of it? Oh, Fox, I have faith in your ability to lose sanity far... Yeah. <laughs> I wonder... If, will one bomb blow up another bomb? Will it destroy it before it detonates? Nope. Okay, good. It doesn't. We're gonna bomb like crazy when this thing comes through and hopefully not blow myself up. Hope you and the other foxes are well. So far, so good, Sasha. Thanks. I had some tech problems, like, right at the start of the stream. My internet wasn't cooperating, but, uh... It's kind of smoothed out. Hopefully it'll stay leveled out so that we, uh, we don't have any more issues today. Super annoying. Bad timing and all that. He's crazy, Moose and Squirrel! Oh god, he's mad. He stopped moving! Where'd he go? Ah! Ah! Come back here, you jerk. I'm not done with you yet. Oh, now he's... Now he's okay, I, I lied. I lied. Did that hurt him? I don't even know if I got him with that. Oh, it does blow up when he runs over it. That's great. Ow! Uh, 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 heal. There's a cool down in the healing potions. That's good to know. Where'd you go? Come on, you jerk. Oh! Ah, I blew myself up! No! Oh, he was so close. Oh, that's so bad. I lost all those spike... No! All those spike traps are toast. All those bombs are gone. Oh, we had him! We had him! Wow. That... Wow. Just... Wow. I need a shield. <laughs> Five tin bars. Guess what? We don't have five tin bars. I turned them all into spike traps that just totally got destroyed by the giant gore mess, dude. Pixel art Elden Ring. <laughs> this is, it's more like a top-down version of Terraria, almost. I think it's probably the best way to describe it. Now that's how you do science. What, blowing myself up with my own bombs? Yeah, it works great. Perfect. Ugh. Stream death one, yep, that's the first death today. Man, that, uh, we were getting, we was close, he was almost dead. So, he does detonate the bombs when he rolls over them, so I don't need to plant a whole bunch of them ahead of time. I can just shove them in his face hole, and then, uh, celebrate when he goes splat. The spikes work pretty good, he lost a lot of life, but I also lost a lot of spikes. Yeah, I'm going back to pick up my stuff, but the... I, I think what he, Hopefully the spikes will just be sitting there and I can pick them back up again and they're not, like, destroyed, destroyed. Because when I did them before, the spikes all disappeared. Let's see what happens. Show me the magic. Show me the money, Jerry. Show me the money. <laughs> I gotta pick up my tombstone too. Add that to my little uh my little graveyard back at our base. <gasps> ah! You big jerk. See him. Hey, stealth boat! Oh god! Is it still shaking? Is he still running around randomly? Oh my god, he is! Oh, that's a problem. I'm not prepared for you. Ow! Oh, Ow, oh, he's got babies! Ah! Got my tombstone. Ooh, the sword does slow him down. At least it seems to. I wasn't sure I was gonna work on him. I'm all out of bombs, though. I, I can't... I can't bombify him. This might ah. As long as he doesn't run me over, this might actually work all right because I don't have to. I don't have to chase him so much. Come here, Gorm. Gorm the Devourer. Oh God! Right in my face. Ah! <laughs> don't get me. 
I wish I had I wish I had shield. Reducing damage by 70% would sure be nice right now. Oh my sword's wearing out too. Oh god! Ah! <laughs> okay, we need to make bombs. We need to make bombs. Oh, I broke my helmet. Uh, okay. I, I wasn't really... Oh, no. You know what? It's on my body out there. It's all my scrap, so I can't repair things. Oh, boy. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. uh Copper? Yeah, tin? What do I need to make better armor? <laughs> Let's... Oh, that's iron. That's not even tin. Uh, all out of tin. I forgot to turn it all into spikes. So I can't make a shield. I can't make any of that. I can make... Make a new helmet. Let's, let's just replace all my armor, and then I'll scrap the existing armor so we can use it for repairs. But I do want to fix my sword, if possible. Not it. Grab all those, so it gives me that. Repair sword, yes. Good. Okay. I would like to make more bombs if we can. I have bomb peppers, I have slimes. Seven. Seven measly bombs. But wait, there's more. So when I found him again there, he wasn't at full health. It's nice that he didn't like completely recover, uh, although he did recover. Get some healing there. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll replant when I come back next time. Just put that all that away. Okay, let's go try this again. I don't I don't know how long it takes him to heal. Like, if I leave him long enough, is he going to go back to his circular pattern because uh, he's fully healed again, or what? You can craft wood tools in exchange for four wood and one scrap. Yeah, I have, uh, have a couple scrap on me now anyway, so I think we're okay. Because uh, I need to replace my armor anyway. I guess I could have repaired my armor, but probably would have been maybe a better way to go about it. But I did get a bunch of scrap out of it, so something. I could have crafted wood tools and then scrapped it and fixed the armor, I guess. It's fine. I, I made, I've got seven bombs, so we'll, we'll make do with that for the moment. I think one of the risks with the bombs will be, though, um, blowing myself up. Like, if, I, if, the, if I'm caught in the range of the explosion when it goes off, pretty sure it hurts me. <laughs> I don't know if, if all the damage I took was... Uh, was the boss running me over, or if some of it was my own bomb blowing up too close? Either way... Not ideal. Getting the rumbling. I'm in the. Oh no, he must have gone back to a circular pattern. He's not here. Okay, I got uh, I got some bombs back from that. I got <laughs> two spike traps. Woo! Go two spike traps. Uh, yay! Ugh. Let's see. One, two. <laughs> That'll do all the damage we need right there. I He's broken up such a big area here, it's hard to tell exactly where his path is, but I believe that's close enough. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him to stop now. Could be This could be tricky. Will there be a link to donate in a few days uh, in my overdraft till Tuesday? Yeah, actually that link is active. The same link is active right through April 2nd. Um, they actually started the campaign on March 7th. It's running through April 2nd and the link is active the entire time. Uh, and then I'm just doing a couple of long live streams to bring more attention to it and uh, raise donations that way. 
It seems the mistakes were made. Yes. Yes, they were. This guy has some serious range of motion for his body dimensions. Yeah, he could, he could, he's got good cornering. That's no, ain't no lie. Gotta get the bombs up here closer. This, where, why, why isn't he coming back? Lonely? I, I want, I want company. I'm really, I'm really concerned that without enough spike traps, I'm not gonna be able to get him to stop, and then I'm gonna just waste my resources again. I need so much tin. <laughs> Diggity. <laughs> I, it's so funny that out of all the traps, only two of them survived. I put down 60. <laughs> 60 traps, I've got two. This is great. PayPal doesn't like me, I'm gonna make a direct donation. Uh... Yeah, well, just don't send it as a super chat, because YouTube takes 30% of it. And then it takes like a month for them to process it and deposit it to me before I can then pass it along to, uh... Um... On, on the Covenant House. So ideally, use the, um... Use the link, and if you can't do... If, if there's other ways to donate on their page other than the PayPal thing, that would be... That would be best. Those are the two traps the bomb loot. Oh, is it? That's funny. I guess that's why they survived. Is he not coming anymore? I'm worried. Did he go and hide someplace? Might help to light up the area. Yeah, but when he rolls through, he destroys all the torches. Like, they all just pop up. I can, I can put torches around here, but as soon as he goes through, he just breaks them all. Doesn't help either that he's broken so many walls here. It's really hard to see the path of where he's gonna run. It should it should sweep up through here. I think my traps might not be close enough, but no, oh, here he comes. No! Ow! Stop running! <laughs> Apparently I was under the edge of him there and I died. He didn't bleed out and die, that's for sure. Uh, okay, I need I need traps, uh, which means I need tin. That wow, that really set me back. That definitely definitely set me back. Yeah, I got smushed like a grape. I love the noise he makes when he dies too. He's like, Bleh! <laughs> <sighs> dig a path through the slime to stay ahead of him, maybe. Maybe I don't, he. I think he's. He might be faster than me. Even, even accounting for that, though. I went the wrong way. The spike traps were great. I think you need a bigger sword. This is the <laughs> dilemma I can make. This is the best one I can get right now. Okay. Best I got. Stop making fun of me. I should actually look and see if I can make a better crafting table. Now that I have the iron, I might actually be able to make the next tier crafting table. I kind of didn't look, because I'm kind of smart that way. In the meantime, I need to find more tin. Traps are just a waste as they all get destroyed. I, I guess, except that they did a great job of getting him to stop running and like doing his big loop and coming after me instead. I guess if I can stay ahead of him. Bow and arrow. I don't know if I can make a bow and arrow. I think I have that kind of range weapon weaponry. New talent available in mining. Ba ba ba. Bloop. Talent in crafting. Bloop. Talent in gardening. Yeah, I guess there is there is a range combat thing. I just don't. I guess I don't have it. Got a bow. Can you make a spear? Uh, no, just the sword. Oh yeah, there's a slingshot. That's right, I can make a slingshot. But again, I, 
like the sword does good pretty good damage and i can attack with it really quickly so i don't know that like slowing down my attack rate will help either i just gotta stay out of his way a little bit if i had slightly better armor that would help but i used up all my tin on traps <laughs> only russian you know was vodka <laughs> what about das vidanya that's that's like in every movie Well, well, Mr. Worm, you've won so far, but don't worry. We'll continue to die. He didn't destroy all my torches, so that's something, I guess. He only destroyed some of them. Hooray! I got my stuff back, including my three gravestones. <laughs> We're all powerful now. All right, we could I, let's try the. We'll try digging up some slime and see if that gives me the speed I need. Got the need, the need for speed. Ah, get me out of here! Did he get hurt by something? Oh God! Too close. Got too close. Okay, he comes like way up here. Um. Let's start digging slime, I guess. Ain't got no slime to hold me down to make me puke or make me frown. I had slime, but now it's gone. I got no slime on me. As soon as he comes through, though, he's gonna replace it all, which is kind of kind of a bummer. not hug the wild animals. Yeah, that guy is a little, he's a little mean. I don't like him. Uh, bonus dodge, bonus max health, and six crit chance for five minutes. Let's pop one of those. Get a little bit of healing in, and also get some crit chance bonus. I feel like crits would be alright. I'm pro crit. You get out of here. Nobody got time for you. This is, a, this is a lot of slime. What the? Oh, okay. I hit the ground. Got it. Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take him to come back around, so I don't want to be digging this direction anymore. Let's go back this way. I'll clean up over here a bit. <laughs> Look, I found a trap! <laughs> Clearly that one was not under the line of fire. Right over here. Where'd it go? Boop! One trap! <laughs> He's doomed now, man. We got a trap. I wonder what would happen if I dug a trench. Would he just roll straight over it? Or would he have to stop because it's like a gap? What? This is too far over. He doesn't come here. Otherwise these wood boxes wouldn't still be here. Where does he come through here? Pretty narrow range of what he's going to hit here. So he's going to come up through here. Uh, he may or may not hit that trap. Uh oh, dog's barking. My wife must be home. I heard her go out. 
Oh, there goes our shovel. Okay. <laughs> so now that we got that, we can we can move a little a little more quickly through here. I don't know how fast this devourer guy runs. Like he might he might outpace us, and if he does, then we got problems. He'll fill in the hole. Oh, okay. Here he comes. Ah, I stepped in the slime. And darn it. Paying attention. There we go. We got his attention. Ah, don't kill me. This is going to suck really bad if he kills me again. Oh, 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 I dodged and then I got hurt. Okay. Sword. Bombs. It's like, where'd he go? <laughs> Keep using this. The bombs do a little bit more damage. Even the smaller ones, I think, we've got to do more. <sighs> oh, God! Huh? Doing little bits of damage. I'm all out of bombs again. Oh, God, he turned fast. Oh, God. Ow! I don't like it. I don't like it. Give me heals. Give me heals. We got this. We got this. His health is still really high, though. I, I really need more bombs. Could have made more bombs. Why didn't people suggest to make more bombs? Other than the people that already suggested it. His hitbox is really big for the sword. Like, I... I'm not swinging out all that far, but I can be pretty far away and still hit him. Where'd you go? Ow. Thanks, dear. Got a few hits on him. Come on, man. Ah! They hit him quite a few times, but he does a little roundabout at least. And I'm fully healed too, which is good. Oh, no, you don't. I see you. Got him! Oh, he's dead! New talent point available in Vitality. There's his chest. Okay, take it all. Oh, I got an axe. Tin axe. 107 to 129 melee damage. Uh, slower but more damaging weapon against multiple enemies. I guess you can, like... Do, like, a sweeping attack with it. Alright, big dude's toast. Let's get his chest to bring with us, too. We got the Gorm chest. Not just any chest, it's a Gorm chest. And all that tin I wasted on spikes was a complete waste. <laughs> oh well, live and learn. We won! I don't want to follow his path and see where he's been. Oh, like, how many biomes does he go through? Is it just all the same biome in, like, just a big sweeping arc around the starting area, or does he go through multiple biomes? I think mines want to know. I already digging here? This, this already went in. Okay, I don't really want to run all the way up around there. I'm too lazy for that. I'd like to find more tin, though, so I can get my armor upgraded. Uh... Although, I might be able to just skip over it, I guess, and go to Iron Armor, if that's an option on the next crafting setup. So maybe we'll go back and we'll see what we can craft now. There was a there was a vendor that popped out of the, um... 
popped out when we killed the first boss. I, th I thought there might be one here too, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Adventure time! Those are a couple of biomes. All right, that's cool. Very nice. F's to the worm. Oh, and I'm reading chat while I'm walking. That didn't lead to good things. Okay, another boss down. So that's two of them. I don't know how many bosses are in the game just yet. It's, this is an early access release. They're still adding stuff to the game. I think there's only a few bosses right now. But that's cool. Wait, did I get... What did I get off of? Mysterious Idol. Gorm's Stomach Bag. Plus 12 inventory. This is plus 10. So I'll get slightly more inventory if I use his stomach. That's gross. Uh, Gorm's Horn. A pointy gemstone that let... A uh, larva grow way beyond its maximum size. That's probably what I gotta put in the statue. Uh, and then I just got the axe, I guess. How's that compare? 78 to 94, 107, 127. I don't know. I, I feel like there's probably. Oh, what's this? Larva chest. Plus 27 max health, 14 armor, plus 28 mining damage. Oh my goodness. Minus 5.4% movement. That sucks. Two piece set disguised as a larva. Larva Helm and Larva... Did I get the Larva Helm too? The Larva Ring, plus 21 max health. Two set, immune to being slowed by slime. Ooh. Two set, plus 13.1% range damage. Uh, this gives 9% dodge chance. Let's, let's boost my health here. We'll slap one of those rings on. Slap the chest piece on. It does not qualify for the two set. So I've got to have the helm, the chest, and this needs the larva ring as well as the grub necklace in order to have the two set. But it didn't get the grub necklace. Huh. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a tubbo. <laughs> Look how big it is. <laughs> I look like a larva. That's amazing. <laughs> I want that thing doesn't that stops me from getting slowed down on slime. That's That'd be handy. This feels a little bit like that uh, the one godkin, the godskin set or whatever in Elden Ring we got, where we put it on and it was like it's the giant chest piece. <laughs> Give me a bucket. That mysterious idol is the next NPC item. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Because the other one we got the. Uh, oh, you know, maybe I saw the ven vendor before. Uh, before we got the item to attract him in and then the item dropped from the boss maybe that's what it was I just haven't seen that other vendor yet but we'll uh, we'll see if he shows up if I, yeah, I put the idol down I don't know if I have to find him and have a clear path for him to get to us or not Need ring and necklace to be not be slowed, right? Yeah, does the boss respawn so you can go for loot again? I, I don't think it does. I don't know how that works. Maybe there's a way to trigger the boss to come back or something? I'm not really sure. Uh, this is the crystal slot. That goes in there. Carapace breastplate, carapace helm, and we got the uh, recall idol. Teleports you back to the core, consumed in the process. That is awesome. Need more of that in my life. Uh, this one is tin bars, larva meat, slime, and fiber. That takes a lot. The larva meat in particular is kind of a pain in the butt to get. So I guess I should... S oh, wait. I have 20 larva meat. Never mind. <laughs> uh, so the tin is going to be my limiting factor here. So two set of this is uh, plus 24.3% damage for a short duration after mining a wall. Weird. Plus 9% explosives damage. Woo. This is my bomb suit. It's for dropping bombs. 
Organic body armor resembling Gorm's shell. It's heavy and feels weird on the inside. That sounds gross. Uh, chitin plated headpiece. Wearing it fills you with the urge to dig paths through the darkness. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, we need a room for our uh, our other dude. Um, not that we know who it is yet, or even know what I need. Get here. So we'll hollow all this out, I guess. Make this living quarters for him. Oh, actually, I could put it behind my own. Take a spot in here for him. Ah, I broke a wall. Uh, and that'll that'll help me save save walls too, I guess. Maybe I should unload my inventory. Seem <laughs> to have seem to have overfilled myself. Oh my god, he's so cute running around with a big fat carapace on. Look at me and my gooey body. Wonderful. Uh. I wonder if the slime figurine is for another vendor to come along, and I've been keeping it in my own room, and therefore it's not working. I didn't think so, though. Boop! Okay. Very good. Uh, let's put that in there for now, because I don't want to waste it. Put the ring in there... Armor in there. NPC attracted by the idol you found should uh, sell items to summon previously defeated bosses. Apparently the next boss drops the larva helm though. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that I guess that's uh, that's all right. Uh, go there. Plus one baking. Hooray. I'm a bake, I'm a bake master. Call me the master baker. Iron bar. Uh. Oh, I gotta put my gravestones down. <laughs> Keep track of all the times I've died over here. I wonder if the vendor will be concerned that I've got a graveyard outside his door. There we go. Oh wait, it's Q, isn't it? Uh, Q. Go. Cute, cute. Yeah, look at all the slime we got. I dug up a lot of slime. Oh, that's ground slime. It's different from the other slime. Slime blobs will start to coagulate from the slime-covered surfaces over time. So I can actually, like, build a room with all that on the floor and get them to spawn or whatever, and then, uh... Grab that. And then it could be, like, a spawning room. We got a little bit of tin ore, but not much, unfortunately. So that's not gonna get me very far. Bar. What do we need to make the next crafting bench? Well, 10 tin, 20 iron, and 10 wood. Okay, so I had how much iron? 16. So I don't have enough to get to the next tier anyway. I gotta go find gotta go find more. Tin is gonna be the problem. Yeah, I can make my own sli fi um, slime farming room. Yeah. I don't know how much we need to because there's quite a few slimes around here. But at least it's an option. You know, if it's something we want to do. I would like that shield. Oh, I gotta fix my shovel. Boop. That too over here, I guess. How are we doing in our garden up here? I got nothing planted. Okay. I got probably should deal with that too. Let's do more of these fiber seeds, more of that. These are the root seeds. I don't want to plant those yet. Those are the bomb peppers, and these are glow tulips. More fiber. Dude, you're in the way again. Would you go away? Enough. My water can. Out of water. More water.
This is a silly little game. I really kind of like it, actually. <laughs> uh, you can clear all the surrounding slime areas so they don't spawn and harass you. You'll keep a slime spawning zone. I, I guess I could do that, but they're not really they're not really being much of a pain. I can just run by them. They don't really seem to be representing that huge of an issue. Darcelin with a super chat. What game is this? This is Core Keeper. Uh, it's relatively new. It came out like March 7th or 8th, I think it was. Uh, and the game, uh, it's kind of like, uh, it's almost like a top-down view version of, uh, Terraria. It's got a lot of, a lot of commonalities with Terraria, which is great. A little bit of, a uh, little bit of farming and stuff, like you might get in, like, a Stardew Valley kind of thing. Um, so it's got some similarities with a few different games, but, um, yeah, Core Keeper's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, I think the, the, the amount of content in it I've heard is not huge right now. But, um... As they add more stuff in, we will continue to grow, which is nice. Uh, I need, uh, oh, I need dirt walls for that. Give to me all of the walls. All of the many walls. Uh, and up here, we'll build our next little vendor room here. There we go. So this way I can use the I can reuse the one wall. I'm like a long narrow room here. Uh I probably should have made floors, that would have been good. Call me Al while planting? Okay. What are you doing, Fox? I was watering. Uh, yeah, I need floor. I don't know how much floor, but we'll make like 18 of them, I guess. I need a door. Uh, we're going, I have a torch, so we can put a torch in there. Oh, I need to make a bed. The bed requires fiber, which I have some. Forty four fiber. We got all kinds of fiber. Okay, we'll finish this room. I should probably put a door that goes like from my place into the into the vendor's house over here so that I don't have to walk all the way around every time. It doesn't cater to my laziness very well. Oh, I'm hungry. Uh, yeah. Eating's probably good, right? Shoot, I ran out of floor. I need uh, like four more of them. Oops, uh, made too many. I wonder if the vendors like different types of floors better. Like, if you if you make like stone floors, do you get? Do they give you something better? Is that a thing. Uh, let's give them a light in here. Light. Got a little fancy statue in here. I mean, it's good. We'll see if he comes by. Whoops. Like I said, I don't know if we have to find the vendor first and then bring him in, or what the deal is, but hopefully that will suffice. These are growing, but they're not ready yet. Um, keep forgetting, what for Elden Ring, Seven Days to Die, I forget the other. It's in the description of the stream too, Rabbit. I got the list in there. We'd be playing Tunic, uh, the new Fox Zelda-ish game. I hadn't decided whether I was going to play it or not, actually. I have seen it, um, but I haven't uh, hadn't decided if I was going to play it or not. I think it might be interesting, possibly. Uh, incidentally, if you're curious, our total so far raised today, $1,300 already. That's, uh, that's pretty fantastic. Thank you all to everyone who supported. Last couple of donations were from Lori Hart, Fireface, and Dustin from Baltimore. So thank you for that. Making good progress toward that $5,000 goal in support of uh, Covenant House and their main mission drive. Uh, so thank you to everyone who's uh, who's made a donation. That's really appreciated. Um, eads. We put all this stuff back. Put all the QQ all the things back. Um, I don't know. I mean, I should probably be using this tin axe instead of the sword. How does it? I wonder what it's like speed wise. The sword's fast. This is much slower. 
So it does more damage per individual hit. And it's got a sweep attack, which hits multiple enemies. Maybe I'll keep it in case I get in a room where there's like multiples and I want to be able to hit more than one at a time. I got to leave the door open. Is that a requirement? Can't open the door. <laughs> Literally, door, door won't open. There we go. Put a torch up here too. I want to be able to see all the way up there. Okay, so, um, since I wasted all that tin in my infinite wisdom, I, I do need to find more. I need it to be able to make this next bench. I gotta get ten tin bars, and I think I only have three that I smelted down here. Yeah. We have three. I need at least seven more tin. Uh, and then we gotta find some more, uh, some more iron. The iron is in the biome that's over here. We can go over there to find more. I actually probably... I wonder what happens if I dig... I'll go like across the bridge and we'll just go like straight down the side of the canyon and see where that takes us. Although it looks like the canyon might turn. In case that could present problems. I got... Oh, he's got new stuff! He sells larva meat now. Uh, tin ore! Oh, psh. Hold on a second. Here I'm like thinking I gotta go dig like crazy to find tin ore and he's got it. Hold still. Changed my mind. You're not as useless as I thought you were. He's only got 10 of it though. Still, it's 10 is what I need. Oh, I don't want to sell it. What am I? Did I sell one? I just... He had 10. Why do I only have 9? Did I sell one by accident? I think I sold one. Oh no, he's got one left, but I don't have enough money. I got it. I got it. I got it. Fine. Fine. We're fine. Brain does work, I swear. Really? Uh, 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 still. Alright. That's cool. I wonder what else will he buy off me? Hold on a second. Will you buy like something super mundane, like, I don't know, clay walls? How do I... Oh, I'm doing it wrong. Will you buy clay walls? Can I just abuse you like crazy? Nope. <laughs> you won't buy clay walls. <laughs> He's like, I'm too smart for that. Get out of here. Okay, we could probably... What are, can I make like wooden tools maybe? I can... Where's my wood? Curious. Just curious if he'll... What kind of stuff he'll actually buy off me. Ooh, he does buy those! Oh, wow, well, jeez. Is there a limit? Is, is he picky? <laughs> nope. <laughs> he'll just keep buying them. Alright. Got 10 tin off him now. That's good. Okay, he's way more useful than I thought he was. I thought he was just going to be like super lame and not have anything good. But he's a little better. Hover over the item, you can see its cell value. Uh, yeah, but see, like, I, if I hover over these, they show no cell value. I've got to... Got to be maybe when I'm actually talking to him. Yeah, oh yeah, 55, 54, 6, 10. Interesting, I could sell them for 10, even though I bought them for 10. Ow. Unusual. Oh, he does buy wood. Huh. Alright. That's cool. Yeah, at least he, uh... Yeah, yeah it doesn't do it in the menu, uh, like... Yeah, these things don't show, don't show any value. You have to do it while you're actually talking to him, and then it works. Uh, still, that's cool. So I can, uh, do more things. More stuff and things. More stuff and things. Uh, let's smelt the rest of this tin. Uh, okay, while that's smelting, we do need to still go and find, uh, the iron. So let's, uh, let's go off in search of that, I guess. And the connection goes glitchy again. Oh, please say no. I mean, mine looks fine, so it, this time it might be on your side? I'm not showing tech issues on my end. Oh, uh, oh, I spoke too soon. It's fluctuating. Darn it. I remember the days when you first came here and had tons of problem finding wood. Those were the days of last week. Yep. Have I made a drill? I have not made a drill. Uh, but I have a feeling I need a different crafting table for that. Than what I have so far. Uh, running.
going faster. I'll be able to run faster. Give me around places quicker. Plus six of percent of all skill points added to max health. Yes, please. Got a point in cooking available too. Uh, utilize every nutrient. Plus five percent from food. Uh, food from cooked food. Okay. Good. When I cook food, I get more foody foods. Good. Oh, good. Short burst of drop frames. Well, it's uh, it's kind of picked up again. It. it it was fluctuating a little bit, but it, it didn't go like crazy, but, uh, yeah. Good old internet. Nothing beats high quality interwebs. This is gold over here. Like that, thank you. Can't hurt having more wood, I guess. More copper, I guess. Chugga, 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 chugga. Just plowing through here. What the? Do I need to drill? Okay, so we... Oh, I can't... That, that looks like it might be possibly iron, maybe? Where am I now? Okay, I am across the canyon from where I want to be. Uh, I need to dig up some up some dirt here. Where's my shovel? Look, the water fills in. That's cool. Okay, so using that, I guess I can make a... Uh... I can make a bigger water area if I wanted to. Dirt ground. And I must have dug up a lot more dirt than it looks like, because that's uh that's pretty impressive how much that filled in there. <laughs> okay, that gets us into the general area here I want to be in. Um uh, over here. Need to find Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Like something down here that's gold. What is that? There's creepy red eyes in the dark. Is it going to be a spider or is it going to be a bat type thing, I wonder? Kind of bouncing around, so I'm thinking something like a spider. New item, ring of rock. What? What now? Oh, God! Oh, it's like a little goblin dude! Oh, God, he's fast. Also takes quite a bit of damage to kill. That's not cool. Ring of rock. Plus 13 armor. Two set gives you 49 mining damage. Simple ring found in the deepest of rocks. Only a blue ring. Alright, that's cool. What else did I get here? Oh, that was the iron ore I wanted. Alright. Ooh, what's that? Found a place with a thing. More little eyeball dudes. I seriously need to get a shield. Whoa! You want a hand mortar? Hand mortar, 20 to 24 range damage. 103 to 125 explosive damage. 156 mining damage. Problems that can't be solved can usually be blasted away. All right. Uh, let's put that up here. That's cool. Does it need any particular ammo? Nope. Oh, God. This is like a little dungeon area, it looks like. Look at that. Karok. I got a Karok. Oh, look at this guy. Okay, we're getting into more interesting critters now. I found more iron, too.
Very nice. When you go on mining mission tracks, you can use the uh, ring of rock. Looks like uh, it'll come, that'll come in handy. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get another one. So, well, the ring of rock just gives armor, but I, I, I need two of them. Ring of rock and ring of stone to be able to uh, to have the, the speed boost. I don't know where to get the ring of stone one. I guess it's probably the same idea where I just <laughs> find it randomly while I'm digging. Kind of novel. There's another gear. Oh! Oh god, he's got fire! Dodged. Ha ha ha, you little jerk. Cabling hood. Ah! Ah! Okay, you might be cool and all, but that, that, that hurt. Ah, got you. Ah, that's better. Looks like a mine with it, too. Looks like an added bonus. Pew! Oh god. Oh god, it's out. I'm out of ammo? There we go. It's got a it's got a fire rate delay. <laughs> I took damage off that. <laughs> I should get something to eat. I should. I could probably also probably also heal. Cool. Well, those little guys are problematic. They do uh they do some decent damage. They only got five iron ore. Cabling Hood, plus 15 max health, plus 9% dodge chance. 8 max health, 4 armor. So this one doesn't give armor, but it does increase dodge and health. Gives, gives more health. What is it? I wonder what the effect of, his, of armor is. Is it a straight 1 to 1 damage reduction? If so, the added health might be better. <laughs> I also look sillier, so I approve. Uh, up there. <laughs> he almost looks cute now. I feel quite hungry. Oh, please don't start talking about food. <laughs> Once I shoot fire, I have a chance of giving you a fire staff and you kill them. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> there are little, little beady eyes in the dark or something. Uh, to be feared of. You don't. Sorry, right, slow down. Slow down, big guy. Got you. You dropped a gear there. Ow! God, they hurt. I really need a shield. <laughs> I gotta make a shield. Okay. Uh, that is probably more iron over there. Another carrot too. Seems like a cave carrot, basically. I need more more healing potions. What games are you playing this round? And when's your break? Uh, I'm gonna break up roughly every three hours or so. So we'll be switching games shortly. Uh, I have the list of games we'll be playing today in the description of the stream, uh, so you can find them there. But uh, next on deck will probably be some Project Zomboid. I'm also gonna play some Elden Ring today and Seven Days to Die. That's my plan, anyway. Karag is real good food, but can only be grown on stone floor. Oh. But I didn't get seeds from it, though. I just got the, uh... Eric. It only gives seven food. It can be cooked. Rock-hard vegetable that toughens you up. So I guess if we combine it with other things, maybe it's better food. But by itself, it's kind of terrible. Food-wise, anyway. Just on a food, on a food basis. Right away. Let's go around here. Let's see if we can find, uh... Need to find some more sparkles. There's some. There's a, there, I, I wonder if there's a dude over there. <laughs> no brains for Fox. I want every minute of Fox awesomeness. 
I will be playing Planet Crafter, but probably not today. Uh, I think I'll be streaming that tomorrow night. But yeah, definitely play more. Is he stuck in a little one-by-one -one spot? I feel almost bad for him. We should rescue him with my sword. I dodged your fireball, you jerk. Didn't dodge his second hit though. Ow! Ow! Oh god, I'm a fire! Oh, I lied. I lied? Am I burning? Uh... <laughs> How long does the fire go for? Okay, it's out. <laughs> okay. We, uh... I didn't dodge quite as well as I thought I did. <laughs> oh my god. Here I am laughing at the guy while I'm catching fire. It's like a pokey. Go with other things for better boosts. I believe you. I see more Carrick over there. I can't reach it. There's a big canyon here. Where's that ground I dug up? I only got three of it left. Ah, I'm one short. Okay, um, get an open space here, we'll, uh, we'll dig up some more diggy digs. Can, does a shovel dig rock? I mean, it feels like a weird thing to do, but, yeah, alright, that works. New item, stone ground. So if we're gonna grow Carrick, we gotta get some stone ground, is what you're telling me. Guess that's doable. Once I get some seeds, anyway, I, I guess... Maybe seeds will come up eventually. Oh, I do have Carrick seeds. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I gotta get, uh... Gotta get my hands on some of that wonderful stone ground for growing. Carrick's are good for making food with armor buffs. Alright, oh, broke my thing. Uh... Boop. Fixed. Gotta get stoned. Everybody's got to get stoned. There you go. Satisfied? Uh, there's a little stone ground by the core, but not much. I, I can bring some with me. Then we just we we'll just we we'll just dig the existing ground and replace it with uh, with the stone. I imagine. So much mining. This is a great little game. I, I don't know how much it is on Steam, actually. I don't even remember. I think I might even have it on Nexus, now that I think of it. Well, let me check. Uh... Board. Nope. 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 Um... Oh, I do have it on. Yeah. So I do have this on Nexus. If you're interested in playing Core Keeper yourself, you can get it on my Nexus store at nexus.gg slash crypticfox. Uh, it's like twelve ninety nine, but I don't know if that's Canadian dollars it's showing me or if that's like just U.S. But for what it is, it's uh, it's quite good. It's early access still. They're still um, still expanding on the game. I think they made like a huge number of sales in like the first week or two that they've been they've been out though, which is pretty incredible. I can see why. Like it has, it very much has that uh, Terraria kind of appeal to it. And obviously Terraria was hugely popular. I love when it's in sand, because it's just so easy to get. Uh, I'm gonna dig up some, uh, dig up some of the ground here. Maybe I should land where I'm actually gonna dig it out. Happy in sales since the first week of the month. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty impressive. I wonder if it. <laughs> I mean, I imagine it probably wildly beat their expectations, but that's great. Like, the nice thing about 
small developers like that that get on something so successful is it, it provides the funding that will probably last the rest of the lifetime of the game kind of thing. And they can still keep adding development to it. It's pretty great. Alright, I got 14. I guess, I mean, it's probably enough, right? A couple more, maybe. Okay, so we got we have enough to have a little bit of stony ground anyway. Uh, I have 24 iron ore on me right now, which would give me the ability to go back and get some stuff, but we'll get maybe just a tiny bit more. Um, I don't know what we're gonna what we're gonna need from a, a resource perspective. Deck. What the heck is that? I need my higher mining damage. Oh, I can mine it. What I got? Amber larva. It's food. Uh, 11 food plus 50 permanent max health can be cooked. Grub encapsulated in amber, an extremely rare ingredient. Plus 50 permanent max health. That's sweet. Here I was just about to go back to our, uh, back to our little home base area. Just like that, find a permanent upgrade. Good job with the Nightbot upgrades there, Rabbit. That's just, uh, I had no idea you could do that kind of stuff with Nightbot. That's super handy. 15 to 20 hours of gameplay in this currently. Um, yeah, I guess depending on, on how long, you know, how quick you are going through stuff. But yeah, they definitely definitely need to add more to it. It's not done. Pretty good so far, though. So, I think there's only like the three major bosses, right? Or is there more than that? Because we only have three, um, three crafting stations that take boss items. Oh, there's more? Okay, that's cool. Cool, man. I wonder if there's... Is there a benefit to... to cooking those rare ingredients? Does it... Does it take away from the... the... Because this gives a 50 max health buff if I eat it right now. But it says it can be cooked. I'm, I'm just concerned that if I cook it, it will take away that... 50 max health buff. Uh, there are ancients beyond the wall after you've killed the three central bosses. Oh, okay. That's cool. Not sure what wall you're talking about, but I'll take your word for it. All right, let's head back. After I get that. These sparkles. I need sparkles. More, more Carrick. We can show six bosses or something. First three unlocks and a new area for the three remaining bosses. Oh, okay, cool. Good times. Those sparkles there. But as soon as I left, it stopped sparkling. As soon as I went back, rather. Oh, that's a new area. Uh... Build a straight road. I got the Ring of Stone, look at that. So there's the Ring of Rock, I found the Ring of Stone just randomly, uh, right there. The two of them together give me plus 49 mining damage. I'm gonna hold on to those. I don't need them here, because one hit wrecks this stuff anyway, but... Now when I'm digging in the rock, I can put that on and we'll, we'll dig faster. Is this about crypto coin? <laughs> hey, hooligans, how you doing? Cooking it retains the permanent buff and adds a hefty temp HP buff. Oh, nice. Maybe we'll combine it with a carrot and see what happens. Higher cooking skill has a chance of getting an extra item from cooking. 
Oh, that's true. Maybe I should put it away for now. Try to boost my cooking skill, and then there's a chance when we cook with it, we'll get two of the items to give the 50 max health buff. That would be pretty sweet. There's a big wall that stops when you dig so far after you've achieved activated the core. Oh, okay. That's cool. I'm sure we'll find it. Eventually. I don't see it on there just yet, but... Oh, we gotta go smelt ourselves some iron. I guess I'll put away that, uh, that larva thing for now. We'll see if, um, if we can boost our cooking skill and boost my... Oh, I got a second ring of stone. I'll, I'll be. Let me get rid of this iron helmet thing I'm wearing. You're not the... Not iron, it's, uh, copper. That'll give me 20 monies. Monies. Oh, put that away, put this away, melt the fire in bars, nice. Okay, so that other crafting bench, 10 tin, 10 wood, 20 iron. Oh, I've got so many dirt walls in here, I can't put any more in. Oh, I need that tin bar. Uh, oh, I've got more tin ore too that going I'm gonna need more storage chests well actually I guess I have I put the storage chests up here because I kind of thought I might have things to put up. oh there's the dude there what have you got Ooh, giant slime summoning idol first idol to reawaken a giant slime summoned upon placing it on any giant slime summoning rune okay so that's what that thing was we found over there that was the marking on the ground Iron Chunk Necklace, plus 12 armor. Wow, 320. Flintlock Musket, 165 to 201 range damage. Can't argue with a handful of lead coming right at you. <laughs> I, I guess not. The Caveling Bread would be handy too, actually. Hive Mother Summoning Idol. We haven't found the Hive Mother spot yet, but that's cool. Okay, so he's got the stuff that we can use to, to resummon, so that's good. Uh, plus 50 max health bonus does not go away when cooking the amber larva. Yep, yeah, yep, we're good. We got that. Hey, Wolfie, how you doing? Uh, doing four there, five there, added to the 16. We'll give you enough to make our bench. I think I have the wood on me. Oh, I gotta smelt this copper too. Get that going. Where's my wood? Play wall, there's the wood. Okay, we can make a uh, iron workbench. Got it. Where can I put it? I'm running out of, there. it's crazy how much space all this stuff takes. Okay, this lets me make a smelter kiln. Uh, a kiln that can melt valuable ores. <clears throat> that takes tin ore and iron ore, whoops. Get my coffee cup. Uh, we can make the iron anvil. We can make a jewelry workbench. Workbench for creating rings and necklaces, that's cool. Scarlet workbench, create a workbench to be prepared for the outer cave systems. Take scarlet bars. Oh, that's the next workbench up, okay. Uh, electronics table, to create electrical and electric systems. Cartography table, to share your map discoveries with other explorers, that's for multiplayer. And then of course we've got our iron tools and iron weapons and stuff. 102 damage. Two and a half attacks per second. Same speed, bit of an upgrade in damage, due to 124. This one does have that nice thing that slows them down, but... Hmm. A vendor sells a golden larva meat? Oh, really? Cool. Wait, was that, was that what this thing was called? A golden larva? Oops. I don't have it here. Where'd I put it? I put it in, the, I put it in my storage thing up here, didn't I? Oh, I didn't? I don't know where I put it. <laughs> I had a thing. I had a thing. I did a thing. And now I don't have a thing. Huh. Okay. Any upgrade points we can spend here that I haven't used? Inventory. Cool. Awesome. Well, we made good progress. Uh, I think I'm going to call it a wrap for Core Keeper. Uh, and then we'll move on to maybe a little bit of Project Zomboid. <clears throat> so that'll be uh, tons of good fun. Let's get a little update on where we're doing on 
fundraising. We're at $1,340 towards our $5,000 goal. So again, thank you to everyone that's donated. That's amazing. Uh, Blake family, family was the latest with the donation. Laurie Hart before that and Fireface before that. So thank you everyone who's uh, who's been donating to help support uh, Covenant House. Obviously a very worthwhile charitable organization helping to support homeless kids trafficked and uh, at risk youth as well. So yeah, it's great. Good times. Oh God, everyone's been coming to hang out today too. I never know when I schedule during the daytime who's going to be able to come out because I stream at night all the time. So it's a little, uh, a little different, you know, a little different timing wise. Get all my stuff turned back on. Mm -hmm. Headset always messes up my hair. Hey, there's me again. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to save the game here. I don't even know if I actually have to save. Yeah, save and exit. I'll save that out. We'll uh, switch over to a little bit of Project Zomboid. Again, if you've just been joining the stream recently and you missed my little blurb at the beginning, uh, today's stream for 12 hours is in support of Covenant House. Uh, they're an organization in, in uh, Canada. Uh, the or um, Covenant House Toronto in particular is the one I'm focused on today. Uh, they provide services for roughly 280 youth every day. Uh, in order to provide them with shelter for the homeless. Um, they provide them with food for those that are hungry and unable to get meals. Uh, they help with, um, fortunately, youth that have been sex trafficked uh, and those that are at risk as well. Uh, and from what I've heard, r roughly 30% of all the youth that end up going through Covenant House are unfortunately those who have been victims of that kind of uh, sex trafficking, which is just mind-boggling to think about. Um, today's day and age but uh so all the donations today if you want to if you want to donate to the cause to help support covenant house you can use the link that's in the description or the one that's pinned at the top of the chat they both go the same place uh those donations go directly to covenant house please don't send it as a super chat because youtube will take 30 percent off the top uh and then uh it's like a month before it processes before i can i can pass along the donations so better to donate directly to the covenant house as we uh as we work to help support their main mission uh but thank you so much everyone i'm gonna take a quick bio break uh, and then uh, we'll come back, we'll play uh, some Project Zomboid and uh, go on to other games uh, beyond that. So thanks. No one decides which country or city they are born in, who their parents are, how they're raised, or what neighborhood they grow up in. No one decides how their story begins, but everyone can decide the next step in their journey. Every day we see youth walk through our doors feeling powerless. We are here to help them take back their power. We believe every youth is brave and resilient, even if they don't know it yet. We believe every youth deserves the opportunity to heal and realize their full potential. That every youth has the right to food, shelter, emotional support, and safety. We are the coaches, the mentors, the allies, the counselors, the teachers, and so much more. From the small wins to the big wins, we are here every step of the way. Because no one walks alone. We are Covenant House.
can tell you we've been stuck in our house long enough to know that every corner could use a redo. Isn't it nice to know that a flexi line can help you do that? Maybe it's that kitchen you've been dreaming of or the property you've had your eye on. Find out why Canadians have been trusting Capital Direct for 25 years. Could you use 200,000, 500, 1 million, or even three? Call Capital Direct today at 1 800 New Capital to see what's available to you. CapitalDirect.ca How does it feel to chase a legacy? The NBA has my dream. Reach for the stars. Have we humans outgrown our little planet? Or battle for best in show? This is the Olympics of table setting. I hate napkins. Discovery Plus is the streaming home of documentaries like Last Exit Space, Legacy in the Shadow of Greatness, and more. It is spectacular. Stream now. Terms apply. All right, I'm back. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Uh, I had just a quick bio break and got myself and another coffee. At some point, I'm going to have to switch to something other than coffee today. I'm going to wind up with, like, the worst gut rot or something. 12 hours of straight coffee might be a bit much. Uh, but, yeah, Welcome. And um, thank you again to everyone who uh, who donated to support the cause. I see there was an echo on the video, so I'll have to uh, I'll have to try to tweak that for any of the other ones that I play from the Covenant House. Sorry about that. Uh, let's get into some Project Zomboid now. We'll play this for the next few hours. I might even try uh, one of the challenge modes, although I make no guarantees of survival because I am not a professional Project Zomboid player. Purely, purely amateur. Switch over to that. Mm -hmm. Not what I thought the face of the voice would look like. That's what I get all the time. Everybody says, you do not look like how I pictured. Uh, which I guess is pretty standard. That's kind of how it goes, right? Ooh, uh, loading right now. Take a moment. Hey, Cryptic, we changed a little. Uh, yep, it's called age. What happens? Spend your time sitting indoors, working at home, and then doing YouTube and aging a little bit, and uh, things gradually shift that way. <laughs> Box face reveal. Not really a reveal. I've actually had my face on camera before. Uh, I had a stream not that long ago where I uh, using a video camera, but every once in a while I, I turn one on. Don't use it often. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's switch back over to the game and we'll play a little bit of Project Zomboid and see if we can get killed by zombies. It hasn't been that long since I last saw your face. All right. First time you've seen me. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you're not the only one. Welcome to Project Zomboid. Put down all my lights and stuff here so I don't blind myself the whole time I'm playing. Succeeded all these games? So I succeeded entertainment aim anyway, let's just say. <laughs> Project Zomboid is one of those games that I, I don't think I could claim to necessarily succeed at. Night69 became a member. Thanks for clicking the join button. Welcome to the Smart Tier membership. Appreciate the support. Uh, all right, I, I could load a game that we were playing ages ago, but I think we're gonna go and just uh, Maybe try one of these challenges and see if we can make a hot mess of ourselves. We might die super duper fast. We'll see what happens Bro, you have a hundred thousand subs. You're officially a pro. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I'm not a pro at the individual games. Let's just say Nate Sheriff's older brother. No, we're just friends Just friends uh, you got to the shower and fall badly. You're blind, drunk, and have a nasty cold. On top of all this, the house is on fire. Today is definitely not your day. That sounds... Sounds great. Clouds are gathering over Kentucky. The crackle of thunder can be heard in the distance. As skies darken, the dead that stumble over the earth grow restless. This is a storm that will grow and fall back in its ferocity, but it will never end. Uh, Last Stand is the one where they have, like, the, the waves of the zombies that come at you, right? Very relaxing stay in Kingsmouth Island. <laughs> Where all the best movies are filmed. In the studio, Descending Fog. Ooh, that could be a tough one. Really fog every winter's coming. You have one day. Let's try this, uh, a really CDDA challenge and see how fast we die. And when we die really quick, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll probably just fire up a regular game. <laughs> but I'm curious. Curious. I think I'm gonna go with uh, carpentry, maybe the carpenter dude. Still gives me two points to spend, though. Uh, we could take mm, we could take a negative trade, I guess. We could make ourselves overweight, as if all the other problems we have aren't bad enough. Let's make ourselves overweight. That'll give us eight points to spend on stuff. So we can uh, go with. 
friends more quickly. Cat's eyes would be nice. We'd see better vision at night. But there's one I think that actually gives us... Like, is it the hearing one that lets us see zombies behind us a little bit better? Eagle-eyed. Faster visibility fade, higher visibility arc. Seems like a good one. eagle eye might be a good option. Let's add that trait. That gives me two points to spend, so maybe I'll go with uh, cat's eyes so we see better at night while we're at it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We're going to die really quick on this one, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure we're toast. Uh, let's load up my cryptic fox dude with his uh, greasy hair looking thing. Um, I guess the clothes aren't going to matter because we're like naked. We just got out of a shower, right? <laughs> this is going to be rough. TDDA challenge, uh, be prepared to make at least five attempts before you get lucky and make some progress. Oh, great. Fabulous. I mean, the house is on fire and I'm naked. That, that's probably not a good start. <laughs> Did the game freeze? What's going on here? There we go. I don't remember any of the controls. It's been a bit. It's been a hot minute. Uh, let's grab dish towels. Let's grab the bowl. Uh, I need rolling pin for a weapon. Attach that to my back. I, am I getting hurt by the fire right now? It seems like I probably am. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, God, I'm bleeding. Uh, I, I thought I cooked that on my back. What's in the oven? Okay, let's get out of here. Can't get out of here? Stuck? You getting stuck already? Nine Lives of the Super Chat. Thank you for being a very entertaining channel. My family watches you all the time. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Nine Lives. I appreciate that. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, I'm so screwed already. I, I, I don't remember how to play. <laughs> it's been a hot minute since I played Project Zomboid. I'm so dead already. We're already dead. You dead? Not dead. Ah! Oh, get off of me. I'm already bleeding. Is that not good? Oh, I'm so dead. Why am I still crouched? There we go. Stop crouching! Shoot. Good things! God. You know what? <laughs> I haven't played in a few weeks. I literally cannot remember what I'm doing control-wise. Uh, we've already gotten bit. I'm gonna call that a wrap on this one. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Was that the fastest fail you've seen in this challenge? I think it might be. New character. Wait, I want to do the same character. Can I do the same? I'll do the same. I should actually save it. Do, uh, we'll do overweight again. We'll do eagle-eyed so I can see when I'm going to die. And cat eyes, and then we'll save it this time. Wait, no, no, no. I want uh, carpenter. Carpenter with that trait. Saved. Next. Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> Let me play it out. There was nothing to play out there. I was toaster. Oh my god, there's even less stuff here. But the house isn't burning as much. Okay. Is it is it shift for the I can't, I literally cannot remember the controls. I'm so bad. Plastic cutting board, what good is that? Uh, I'm already got, already have a deep wound of bleeding, and I have lodged glass shards in my leg. Okay. Man, they they don't pull punches with this version of the game, do they? Holy crud. Uh. Okay. So I need something I could bandage myself with. That's you. Right. That whole cold thing's gonna be awesome. Also, where is the way into this building? There we go. Is something good? Wooden bar stool, empty tin can. All right, that's not good. Yeah, I remember. Left foot is now scratched and bleeding too. Oh, good, because I'm running around barefoot. <laughs> I see why this. I see why this challenge is hard. I need a house that's not burning. Why is everything on fire around here? I have a feeling if I stomp on zombies, I'm I'm gonna get even further injured. Ah! Ah! 
scared me. <gasps> Close. Cordless phone. I don't want cordless phone. There we go. Where? Okay, we got a shirt. I didn't put it on. That's great. Uh, where? Cough, cough. Where? Why can't I? S there we go. Uh, rip clothing one. Rip that one up. What I need to wear. Oh god, they're already in the house. We got the medicine cabinet. Tweezers, those are no good. Uh, I need to bandage this. Remove glass with tweezers. Okay, I do need tweezers. Okay, tweezers are handy. Who knew? Bandage with the rip sheets. Can I make fake shoes out of bandages? That would be handy. Oh god. 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 Oh god. I can't. Oh god. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be toast. Ah! Stop it. Ah, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh god. I'm dead. I've got, I've got large glass in me already. Still. I'm gonna end up with like bones in my large in my foot. How do I get out of here? Get me out of here. Oh, get, oh, get out the window! Get out the window! Oh lord, they're all burning zombies are all over me. That's great. <laughs> oh my god! Ah, this challenge is ridiculous. Ah, new character. I see what you mean by uh, having to get a little bit lucky. Wow. How did he die? Consumption. Oh, it's respawning me in the same house every time. That's why... Oh, that's why more of it is burnt. Okay. Got some of the super chat. Naked and afraid. Yeah, that's how we died. Naked and afraid. Uh, get on my back. Oh, that's my remains right there. That's gross. Okay, I have a weapon this time. That's something. Okay, let's go a different way. I lured the zombies that way with my coughing on purpose and my sneezing. I've got a cold. That sucks. Uh, and they've already heard me. That's good. That's good. Good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh my god. Do you have like lower durability or, or like stamina or something when you're uh, you got a cold? Because I feel like I feel like I'm not able to swing as well, and I can't run. We got, we got broken bones. Discomfort. Something doesn't feel right. Go, go, go. No. How do I... There we go. Get out of sight of those guys. Maybe we can... Oh. I guess that cop is going to keep drawing them in, isn't it? Oh, good. There's more in here. Die. Die, zombie. Fall over or something. No! Oh! oh, I'm so dead again. I gotta go. Gotta go. Oh god! <laughs> That's a lot of zombies. That's a big one. A biker zombie. How you get there? Walk to you. There we go. Ah oh, no! No no no! No no no! Nope, no thank you. No thank you, I didn't order that. Turn it back. No please. <laughs> Stop it! I'm gonna die just from the bleeding out on the, uh, the leg wound I've got. Go, 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 go! Keep going! There's so many zombies! <laughs> How does anyone survive in this challenge? The trouble is, I have to run away from the zombies, but when I run away from the zombies, I run into more zombies. Nope. 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 
<laughs> Get out! Oh! Did she bite me? It looked like a bite, but it might not have been a bite. Got like the same animation for like when they grab you too, I think. Garbage bag. Keep going. Keep going. Keep moving. Over the bush. Yeah, this is working great. Let me in here. Of course the door's locked. Oh, God. No, no, no. Find Crazy Dave to get some seats. <laughs> I don't think I'm not, I'm not. Oh, I just cut myself again. I don't think I'm super worried about seeds right now. I'm kind of more worried about dying to the to the zombiness. No, I'm, I'm swinging super slow too, which is not helping either. Need. Need less zombies? Need you guys to leave me alone? Oh, I hurt myself again. Dead am I. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> I didn't even find anything to bandage myself with in time. I'm back at my house. That's good. Alright, well, let's die in here so I can at least get my uh, my stuff. Transfer the rolling pin to the ground. <laughs> Alright, one more attempt and then I'm going to play a regular game because this is craziness. Ah, uh, Carpenter. Get away, zombie! Who do you think you are? Ah, uh, crap! Oh, I got. I moved away too quick. I didn't, I didn't grab it. I'm gonna get this bone shard stuck in my foot. That'll be great. Almost guaranteed. There's bones in my foot now. Oh, I was standing on that one. Come on. Game's cheating. Come on. There we go. Alright, digital watch. We can... Uh, quick primary, whatever. Clip on tie. Don't care about formal shirt. Yada yada. Shoes. Where? Don't care what kind of shoes they are. We need, we need something on my feet. I think I moved too fast. Yeah. That's nuts. Just nuts. Don't worry about the tights. I don't care about the ring. Uh, I want this uh, rolling pin on my back. Pants would be good too, you know. Some pants? You got some pants on me? Jeans, yes. Where? Sneakers. I'm going to wear those. Leave the shoes behind. T shirt, bloody. I'll have to clean myself eventually, but. Uh, these I need to rip. doing injury wise groin deep wound bleeding oh it's a deep wound so i've got to bandage that thing that's great move the glass with my hand that's gonna be yeah that'll work great i haven't finished I haven't finished give me time is it gonna burn me it's extending like on this guy it does uh, i think i just took damage <laughs> No. Missed. I don't like that they're on fire. These guys are dangerous when they're on fire, man. Okay, loot them before the bodies burn away. There. 
rip it all. I don't know if I got any bandages. I did get some. Okay. We're bandaged, but I'm I'm in really rough shape right now. Well, that worked. What did that? <laughs> we lived so far ish. Okay. This, everything's fine. Everything's fine. The trouble is my coughing is going to track them in too, which is probably not ideal. Uh, I need to change this out for a clean bandage. But I can't do it while I've got a zombie stalking me. It's nice that the fire kills them eventually. Classic watch, sneaker socks, etc. Baggy jeans, buddy. Okay. I'm gonna get an infection if I don't get a chance to clean some sheets here to make them sterile. Oh, this kitchen's all burned down too. That's good. Hooray. Read the newspaper. It's fine. Ah! Ah! No! No! I... Ah! Laceration and bleeding. That's great. Bandage with the rip sheets. And I'm dead again. <laughs> oh, got zombified. He missed this game. Okay, one more attempt. One more attempt. Good character. Carpenter. Uh, I'll go this way and play. <sighs> Last attempt, and then I'm going to play a regular game of this, because, uh, clearly not prepared. I'm not, I'm not skilled enough at the game to, uh, dominate this. Mind you, with, um, now that I've, I've got stuff here that I can wear right away, uh, I'm going to rip the socks. Seems like the key right away is like kill a zombie quick so that you can. Oh, dirty rags too. Okay, I mean they're dirty, but they're they'll be they'll be better than bleeding out, I guess. Uh, remove glass. Hey, Reeds, how you doing? I did take a short break. I made a coffee. Went to the bathroom. Nothing, nothing significant. Okay, that's bandaged, but I used a dirty rag, so it's almost certain to get infected. Um, sneak in here. Is it possible to cure your cold in this game, or is it just something you got? Like once you have it, you got to deal with it. Ah, ah kids, stop that! They're chomping on me. You guys are from? Oh, they're setting the they're setting the woods on fire. <laughs> That's good. Hold still. No. Ow! Lie down. There. Ooh, he's got a speedo on. Oh god, there's so many zombies. I mean, they're burning, so they'll die, but... I've got to stay away from them long enough for them to get a chance. Without a weapon, this is a losing, losing proposition right here. Let's go, go, go. Well, I've never played this game, but love the content. Yeah, this is a this is a fun game. It it is challenging though. Like there's a there's a lot to be done in this game. House key. I, where's my zombie self? I want. Nope. Okay. Out the window. Out the window. Thank you. Ease it. I need to move a little bit more quietly so that I'm not drawing every zombie from like everywhere to me, but. Does present challenges? I can't see. Ah, Oops, that was weird. Ow, chomp me. 
There we go. Laceration and bleeding. Uh, I do have another dirty rag I can bandage with, which is not going to do a good job, but will slow the death at least. Try the shed. <laughs> oh, good. There's a generator in here and like nothing else. Another window. Hopefully that lost them for a little bit. They'll be back there banging on the door. Oh, God! <sighs> Come on. I'm gonna go through that window, but it's all glass. Protect death and death in five minutes. I predict it'll be sooner than that. Given how low my health is, if I can't find something that can help me out here, I'm gonna be uh, in for it already. Ah, shoot! Go upstairs. Okay, we've got a hoodie. Uh, wear it with the hood up. Denim shorts we can rip. Yeah. Side jacket, I can wear that. We can actually probably rip the shirt now. They're already at the door here. Oh my god, there are so many. How do they know I'm in here? Oh my god, die already. <sighs> Come on, you guys. Give me some kind of a chance here. Good grief. You know what? I'm gonna have to jump. I gotta jump. I don't think I have a choice. What are the odds this thing is actually drivable? <laughs> it's locked. Oh, shit, I'm lacerated, too. Uh... <sighs> Rip sheets. Okay, I couldn't open the van, unfortunately. That's right. Sneakers, socks are bloody. Yeah, uh, I mean, I could rip these, but I don't wind up with, uh, oh god, dirty rags. Go, go, go! Ah! Go, go, just go! In the woods! Lose them in the woods! That's not gonna cut it. <laughs> oh no. Crypto's doing actually pretty good. See, I did say it takes you about five attempts before you get lucky. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it helped that I was restarting in the same spot all the time too, right? So, uh, I'd already drawn some of the zombies away. This is, uh... It, it's just a constant, like, scramble right off the bat. And I'm not super adept at the game to begin with. Okay. Yeah, stand up and we'll go. Let's go. 
Go. That guy's got a something stuck in him, but I gotta lose him in the woods, or I'm not. I'm not gonna. Oh my god. Okay, the guy's already exhausted. Come in here. Okay, we got antidepressants. Uh, we got a sewing kit. Let's grab that. Uh, <laughs> take pills. He's probably a little depressed. He could use some. <laughs> Oh no. Out of here. Out of here. Food! Oh, there's food! I gotta kill something so I got a chance to search. Oh my god, really? <laughs> oh, now it's getting up. Okay, good. That's good. That's good. Are we fine? We're fine. Run. Just go. I can barely move. I'm too exhausted. I'm walking so slow, they're like, it's like I got a conga line. Everybody potty now. Can I make them bump into the bushes? Yes, I can. A little bit. Didn't entirely work. <sighs> That's right. Stay back there, conga line zombies. Go, go, go. Stop moving, you're done for it, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't even know if there's anything out this way. We're just we're just going. Have I tried embracing the zombies? Yeah, we did that the first four or five times. <laughs> As a challenge, this is pretty tough. I guess that's the intent though, like it's not supposed to be easy. This wouldn't be a challenge if it was just easy. If we don't lose some zombies though, we're in trouble. Hey look, we found more friends! Ah, uh, throw it in the towel. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> Some of the zombies sound like bears, yeah. Okay, so... Challenge-wise, uh, we failed? Failed the challenge? <laughs> I think we'll try a regular game for now. <laughs> that was brutal. Wow. Solo, Lou Apocalypse, difficulty... Uh, I don't know which place to pick. I, I never know what's a good place to go in this game. But maybe we'll try West Point. I don't know if I've been there or not. Uh, I'm gonna do the carpenter thing. Ah! Uh, even in this game, he has death issues. Good to know. Well, that was a challenge, though. Like, you start off bleeding with glass lodged in your thigh, with no clothing and a house that's on fire and zombies all over. It's not your normal starting point, you know? <laughs> it's a little, uh... A little more over the top than that. It's not like you're gonna win, it's the story of your death. Yeah, it is, this is how you die, you know. 
Although, uh, plenty of people who are super good at the game, um, have survived significantly longer than that. Uh, close curtains. Okay, what do we got in here? Anything useful? Ooh, frying pan, I guess. Canned food and stuff. Not on the counters this time. Fridge's got some bologna and carrots. What a weird combination of things they have in your fridge, but whatever. Uh, this house does not appear to have a TV. That's not cool. Farming magazine. I know how to farm now, ish. Game's a hardcore version of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. <laughs> uh, I don't know zombie na Zombies Ate My Neighbors. It's definitely a hard game, but uh, like that mode we were doing in particular is, is is even more challenging because it is a challenge mode. Oh no, no, don't remove the curtains. I want to close them. Close up what we can anyway. I hate that this house doesn't have a TV though. Fanny pack. All right. Gotta wear it on the front. Gonna be super cool. What have we got in the toolbox? It'd be neat if it started with like a hammer. <laughs> it's empty. It left me an empty toolbox. I'm a carpenter with an empty toolbox. How does that make any sense? Oops, no, no, don't. Those curtains. Okay, uh, I guess I can grab grab a cur the curtains out of the one room anyway and use them to cover one of the doors. Um, remove curtains, there we go. You'd be happy if zombies ate your neighbors? <laughs> so you've got those kind of neighbors, eh? Uh, cheat. It's an old, old, old NES game. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that, I don't think. All right, so now it's just the one door, I think, that's a problem, curtain-wise. Oh, they got one one door they can see through. Um, I'll be careful of that. There's no medicine or anything in here. I guess I could prep some sheets for first aid. So I ripped a few of those. Uh... I think I want to bring it right now. The zombie noises are freaking me out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. We're going to be playing some Elden Ring a little bit later. After this game, we'll be playing some Elden Ring. That'll be around somewhere around 6 o'clock or so. Approximately. Uh, this farming magazine, once you have it, is there anything you can do with it? I guess I could just drop it, right? Let's pan with water. Okay, so we can turn this on now. Neighbor does woodwork on the weekends and weeknights. Imagine being up at 7 a.m. on a Saturday to a circular saw. Oh, that sucks. We had a neighbor that was doing construction in their house in the middle of the night. So like 2 o'clock in the morning, they'd be drilling and hammering next door. And we live in a townhouse. So it kind of comes through the wall a little bit. By a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. <laughs> Fortunately, they, they were doing renovations on the house in order to move. And they did finally move. There was much rejoicing. At least from us. All right, turn that out. Okay, let's go explore size. Uh, what have I got in the neighborhood? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you eat my neighbor? Hello, zombie neighbor. Got a house across the road here, I guess we can check. Not a big fan of the fog. It reduces my visibility, but I'm not convinced that it reduces the zombies' visibility. Not cool. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down, go boom. Yeah, that's good. Fall down, go boom. Ah! No. 
That zombie. You have nothing I want. Not a jacket, I guess. That'll give some bite protection. I'll wear the jacket, but that's gonna make me overheat, so I'll have to get rid of like uh I think I have like an undershirt or something we can get rid of. Tank top, that can go. Tank top and the t-shirt, both can be gone. What are those? Just the lumberjack shirt and the jacket, which even by itself is probably gonna be too hot. What? Why? Why? Seriously? The first house. First house? Why does it sound like there's more zombies coming? Don't chase me! Go after the alarm, you jerks! The very first house. Like, come on. It's great. I'm gonna die next to a stupid gnome. Zombies, my guy's already exhausted. That's what happens when you're overweight. I'm exhausted quick. Ow! Look at me. Look at it. We're okay. Probably walking backwards around a corner in a zombie apocalypse is not the best idea either. I have the best luck in this game. All right, into the woods. We'll see if we can ditch the whatever zombies might be chasing me, and then find a place we can scavenge, scavenge from. With great gnome comes great responsibility, man. Like I'm telling you, I was like, we'll start a normal game so that I don't feel so disadvantaged. And then what do I do? I get an alarm on the very first house we open. <laughs> this is zombie head. The bushes move. How are there so many zombies in the woods? Apocalypse hit in the middle of a company picnic or something. Yeah, this fog's something else. It's really, uh, it's really not convenient. even open uh well let's let's grab that use a pen we'll grab that uh v nope which button lets me move seats i don't remember the buttons god i think he got me yeah i'm bleeding son of a gun oh look at all the injuries <laughs> looking for walking through the woods i guess uh, laceration's the one we gotta worry about first. Sterilize, bandage that thing. My neck is scratched and bleeding, we need to sterilize that thing. It's not sterilized, but I'm using a sterilized bandage at least. Jeez, I'm gonna die again already. This is ridiculous. Things are going well.
That one's got something on its back. Oh, it's a cop. It's got a rifle. Oh my god. We're so dead. It's all gonna end poorly. I, I need like a fence or something I could lose them over that they can't they can't climb over, but I can. Uh, so many zombies. It's all because of that stupid alarm. Death count plus one. Yeah, we're headed there. We're headed there fast. I'm, I, I'm having trouble moving now. The guy's already exhausted. Thirsty. He's sweaty. He's injured. Leading the conga line. This is as fast as I can move. I'm dead. Son of a gun. Swear to God. <laughs> I'm getting nowhere in this game. I mean, the challenges I understand, but that one was brutal. Uh, all right. Let's try Rosewood. What's the total stream deaths today? Uh, well, I mean, we've had like six or something here just in Project Zomboid because I tried that challenge mode a few times. And then this one, the first house I opened fired off an alarm, which was great. The door wasn't even locked and they had the alarm on. Who does that? I might get somewhere playing getting... Yeah, I think I've been clear about the fact we're never installing getting over it again. Just because I own the game is absolutely no excuse to play it. You know, just saying. Uh, our, uh, our donation count just as an update. We're at $1,480 so far raised today. So thank you to everyone who's made a donation. Uh, the last donation was anonymous. Just before that, we had Night69. And before that, Michael Fiedler. Last three donations. So uh, thank you very much for the support, everyone who's uh, who's made a donation to, uh, to Covenant House. Definitely for a very worthy cause. And uh, it will all be very, very helpful for them. You need to support the youth who, uh, who de desperately need it. So thank you. Sardines, pickles, pickles, those curtains. Rosewood equals same results, <laughs> probably. If I could just not get an alarm, oh, actually, we should use the TV right away, I guess. Uh, let's turn this on. Device option. If I'm living, tune in. Welcome back to the cook show, folks, where we do the cooking, and cook shows are cookie, because we like cooking. Is this a Canadian thing? I mean, you folks are so nice and polite, even the zombies like you. Yeah, the zombies like to hug with their mouths, though, and that's, um, that's not, that's not appropriate. Uh, it's not, it's not like I taste like maple syrup, just because I'm Canadian. Stereotype? Not true? Most of the time? Uh, close curtain. Get a hard copy of Getting Over It. Burn it on live stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I there is no hard copy. It's a it's a digital only kind of release. <laughs> but that would be fun. Nothing in the bathroom. I could close the curtains though. I guess. So this house only has one door in and out of it, and it doesn't have a window in it. So. This time, at least, I've got a house that I can make completely, completely zombie-proof in the sense that they can't see me. Obviously, they can still get in and eat me alive, but can't see me while they're doing it. Guess we'll go next door. After we kill this guy. Listen, you're walking up the house like he's on a mission. He's gonna watch. Get out of here. You get out of here, too. Speedo! Mmm, love them speedos. Let's rip these. Down on my primary. Uh, I probably should have checked if it had an alarm on it, but I forgot. Weather jacket. Yes, please. 
Thank you. Let's get rid of the uh, tank top and t-shirt. So I don't overheat too mad. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll leave the lumberjack shirt and we'll wear the t-shirt instead so I don't get so hot. That might be a little less on the warm side. This one here, set alarm so the alarm's not set. We're good. Okay, we can go check next door. Yeah, we already got a leather jacket. A little bit of protection. You taste Canadian born and bred. And he just dared to interrupt Bridgerton to tell me baby's TV's too loud. <laughs> oh, you're watching Bridgerton, huh? <laughs> I've heard that's a show that uh, housewives like. Maybe it's just women in general. Zombie stop! Clip on tie. How could we not want to clip on tie? More socks, I guess. Makes you feel any better? You're better than I am at this game. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean... That's... I feel sorry for you then. Because <laughs> I'm really not that good at it. There's some people who are just... They've got this game down to an art. But I guess if you play it a long time, you get that kind of experience and then you can play it well. Ain't nobody got nothing. Sneak sneak. This house looks like one that people are moving out of. Yeah, there's a box in here. That's great. In the cupboards. All right, they've already moved. That's good. They left uh, tons of supplies behind. We're we're all situated now. We don't need anything because we've got we've got it all. Come on. Bathroom out. I go out the back door. I don't want to mess with that zombie. Ooh, this guy's got, like, scissors or something in his back. Back off! Scissors, yeah. Grab those. Alright, that house was a dud. Nothing. Take the box and be like Snake. This <laughs> now. I'm not in trouble. What are you talking about? What on earth did I say? What did I do? What did I do? Just understand Bridgerton and she go the blank says, How's, who are you and what's... What? Alright. Is that English? <laughs> I'm about to go hunting, Fox. <laughs> uh, whoops. Mistakes are made. Not by me, of course. I don't make mistakes. Come on, zombie. There we go. Uh, nothing. Jewelry and stuff. That's of no use to me. Rubber band? I have no idea what it's used for, but I've got a rubber band. Look at this. These people have like a whole grow op going in their yard. What is up with this? How dare you read the message before you're 60? That's right. God. Fall down! I don't have a weapon still. This is weird. Come out of here. My zombie. Get your own. Beans and stuff. Still no keys. Yeah, they need to learn social distance. They, they just need to learn social, social niceties in general. That didn't work. He's got like a bandage on his head or something. 
You okay, man? Uh, you, 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 need, you need a doctor? No, oh, get him down! Ah! Didn't stand on him. Lobby. I love how it just, like splatters all over the wall when you stomp on them. Oh, there's a back door. Try the back door. Locked. I think there's a zombie in there too. He's banging on the door now. There we go. We're in. Yeah! Hammer! Belt left. Screwdriver. Belt right. Get some duct tape. I do want the box of nails, so I'm gonna take the planks. I'm gonna be overweighted. This sucks. Nope. I can find a knife now. I can make a spear. That'd be handy. We got in here. More nails. Carpentry for beginners. I guess I don't need that since I got the uh, carpentry dude. Metal pipe. Down on my back. Now I'm overweight. And I'm thirsty. At least if I carry the metal pipe, it's uh, not as bad. Gotta be, uh, there's a room in the house here somewhere. That, that, let's, let's break the, uh, the glass here, I guess. Somewhere in this house, there's a zombie banging on a door. See this one right here. It must have been like... Just woke up or something? Uh, put that... Just woke up! He's running around in a blue Speedo in his own house. That's, uh, you know, that's a little weird. I mean, Speedos in general are weird, but... Frank. We got saucepan. I should take that because I don't have one in my house. Can opener. I want to grab some of the canned food and stuff, but I don't. Do I have a? Do I have a garbage bag? I do. Equipment secondary. Put the canned food in here. Dog food and canned tuna. Hmm. Yep. Mix those together, baby. Meal fit for a king. Uh, I don't need any more curtains. My house is already all closed up that way, at least. <laughs> Alarm clock. That's what we need. Ooh, a duffel bag. Yes! That on my back. Okay, this can go straight in there. Yeah. Darn it. Thanks for all those. Wait, did you plant seeds? Yeah, you can do farming and stuff. I, uh... I'm not at a point where I'm going to worry about that just yet, but, uh, you can do farming. That's weird. I thought when he wore the watch. There we go. I thought when he wore the watch is when you got the time up here, but I guess just having it on your person is enough. Little did I know. Uh, I'm also not wearing the t shirt right now, which I guess doesn't really matter, but I'll wear that. Red. Uh, I can unequip this garbage bag. I want to mark this area for farming since it's uh, semi set up for that. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we can plant right here. I mean, we might be able to. Maybe I should just take over this house, but there's no TV here, and that's going to be my primary primary issue right now. Uh, they must have done an update to the game. There's like a ton of different symbols in here I don't recall seeing. There's like lots more markings. Um, 
I don't have a pen or a pencil, so I can't mark it on the map right now. I gotta find one still. Oh, they got their own little... Oh, there we go. There's a pencil. Pencil acquired. Good, good, good. Word search magazine. That's for boredom reduction. Crossword, same thing. Forging for intermediate. Mark that now, I guess. Um, I kind of wish there was a symbol here that looked more like a plant. Well, I guess I can do this. There we go. I guess I also could have just wrote, like, arm plots or something on it, but... Oh, wait, let's see. What books are over here? I don't think I checked. Oh, yes, I did. All right, never mind. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, nice door. They got a basketball hoop over here, man. Well, there, I heard you got eaten several times, and then you set off the alarm. Good way to start. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh... The, the, the first few times I got eaten, I was trying one of the challenges, the CDDA challenge. Just to see what it was like. Uh, it turns out it's hard. Challenging? That's the name challenge, I guess. Get down. Eated zombies. Okay. Digital watch. Don't need that. All right. Check the shed first, I guess. Yeah, it's not that weird not having a TV. I mean, I, I, I have a TV in my basement here, but I actually don't watch it anymore. I, everything I watch is either on my computer or on my phone these days. I mean, they've got all these huge screen TVs you can get now, but they almost they seem like they're kind of a waste because everybody's going uh, computer and phone, I think, too. So a lot of people, I guess. Maybe not everyone. But a lot of people watch things on phones these days, especially YouTube. Scissors. they got denim here we could cut up. That's good for, like, patching clothing and stuff. You do a little bit of tailoring. You gotta be joking. Oh good, there's a horde coming too. Never see me, it's fine. I have the knack for uh, finding alarms today. This is just going to be one parade of death after another today, I think. I'm far enough away I can't hear the alarm, so hopefully the zombies will be going the opposite direction for me now. But I have no idea what's out this direction that I'm headed now. There's a house. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> let's go sneak our way in here. We need to eat and get some drinks and probably get eaten alive. Would have freaked if there was another uh, <laughs> another alarm that went off there. <laughs> I hear them outside. I think they followed me to the door. Wait, is sixteen hundred the time I'm supposed to be watching TV? Y'all are watching Woodcraft. Yeah, it's, it's a death parade. What can I say? I look back, been watching Cryptic Fox videos for four years. Wow, that is a long time, isn't it? It's funny how time flies. Insane sometimes. Just insane. I don't know what is with this, uh... 
I click off this game, it goes black screen for a second. I think I need to, oh. Oh, my bitrate's going in the toilet again. Hooray! Good job, bitrate, bitrate rather. Um, all right, hold on. Trying to get, uh, trying to exempt game capture here. Come on, game. That's better. Okay, now it won't black out when I click off of it. Sorry. Tomorrow we're taking off the training wheels. Let's put this down really low. I'm gonna sit right in front of it. Turn that off. Okay, there are zombies right outside. I've gotta, gotta be a little careful here, I think. This is a, oh my god, this is a big house. Who were you? Did daddy and what did he do? Oh, instant death with the screwdriver. Eat it, buddy. Electric wire. Oh, the police house. Uh, oh, that's a... Actually, that's the ranger I just killed. He's got the police shirt, ranger jacket. Worse than what I got. Uh, shoes are better. I should probably wear those, I guess. Get rid of the sneakers. There's another duffel bag in here. Oh, my God. What are the odds this duffel bag has something in it? Drop that. Place that. Nope, it's empty. All right, it's cool though. Lots of duffel. Uh, I should probably eat fresh food if they have it. Yeah, let's eat some carrots. Is there a donation count? Uh, I don't have a bar, unfortunately, that uh, can stay on the uh, on the stream. They didn't have like a feed for that. We're up to $1,490 donated so far. Uh, Brent Ramstead was the last one with a donation. Before that was Anonymous and then Night69 before that. But um, so far towards our $5,000 goal, we're $1,490. Uh, so again, thank you to everyone who's made a donation. It's uh, incredibly helpful. And I'm sure greatly appreciated by everyone at Covenant House. Uh, ooh, there's fresh bread here. I like fresh bread. Yeah, if you'd like to make a donation to Covenant House, there are two two links. One in the description, and then I have one that's pinned at the top of the chat. Uh, those donations go straight to Covenant House. Um, I, if you're going to send one, um, don't send it as a super chat, because uh, YouTube takes 30% off the top. And then... Uh, and there's like a month delay before payout and stuff that, to get the transfer over to them and stuff too. So much better to um, much better to send it direct to them. Uh, let's fill. No, I don't want to fill the saucepan. Where's that? Shoot! I just drank. I meant to drink the orange soda so I'd have a bottle like a put water in. Well, this place is a little kitchen island. Butter knife? Nope. No butter knives. Okay. This is a pretty good house, man. It's big. Not two-story, but uh, it's a decent-sized house. Owing kit. Let's take that. Empty orange soda bottle. There we go. I can fill that with water. Uh, let's wash up, I guess. As long as we got the soap here, I might as well wash everything. Wash all clothing. Can't, apparently. What? Wash myself. Just you know, Cryptic Fox, you can hold shift and left click on things like curtains to open and close them quickly uh, and light switches. Oh, okay, good. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate that. I never noticed there was that fast interaction for uh, closing things like that. That's way better than right clicking and choosing closed curtains. Yeah, YouTube takes 30%. So 30% for all super chats, 30% for all memberships. Um... I know, I mean, it sounds like a lot, but they are providing the entire capability for me to be live on YouTube, as well as, like, uploading videos and stuff. Um, so it makes sense that they're going to want to get a portion in order to earn income off it. Um, in terms of, like, like the ad split or whatever, uh, it's a little bit more favorable. I think I get, like, I don't know, well, I guess less favorable. I get, like, 55% of the ad revenue, but... Um, still, <clears throat> I think, uh, oh, there's even a garage in this house. Wait a minute, this house is great. More planks, more duct tapes. Okay, I'm actually going to put the planks here. We'll, we'll drop those in here. I think I'm going to claim this house. This will be my new my new living quarters because we've got a garage. I've got the key for the house. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, I'd rather a two-story house. 
but I haven't found one yet, so. No, it could be a pain to right click and drop. Yeah, way easier if I could just like shift click it. That's uh, that's awesome. Thank you. Uh, I don't know why I have sport shorts in here. I don't remember why I grabbed those. <laughs> sure, I got them for a reason. That reason is I have no idea. But a reason. Uh, what I do need to do for this house though is uh, I'm gonna need to cover up more windows. Close these. <laughs> I did it again. Wow, that's way faster. Thank you. <laughs> I'm in the habit of, of using the right click and closing them, but shift clicking is like so much faster. Uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to remove these curtains. Uh, we'll put them on a window that's a little bit more exposed and then uh, turn that light off. Oh, wait, can I use it? Well, can I close the door the same way that too? Can I like shift click to... No. Shift clicking doesn't work on doors. <laughs> I turned on the door. <laughs> there we go. There's like a little laundry room in here. Bleach, mop, rip sheets. Okay, good, good, good. Good, good. Uh, this looks like it might have a curtain on it. Doesn't look like it though. Uh, close curtains. There we go. I couldn't shift click that one. It wasn't letting me. I don't. The uh, oh, those are curtains that are closed there. I think. Why does it look like a door? Are these patio doors? I think it is. Uh, add sheet. Yeah, they're patio doors. Okay, that's not cool. Uh, close curtains. <laughs> does that work? That doesn't look right. That's super weird. I mean, hanging the sheet in the middle of it does seem to darken the room a little bit, as though it actually worked. But that is super weird. Um, okay, I need uh, the bathroom. The garage. I gotta find another curtain somewhere. That's the bedroom. I'm gonna want that closed. I guess I only need one bathroom, I guess. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Good. Yeah. It does. I guess it does cover it, but it's just, it's kind of weird. You know? By kind of, I mean really weird. All right. Whatever. It's fine, I guess. Uh, okay. I have a saucepan here. I would like to fill the saucepan. Fill empty orange soda bottle. Keep some water on us, and then uh, fill the saucepan too. I'm gonna make some sterilized bandages here. To try to board up that uh, bathroom that you removed the curtain from. Yeah. Well, if they can't see in the or like, or if they do see in, they won't have any reason to go in there because I won't be in there though, right? Like, does it? Need to be boarded up? I kind of want to board up everything if I'm going to make this my little home away from home, but... Okay. <clears throat> I've got some rip sheets that I'm going to turn into bandages, so uh, I just want to sterilize them. It's not giving me an option. What's going on here? There we go. Disinfect rags. Uh, do you have to cover the side of the patio door too? I do, but I, I don't have a cover for it just yet. Okay, so that's sterilized. Let's turn that off. Uh, I didn't bring any extra food goods with me I don't know I might have actually I got I got canned goods here we can put those away those are where the other canned goods are or whatever dog food and tuna live the high life baby dog food and tuna my guy's bored <laughs> we'll read a magazine 
I'm gonna want to break down tables and chairs and all that kind of stuff so we can get some more materials out of those. Planks and things we can use to cover up the windows, plus it'll boost my skill. Okay, so that's Dune. Uh, oh, I'm curious what's in the sewing kit. I have to—I guess I have to place it before I can use it. Open it. Ah, I put it on the floor. All right, good job. Uh, needle and thread. Guess I could stay there. Uh, place item. I'm gonna stick that on the counter. Okay. Good. So far, so good. So far, so okay. Oh, how many bathrooms are in this? Oh, this is the laundry room. Uh, am I gonna use the laundry room? I guess I could leave the laundry room closed. We'll take the uh, we'll take the sheet off of here. Remove curtains. No light on in this room, so that shouldn't attract them. We'll uh, close that off, and I'll use the curtain on here. Dog food equals apocalyptic gourmet meal. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. This house is now darkened, at least in the sense that they can't see me. Good. Got a bedroom. That bathroom needs to stay closed. Okay. They're breaking some stuff down here, maybe, while we're... Disassemble! White wooden chair! I need the garden saw. Oh, shoot. I don't have a garden saw? That's gonna make that a problem. Is there anything I can break down with just a screw? Yeah, I can get the broad white table broken down. My whisper quiet hammer. This is a stealth hammer. Broke the whole thing. Okay. Got one more plank anyway. Oh, I didn't want to take all of it. Oh, darn it. <clears throat> That's going to put me overweight for sure. Uh, I need, uh, need to put two of these away. I also don't want the duct tape. That can stay here. Or band can stay here. Put in a box of nails. Okay, I have 103 nails. Uh, I do not need that many on me. <laughs> Let's take most of these and put them away. Got to be an easier way to do this. Surely I'm not doing this the most efficient way. Okay, I am drowsy. I'm also very heavily loaded. Uh, I want the planks to be... Planks and the nails to be in the duffel bag. Be less heavy. Not dog food equals Taco Bell. Yeah, fair enough. That might be an insult to dog food, though. I'm not sure. Joke, but I actually like Taco Bell. Not because it's good, but just because for fast food, it's, you know... Tacos. Sleep. Sleep, my friend. Sleep. Get a little rest. Where are all the bears? Haven't seen any yet. No bears here. This is a bear-free stream. Bear-free stream. 5, 10 in the morning. Uh, we're a little on the peckish side. That's all right. We'll get a little snack. Watch a little TV. We'll go, so go out searching. I didn't check the map to see what's around here. Call this one home. This will be my new home. Couple, there's a place next door at least we can check out. I would like to eat fresh food because it's going to go bad. Chicken's in the freezer. I guess we can... Let's make some chicken. Play a little chef boy or cryptic. Fresh, uncooked, frozen chicken straight into the oven. That'll cook perfectly. <laughs> Definitely won't dry out at all. 
and be raw in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, the best way to live along in this game is to not be eaten by zombies. Seems that's uh that's step one. Hmm. Coffee. And that's the advice that keeps me coming back. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't give any tips. How many times have I died already in probably Zomboid today? What, like six? I mean, at least five of those were uh, from doing the trial, but still challenge. All right, I've got some fresh cooked chicken. That's going to be minus 45 on the hunger scale. Um, we peckish, though. Let's just eat like half. I kind of want my guy to lose a little bit of weight. I think we had to keep him running at a bit of a calorie deficit. Also six. Oh, great! Now I'm well fed. Well, so much for the calorie deficit. Put on the boob tube. Tune into a little live and living. We'll get some cooking, cooking knowledges. Probably still has feathers with the chicken. Oh yeah, the thing is, when it has feathers, that's just extra fiber. You just got to chew it a little bit more. That makes it all better. Up. Okay, that is Dune. Uh, let's go club something with a pipe. Maybe do a little explorer fizz and uh, oh, I wanted to put uh, I want to board some stuff up here actually. Well, that truck could be gotten into. That would be great. I'll take your advice. I'll put some boards over the uh, the window that had the the sheet on it that I removed and for that bathroom that I left exposed. Since it connects right to the bedroom, I'm gonna be sleeping in. Let's see, I got a barricade. Where does the other half of the chicken go in your pocket? Yeah, pretty much, yep. Yeah. It's pocket chicken. It's a, just a little linty, but it's still good. It's still good. Let's go super slow when you have the planks in your bag. What if I don't, then I'm too heavy. Does kicking their heads make your boots dirty? Probably. Yeah, you probably get dirty boots. So I've got, uh, let's see, shoes. You know, it has like a uh, bloody at the bottom there. There's a bar that shows how much they have. So I guess it's not like, it's not like you get like super bloody right away, but. Yeah, Flint adds flavor. It's kind of like when you put seasoning on something. It's the same idea. I love how fast the garage door opens. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave the rest of the nails here. Wait a minute, where's uh back them all together? I don't mean sport shorts or thread here either, actually. Give it. Thread I can put with the rest of the sewing stuff, maybe. Boop. There we go. Let's go explore. So next to this house. Got a few places up the street here. Well, it's not really even a street. I'm like out in the middle of nowhere. I should probably check the truck too. I meant to check that and I forgot. Oh, we should check the shed also. Mmm, cigarettes and tissue. The tissue would have been happy for that, or happy, would have been uh, helpful for that challenge. It's, uh, is the key in the ignition by any chance? Toilet paper, rubber bands, and plastic bags in the trunk. So all the useful things. It'd be funny if the shed had an alarm, but the house didn't. <laughs> and had to run away again. Ball peen hammer, metal pipe, screwdriver, gas can. Let's take that. 
That'll be handy. Nothing else in here, though. <clears throat> I'm sure, like, the metal and stuff will be helpful later when it comes to, like, fixing vehicles and stuff, but for now, it's just, uh, it's unnecessary added weight. Trying to go next door. Woohoo! Finally managed to catch you live. How goes the charity stream? Hey, Adam. Uh, so, pretty good so far. We have so far raised $1,490. Uh, to help support Covenant House. Been a good day so far. We're about four and a half hours in. I did have some some internet tech issues, unfortunately. A little bit of issue with my bitrate. It's kind of been all over the place, so I had to reset my modem or whatever, but aside from that, it's been pretty good. We played Core Keeper for the first couple of hours, made some progress there, killed another boss. Now we're, uh, now we're getting killed by zombies. That's always fun. Hand torch. I don't know whether it's even worth it to have a flashlight in this game. Oh, something broke in. Either broke in or broke out here. Let's uh let's remove the glass, I guess. Decrease the likelihood of triggering an alarm. I'll grab the sheets while we're here too. Bandage, nice. Ooh, dead rat. Sweet. That's what we need. Take the magazine, because that's uh, that'll help with the whole boredom thing. Actually, I should probably put that in my... Put it in the duffel bag. Earbuds. Pillowcase. Oh, that's actually just the pillow, not the pillowcase. Barbell? Look at the damage on the barbell. That's insane. How big is that thing? It's definitely, it's definitely heavy, 1.8 equipped, but... Oh, I should actually, uh, I should try to drain fuel out of that car if it has any. I wonder if the barbell helps with exercise, like, boost the result you get. Duct tape and light bulbs. Uh, light bulbs are good for car fixing. Gosh. There we go. Got a saw, baby. Pipe wrench, another gas can. The wrench we'll need for doing car repairs, so we might as well take that. Uh, okay. Beans. Ooh. Rat burgers make good burgers, right? Yeah, if you look at, uh, what was it, Demolition Man, then, uh, Demolition Man seems to think that's true. Canned potatoes on the shelf in the living room, that's weird. Alright, we'll take it. Guess I shouldn't knock it when it's good for me. <clears throat> Got back from the store. How many times has Fox been nommed since he started Zomboid? Oh, like five times? We did, uh, I tried a challenge the first couple times. Um, it, um, didn't go well. Clearly need a little bit of practice at it. Maybe the, maybe the, the best time to try it wasn't after I hadn't played the game in a few weeks. Because <laughs> it, it didn't go well. We definitely died a lot. Uh, let's disassemble this. Get rid of the electronics. That will actually help us uh, boost our skill there. I'm going to leave the scrap electronics behind, though, because I don't really need to make anything with them. Duct tape. Scissors. <laughs> my, my daughter's still trying to search through the Christmas uh, Christmas closet to find something. <laughs> okay, all this food can go. We'll take all this. They got maple syrup. This game's so Canadian. Empty bowl. This duffel bag is awesome. Uh, I'm gonna grab this cooking pot, even though I don't... I don't know that I need it. Oh, that's a little heavy. Mm. Yeah. 
It sounds like Ren needs to go out. Nope, she's just down here. Uh, nope, the bag's full. Shoot. Okay, we're full. Max myself out. I'm gonna take this bowl though. Okay. Not that. Okay, we'll go take these back. I'm gonna stock up the kitchen. We got a decent amount of food there. Helpful. If I had a vehicle or something, I'd, I'd and more carry capacity, then I would uh, probably try to break down more tables and things. Now that we got that saw, I can break down chairs. So that's a plus. I want to try to see if we can siphon gas out of the car. So I think we'll drop everything off and then we'll go back to the same house to like break some stuff down and see if we can get fuel. <clears throat> I don't know if the pickup truck's in any good shape anyway, but... And I don't have a key for it, but... You never know. You know, it might turn out alright. Okay, what can I ditch here? Wrench, wrench can stay in the garage. I think I'll put the scissors with the, um... Uh, scissors with the, the sewing kit or whatever on the counter. Just to, just to unload it. We got fresh frozen uncooked. Let's go, I'll put the frozen stuff away first, I guess. Is that it? I thought there were more frozen, oh yeah, mutton chops. Yeah, this frozen steak. I gotta use all that stuff up before we run out of uh, power too. This is just going to go bad after. The car no good? I, I don't know if it's any good or not, but I don't have a key to, to drive it. Or I, I don't have a key for the truck either, to be honest. I guess it doesn't really matter which of the two I choose. Since I don't have what I need for either one of them. Um, let's uh, leave the canned food here. Oh, I already had a cooking pot. I thought I just had the one smaller pot. I don't really expect to use this room, but we'll put the curtain... Oh, no, don't do that. Um, we'll put the curtain on here anyway. I'll do the same thing with that other bathroom we boarded up. Oops. Or, um, just so I don't have to worry about which rooms I'm not supposed to go into. Much better. Everything's covered. Is that stove still on? It's almost time for the noon the the noon program too. Have fun. Thanks, William. Appreciate you dropping in. Uh, I'm gonna put the light bulbs in the garage. I should actually just muck around with what I can take off of these vehicles just for the sake of like boosting my mechanic skill, I guess. Keep the can opener on me, sterilized rags, those are all good. Magazine's gonna leave in the house. Pick it on the bookshelf here, I guess. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll read, uh, let's tune into the program. And then, uh, while that's happening, I'll read the Farming for Beginners. Their little XP boost off of that. Back, dinner main and serve. Welcome back, Sasha. Hey, Fox, you should definitely try out the new no-building mode in Fortnite. It's super fun and it reminds me of the early Fortnite days. I actually played it a little bit myself the other night when, uh, when I saw that new mode out. Still trash of the game. Super trash. 
even without the building. <laughs> I don't know what it is with that game, but my aim is worse in that game than than Apex for some reason. For some reason, when I play Apex, I find it, I have an easier time aiming, and I think it might be because the in in Fortnite the aiming is over your right shoulder, so it's almost like aiming to the left is faster than aiming to the right or something. I I don't know what the deal is, or like, but my character always gets in the way where you like you go to aim at something and then I can't see very well, or I don't know. I just, uh, I've never been good at that game, and let's just say not playing it has not helped me get better at it. I thought there was something else I was going to drop off here, and I don't remember what. Scissors. We'll leave the scissors here. I don't want those on the floor, though. Whatever, we'll stick with this stuff in the sewing kit. Okay. I'm gonna go check that building next door for stuff we can break down. Uh, maybe I'll take a look at the truck and see what condition it's in. One of the two of them I should probably rip apart. As much as I can anyway, just to get my mechanic skill build up. This thing's not in great shape. It's not awful, but it's not in great shape. And then it doesn't have a muffler, and that's... Oh, no, actually the muffler's 80%. That's pretty good. Eagle type heavy duty. Maybe I'll leave that. We'll try the, uh, try the car. Also, the aim, uh, aim assist doesn't help in Fortnite either. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, maybe that's it. I don't know. But I just, I definitely, uh, definitely didn't do super awesome at it. it it's also been a really long time since I played it, so the controls are a little, are not as familiar. I have to pay a little bit more attention to what weapons I'm picking up and everything. I've been playing Apex since launch, just as like the fun shooting game when I feel like unwinding and shooting at something. I'll play that. But I haven't really done that with Fortnite so much. Uh, okay. So I can... No, no, I can add gasoline, but I can't siphon it. So this car doesn't have any we can steal anyway. That's a shame. Like I said, we don't have a key for the truck anyway, so I guess at the end of the day that doesn't matter all that much, but... Uh, let's break some furniture down in here. Have you use aim assist? It always pulls your crosshair off the head. Well, when when you're playing with a controller, there's a level of aim assist that you you kind of need at at some level because it can be so much harder to try to maneuver the aim reticle just with the control sticks. But oh wow, five planks out of that. Add skills. He's a veritable mad lad. Did that max out the bag already? It did. Oh my god. I have these planks. They they weigh three. Oh, okay. That sucks. Uh, well, I can grab the nails anyway. I'm already overweight. If I if I just carry the planks on me, I'm gonna be super duper overweight. Uh, this book can go in there. That'll save a little. I guess I can eat the rest of this chicken. Okay, I'm well fed, so I can carry more. Uh, grab a plank. <laughs> now I'm overweight. Well, I've got two of them to see how overweight I can get. Oh, my max carry weight's only 14. My guy's just not that fit, I guess. I mean, he is overweight, but... I think it was that out of shape. A little better if I carry the pipe. Slightly better anyway. Use longer thumbsticks to try to compensate for that. Yeah, so do I, but it's, uh... We can only get so long, I guess. Like I said, I just find that in in um, in Apex Legends, I I, I don't know, I, I don't find aiming as challenging. There's something about Fortnite in particular. I'm not sure what it is. Barricade with planks. Paul Logo with the member message. Just donated to Covenant House as a father myself. I felt compelled to. Hope it helps keep up the great work, Fox. Thanks, Paul Logan. I really appreciate that. I felt very much the same way. Um, so thank you so much for that support. Uh, they will greatly appreciate it. 
Uh, that puts us up to $1,540 raised. Uh, Adam Turner also made a donation to Covenant Health, so thank you, Adam, for that uh, that donation as well. For $1,540 raised for Covenant Health to help support youth. Thank you. You're all amazing. Uh, let's grab just like a handful. Keep boarding up, boarding up windows here. I know what's wrong with Fortnite, it's evil. I mean, people were hating on Fortnite a long time ago, though, just because uh, it had gotten so popular. It wasn't even about the game at one point, it was just because it was popular and people were like, Ah, oh, everybody's playing that game, I hate it. I haven't played it in quite a while, aside from, like, uh, I fired it up the other day when they did the, um, they launched the, the no building mode just to try it out. There is so much different in that game now that it, just, it was like playing a completely different game. They have like sliding and, and like uh, mounting on walls and stuff so you can like climb up over walls and things and like tanks that were shooting stuff and all these weird items I didn't know. It was uh, great. <laughs> it's like pretty much gotten messed up. No, it's evil because of the crowd that's around it. I remember moderating when you... Oh, yeah. Well, that's, um... That's that genre in general. Call of Duty was is very much like that also. Wait a minute. Somewhere there's an alarm going off in here. Oh, my God. Seriously? You gotta do me that way? Stupid game. Let's just disassemble this thing. <laughs> Adam Turber, thanks for uh, clicking the join button. Welcome to Derpy Fox. Appreciate the support. Another new member today. You failed to produce any usable items. Well, that's great. Oh, right, this is the thing with the barbell in it. Uh, can, I, can I throw all these things straight to the ground? Is that a thing I can do? Yeah. Good. Oh, maybe the barbell was in the box. Disassemble. Never want to moderate if Fox played COD, but I'll play COD with Fox. Yeah, the, the moderating for those kinds of games is tough. Brutal. It, there comes a point where, like, if you're going to decide that that's your that's your primary market, then you just you just accept like a lot of what happens in the stream as opposed to uh, trying to like. I wouldn't try to keep a family friendly kind of scenario if I was going to do that as a regular thing. It's too much of a pain to moderate. Okay, yeah, same thing. Just get the planks in my inventory. Grab these nails too, I guess, while we're at it. Overweight. I thought there were no zombies right nearby that were attracted by that alarm. That would have sucked. It's funny how the different types of games will draw that different audience, though, that behaves differently in chat. So, like, I think my largest stream ever was when we were playing Grounded after it first released. And we got up to, like, 3,500 people. Um, if I remember correctly, they were relatively well-behaved. Like, we didn't really have any big issues. It wasn't at all like when we were trying to manage... Uh... Oop, somebody fired a gun. It wasn't all like when we were trying to manage the uh, the old Fortnite streams. Right, okay, we've got the bedroom boarded up. Uh, I figure probably the kitchen is the next option here. On the kitchen, oh, I thought these were glass, oh, they are glass doors. 
Whatever. Did I run out of boards? I thought I had more. Yeah, I have two planks left. I've got nails. Why can't I barricade this window? Oh, I've only got one nail. That's what the problem is. Okay, I'm short on nails. I gotta get more. Grab some out of the garage. Got a few boxes in there. Fortnite days, trolls unleashed. Only crowd that I hated was the Fortnite crowd, yeah. <laughs> okay, more nails. Oops, what did I do? Oops, close the garage. Oh, I did. Alright. Look at that. Ew, my guy's feeling moist. A little bit moist. Uh, let's barricade these doors. Here's another glass. Oh yeah, Ancestors was another one we had quite a few people on for. I hear turkeys. Come on, come on, come on. I think that's it. Ooh, can I break this down? I can. Down the picnic table, baby. Oh, the dog houses too, actually. If I break those down, we'll probably get planks from them too. Smashy smashy. Survey says, ooh, look at all the planks. Thanks for the memories. <laughs> I've only got enough in the duffel bag to carry three of them. That kind of sucks. But I mean, I guess they are wooden planks. This house has two dog houses. That's right. But there's no dogs here. They probably ate the dogs when they got hungry. I feel like I might be wasting my time, like, making this place all fortified. I have a feeling we're going to wind up moving to a different house. <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe not before the stream's over, but... Well, not not the stream, but, like, this particular game in the stream. Uh... What am I lacking now? Is it nails again? Yep. More nails. Get more nails! another five planks. It takes two nails per plank, even though the in the image it looks like it takes four per. This shows like four different spots it's nailed when you when you nail in a plank. Oh, barricade. Dog warns about zombies and fight to help protect dog. Yeah, well, my dog would just bark at the zombies, attracting more zombies, resulting in our imminent demise, I think, is how that would go down. Our dog's a barker. She sees people on the sidewalk, on the other side of the bushes in our backyard, like a hundred feet away, walking on the sidewalk. She barks at them. So I, I don't know that I would want her around in a in a zombie apocalypse because she just draw the zombies in. <laughs> yeah, free to a farm up north where you can't visit. <laughs> We're all done. No one will even know there was a dog house here. Eh, a couple more planks. Planks and nails. Funny thing, yeah, the picnic table didn't give us any nails.
Brand good Warner Fox, she works to help me make your life harder for the lols. Yeah. <laughs> but it is. Teaming up on me. Oh, we didn't do so well in the planks there, but not for this window, I guess. Will they be joining any of the streams? Uh, I mean, if you're talking about today, no, we didn't really talk about it, so I, I would think not. A IKEA picnic table, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not to put together with nails; it's just little fasteners. Miranda's watching. Hi, Miranda. Finally off work, now I can enjoy the stream. Uh, I am all out of planks, I think. Other than nails. I still have nails. Fresh out of planks. Okay, we gotta go next door and break more stuff. Oh shoot, I missed the, um, I missed the six o'clock show. He destroyed your house. Finally off work, now I can enjoy the stream. Well, welcome. Hi, Miranda. Everybody say hi, Miranda. Hi, Miranda. Miranda's a lovely lady who was uh, helping our daughter with her reading. She made phenomenal strides. Thank you. Break these shelves down. Is that a thing we can do? Yeah. Yeah, you're a monster. Well, there's no dogs here anymore, Rabbit. What am I gonna do? Just leave the dog houses in the yard as a decorative thing? <laughs> hey, zombies, don't come to my house. I've got dogs. Even though we don't have dogs, it's like people who put an alarm sticker in their window when they don't have an alarm. Made nothing. For anyone who's joined the stream in just the last little bit, uh, today is a 12-hour charity stream from noon until midnight Eastern Time. Uh, the stream is in favor of supporting Covenant House Toronto, so we're raising some funds to uh, to help that organization. Uh, Covenant House, if you're not aware of them, they, uh, they provide services for homeless, uh, trafficked, and at-risk youth. Uh, in for in in terms of like um, giving them resources for uh, for sleeping. Oh, right on the bed. Uh, they give them shelter. They give them. They can provide food. They provide uh, help health resources and medical care um, without billing and stuff. So that's uh, that's all super helpful uh, and a wonderful cause. So if you'd like to donate to uh, Covenant House to help support uh, for their initiative. The, uh, the main mission is the, the campaign they're running right now. Uh, there is a link in the description of the stream as, one, one, uh, as well as one that's pinned to the top of the chat that you can make a donation directly to Covenant House from there. Uh, and, and of course, uh, that's all very much appreciated. Our goal today is to raise $5,000, so hopefully uh, hopefully we'll get there. We're already currently at uh, $1,540 raised towards that $5,000 goal. Uh, so again, fantastic. Thank you everyone for those donations. Greatly appreciated and uh, very helpful. You guys tired and I'm hungry. I wonder if you can get wood by breaking down these chairs that look like they're made of plastic. <laughs> no, no, there are no dogs. Have you seen, uh, have you seen an elephant? Does that mean there's no elephants? That's right. There are no elephants. They don't exist. I love how we keep hearing turkeys. <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble. Never seen a turkey in the game, but you hear them all the time. I wonder if I should leave one of the windows unboarded so that if I have zombies coming in one side of the house, I don't have myself trapped inside in a way that I can't get out. Probably a good idea, right? Do I'm out of nails again? One nail left. Right. 
Maybe I'll leave the laundry window. It's got a door behind it anyway, so at least if they uh if they're coming in the front, then I can go out the back. If they're coming if they're coming in the back, I can go out the front door, so that that'll be alright. Uh else. Needs nails. Yeah, definitely need to leave an easy way for the zombies to get in. What's that now? <laughs> haven't seen a turkey. They must not exist either. They, I don't think they do exist in the game, Rabbit. So you just proved my point. Turkeys don't exist. No turkeys. Unless you're counting Rabbit. This game needs tower defense. Well, there is a there is a challenge mode you can do where you're like... You get a certain amount of time to prepare, and then you're defending against, like, incoming waves of zombies. Uh... Barricade this one. I probably should move around to the windows that are by the TV that make the noise. What am I out of now? I think it's planks. Yep, no planks. Okay. We have a few chairs inside, even that I can break down, I guess. Maybe we'll grab a little snack. We'll get our let our guy get a little bit more tired so that he uh sleeps through the night. And we'll let him rest. Get out of the bushes, buddy. That means you're hearing sounds that aren't there because you said you heard turkeys that don't exist. Fox are crazy. You need to be locked up. <laughs> you're not wrong. That sounds like a vacation. <laughs> Lock me away, baby. That, that newspaper's flying now. That's great. Maybe I'll just read it. Decrease our boredom a little bit. Okay, yeah, dude's super tired now. Should probably go to bed. Close the door here too. Just in case. Uh wait, why can't I sleep? There we go. Ah, I should have set an alarm. We missed the 6 a.m. cooking show again. Steaks are made. I should speed up the disassembly instead of just sitting there watching it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting nails, but I'm not getting any, uh, getting any boards out of this. That guy's a carpenter. You'd think he'd be able to take a chair apart without, like, messing the whole thing up. All right, more nails. What do we got that we can eat here? I know I had some fresh stuff. Let's eat an apple. Nom nom. At some point I'm gonna have to get the character exercising also if we're planning to have him actually like drop some weight. Because he has that overweight trait. If we can get him exercising that'll help eliminate that.
<clears throat> Hunt barricade. I'm running around out of out of planks again. Darn it. Okay. We spent a little bit of time fortifying. I'm gonna go and explore some more. So this house over here. That one's done. Um, the other houses are a little bit farther away, unfortunately. We're gonna need to like gonna run a little, go a little ways up the path, but we'll go over to this one over here, maybe. Uh I'm gonna check this house here. It's got a shed in the backyard too. I might have already looked at that house, because this is the one that had the gardens in it. Oh, that might have been the house that had the alarm that went off. I wonder if all the zombies are still hanging around over there. Because uh, if they are, uh, that could be problematic. No? Like, not good? Uh, orange soda. Let's leave the nails here. Keep the... Oh, I've still got the farming book on me, too. I forgot about that. That's unnecessary added weight. Uh, vitamins I should probably leave behind. Take those in the bathroom here. Leave them with the antidepressants. <laughs> vitamins and antidepressants. It's a wonderful cocktail. That can go in my bag. Bandage. Leave the farming book here. We're carrying that around. It's added weight for no reason. Alright. See what we can find. Maybe we'll even find a car. That'd be handy. Hey, if you heard the dog barking, that was my dog. <laughs> Like I said, she, if there's any, uh, she sees a dog outside, she barks. If she sees people outside, she barks. She thinks she maybe possibly heard about a dog that might be outside. She barks. Kind of a good barker. Yeah, it was totally an in-game dog, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're a zombie. That's right, eat it. Gave her the pipe. Oh, there is still a lot of zombies up here from that alarm going off. Need to, if I'm going to deal with these, I'm going to have to try to lure them out a little bit at a time. That's a lot of zombies. Oh, we got, we got at least two coming. Okay. Two I can handle. Two is not bad. He pipe. Oh god, there's more coming. See the trees shaking there. The aggressive combat music too doesn't uh, doesn't make me feel very calm. Back off, zombie! We got a fork. Someone stuck a fork in him. That zombie's forked. Uh, I don't know where the hat. Why not? Gives no no protection whatsoever, but it's a hat. My hair. Come on, zombies! I got I got three of them this time. There's none coming up behind me. Hey, a little my friendly pipe. Back off! Stay on the zombie. Get down. There we go. Didn't drop anything good, but at least we got rid of them. Nine lives. Thanks for clicking the join button. Welcome to the mistakes were made tier, that top tier membership. Appreciate the support. Thank you very, very much. Welcome to the channel. Another member for Team Green today. Oh god, I missed. Oh my god, would you just die already? How many pipes to the head does it take to kill a zombie? There we go. About that many. Oh, there's the dog. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the mute with the dogs, Barga. Oh, 
Okay. It looked like the zombie got me, but it didn't do any damage. Probably the jacket protected me. And freaking dog. <laughs> this is part of the reason why I don't stream during the daytime usually. The dog's up. She's uh, a lot more active with the whole barking business. Much less so at night when everyone's sleeping and nobody's outside walking around. Nice job, Vox. You're definitely getting better at this. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've made some gradual improvements over time. There are a lot of freaking zombies here. Oh boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be a bit of work. If I can, I just gotta manage them so I don't get too many at once, though. Because if we if we get a whole bunch of them, and I can't handle them, and then we'll have problems. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the ones that are on the street, maybe. Those should probably be the first ones we take care of. Get the ones over the fence after. Ah! Missed him! Ah, back off! Get off! God, you got me. Get off me. Get off of me. Woo. Man, that was messy. All right. I don't think we took any damage, though. I didn't bring any food with me. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Our guys only eat just a little peckish, too, so we're, we're not, like, suffering for food yet. The groupies. Cryptic groupies. Uh, this pipe is going to break soon. I think there was another one in the garage or the shed or whatever by our house. Uh, so that'll be helpful. I'm also thirsty, so apparently my water bottle ran out. Come on, zombie. I know you're there. Or sneak up on me in the bushes, huh? Saw you. Nothing. Pick the cars. If we're gonna do any like car repairs, we'll probably need uh, tire irons and stuff as well. We can't do any wheel changes right now. That's locked. I think these cars that have been in accidents you can't get into aside from the trunk, so they're a non non starter. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the house. We'll get some food and stuff. <laughs> look, at the, look at the carnage I left up here. Oh God. One of those zombies has a watch on it that's going off. Nope. What? Close to it. Which which zombie? Stop alarm. Jeez. That's just what we need. Do we donate when Fox dies or when the zombies die? <laughs> donate anytime you like. Any uh any donation you want to make to uh Covenant House is much appreciated. And incidentally, after the stream ends today, that link will still be active through April 2nd. Um, I'm, I'm doing a second 12-hour live stream next Saturday, uh, also in support of Covenant House, but that link will be active th right through April 2nd if you uh, want to donate at some point after the stream, if uh, it's not an option right now. Never played this. Is it as hard as it looks? Yeah, this is a hard game. There's, there's just a lot of detail involved in it. Lots of detail. It is it is challenging, but that's uh, I don't know. It's, I have a lot of fun with it because of that, I guess. Uh, okay, I'm gonna attach that to my back. Take this other pipe that's already just about toast, uh, and we'll get rid of it. Leave it here. Try to at least have something that's in reasonably good shape. Oh, I'm missing the TV program. I'm missing my soap operas. Place option. Turn on. Tune in. Or woodcrafting. Nice. Oh, 
over a long time. Yeah, that's true. Uh, how do you rate uh, compare the powers of being in office as president and what you can do out of office? I don't wish I'd found the intermediate um, intermediate carpentry book. Get a bit of a more of an XP boost right now. Still, not bad overall. We're doing all right. I'm taking any damage, and that's a plus. Uh, I want to drink from the sink, but I can't. Is the water off already? I can't. I can't select the sink here. Uh oh. Houston, we may have a problem. Uh, fill empty orange soda bottle. I thought there was. Doesn't it show like. Oh, I've, I've got to go in here and check it, right? How do I check the, uh, the water level again? I don't remember. Oh, there we go. Drink. Uh, three of 20. Yeah, the water's off. We have no water. Okay, that's probably not awesome. It hasn't rained yet in the game either. Uh, I'm gonna grab the. Uh, I'm gonna grab the cooking pots. We'll put those outside. But at least if it rains, we'll, we'll collect a little bit of water in those. What was the first game I started playing? Uh, today, you mean? Uh, we started with Core Keeper today. Played that for a couple of hours, and then uh, then we moved on to this. We'll put the cooking pots out here. There we go. Now if it rains, we'll collect a little bit of water. Oh, I didn't need anything. Gotta be careful because power is going to go off at some point soon too, I guess. This house does have a barbecue out back, but I don't know if we have to like find propane or anything for it. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, I will... Maybe we'll cook up a steak or something to bring with me, too. Cook that up. So we got some food we can take on the road with us. That'll give us a decent amount of, uh... Hunger recovery. Yeah, got up the propane and propane accessories. God dang it, Bobby. Oh my god, the dog. Stupid smother food also helps with thirst. I have a water bottle and I I, I also have a have a bottle of orange soda, so thirst isn't really something I'm super concerned about at the moment. It will become an issue later, I guess. Now that food, or now that uh, the water's not running anymore, we'll have to like try to catch some uh, catch some rainfall or whatever we can purify. Uh, I'm more concerned with when the power shuts off because I haven't had to deal with generators or anything in this game yet. I'm still uh, still a complete noob when it comes to like doing the, the generators in in Project Zomboid. So I won't have access to power, and then in order to like try to cook, we'll have to get stuff to run the barbecue and things, I guess. At least I would think we would. I don't imagine they just give me a freebie cooking device like a barbecue with no requirement for propane or anything. I could be wrong, but I, I kind of doubt it. Okay, let's go clean out some more of those zombies. I'm going to get to the house where the alarm went off and see if there's anything good there. You ever played a Just Explore game? And if so, what was it? Uh, how do you mean by a Just Explore game? You mean like... Uh, I know there was, what was that game, Abzu or whatever, that was the underwater one where you're just sort of swimming around and checking stuff out? I don't know that I've ever played a Just Explore game. Um, I mean, I've played survival games that have an exploring component to them where you get to like run around and check everything out. But I generally prefer something that has like a some corner, some sort of a purpose behind it, something to do. 
Every time your dog barks, mine picks up his head and looks at the TV. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> she's so loud. She's like... I think she's 40 or 45 pounds. She's not a huge dog. She's also not a tiny dog, though, but she has a very loud, aggressive bark. Sometimes I think she barks louder than her size would suggest. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to sneak up and screwdriver. Oh, oh, you got... Oh. That's what I get for trying to be sneaky. Please tell me that wasn't a bite. What do you got? Scratched and bleeding. Okay. Uh, sterilized rag. I don't have disinfectant, unfortunately. Um, I haven't found any. We have the sterilized rags at least, so that, well, that will help a bit. That is a lot. Still so many over here. That alarm just like brings them in from everywhere. My house, my house alarm brings all the zombies to the yard. Oh, my zombie. That's my zombie. Your own zombie. There's a watch. Make sure that there's no alarm. No, thank you. That's the second time in Project Zomboid I've had an alarm go off on me on a watch on a zombie that I killed. Uh, I think I got their attention. <laughs> Especially by the music. Oh, hey guys. Uh, what's going on here? Oh god, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Don't oh, miss. That's one down. Two down. Eat pipe. There we go. Alright, I got cigarettes, uh, a bunch of clothing stuff that I don't need. Uh, let's make sure these watches don't have alarms. It's not a digital watch, it's fine. Alright. Good. Oh, I should probably eat some of that steak I made. Uh, let's eat like a quarter of it. I want to keep them a little bit on the hungry side. Not like hungry hungry, but just like peckish. Oh, well, so much for that. <laughs> quarter of a steak apparently is more filling than I thought. The head smashing noise is quite graphic. A little bit. Maybe a little bit. I'm over the fence. Ah, oh, get out of me. Knocked your hat right off your head. Oh, missed you. Oh, missed again. Bye. Oh, no. Ah, screwed that up. I was got a screwdriver in him. Me. Get off me! Shoot, I was trying to stay on top of that zombie so I can splat it, but... Oh no, 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 no! Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die? Oh, that was a screw up. That was bad. At a minimum, I would guess I'm lacerated. They bit me though, it's all over. Guy's tired. Bleeding! Bleeding! Oh god, more zombies! Go, go, go! Time to go! Time to go! How we doing? Uh, bleeding, bitten, we're dead. Well, crap. Isn't that a thing that happened? There's no surviving the bite. That sucked. Definitely got bit. Alright. Well. 
It went okay for a bit, and then it didn't. All that time fortifying the house for no good. Get out of me. We're down to blaze of glory, baby. I wish I had a gun. Ah, now! Now! Alright, we're dead. <laughs> ah. Well, we only killed 51 zombies, too. That wasn't even all that many. <laughs> uh, I love the snacking sound. You can hear them eating my body. Mm, yummy. So good. So good. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say that probably. Oops. Probably should have my light on. Ooh, a bit better. I'm gonna say that uh, I probably could have gotten a little bit better. <laughs> So much for Project Zomboid. That was a hot mess. Good grief. Not if you're bitten. Yeah, as soon as you get bitten in the game, you're dead. You can survive through scratches and lacerations and deep lacerations and everything, but getting bitten is uh, is a death sentence. There's no uh, there's no surviving it. So, screwed that up. Uh, I'm gonna switch over games now. I think we've already died a few times in this. There's no point starting another game for like half an hour in Project Zomboid. Uh, so I think we'll switch over. We'll play some Elden Ring. Uh, but again, uh, for everyone who might be just dropping into the stream now that wasn't here a little bit earlier, this, uh, of course, is a charity stream in support of Covenant House Toronto. They're an organization that helps uh, support uh, uh, homeless, trafficked, and at-risk youth. Uh, I have a goal of trying to raise $5,000 for them in today's stream, so hopefully uh, we can get there. The last check, we were at... Uh, where are we here? 1540 is uh, is where we're at right now in terms of donations, so thank you to everyone who's donated. Hopefully, uh, we'll continue to grow that number today. We're playing four games in total today. I played Core Keeper first. Uh, <laughs> we just got owned in Project Zomboid, so uh, that. And then I'm going to play a little bit of uh, a little bit of Elden Ring now for a couple of hours, uh, and then uh, the next, the last game will be Seven Days to Die. I'll be live until about midnight Eastern time today. So uh, welcome everyone who might be uh, dropping in. Uh, I'm going to take a, another quick break. And then we'll switch over and play a little bit of Elden Ring and uh, see what other fun and uh, fun and trouble we can get ourselves into. So our drop-in center is open seven days a week, and we offer housing support, one-to-one -one counseling, laundry, internet services, food and clothing bank, and shower. I like the fact that we offer immediacy right away to youth that come in and show the respect and love to youth each day. The healthcare clinic provides barrier-free healthcare services to youth experiencing homelessness and survivors of sex trafficking. One of the really unique things about our clinic is that we don't require ID or health coverage. Our healthcare team of nurses, doctors, and psychiatrists creates a environment and atmosphere that is warm and inviting to all the youth who access our services. A youth crisis shelter is a space that's available to any youth age 16 to 24. We allow for a safe space for the youth coming in off the street that don't have anywhere else to go. If you think about a living room in your own house, when you have a group of people in that atmosphere and in that room, you can't help but to maybe let those walls down a little bit and through organic conversations just begin to trust and be able to trust the process that staff are here to help. Staff are here to meet those needs that you have. Other youth are here to connect with you. And I think that's the magic of the Great Hall. One of the first things we ask a young person when they arrive to Covenant House seeking our support is, are you hungry? When a young person doesn't know when their next meal is going to be, it provides a lot of anxiety and it's also a financial burden for them. Therefore, when we provide three structured meals a day at a scheduled time for them, and it's healthy and nutritious, and allows them to focus on other things, finding housing, finding a job, going back to school. The sanctuary embraces all spiritual, religious, and cultural backgrounds. It serves to nourish the spirit through prayer, meditation, mindfulness, awareness, yoga, sacred readings, and silence and solitude. Recognizing the spiritual dimension of the youth helps them in the process of meaning-making, building a framework of hope and strength, and awakening and nurturing the sense that each and every one of them is precious and worthy of peace, love, and joy, and healing in their life. I meet youth where they are, and I seek to support and nurture them in the process of healing. 
The Rites of Passage program is Covenant House's on-site, longer-term transitional housing program for 28 youth between the ages of 16 to 24. The youth here work on their mental health, education, and employment goals. The school really takes pride in supporting our youth, meeting their academic goals at their own pace. Part of that support is providing those important social skills that allows them to have personal growth and move on to be independent human beings when they leave our school program. We try to equip youth with different skills that will help them in their job search process, whether it's even just looking for a job or how to write their resume. Then once they obtain jobs and connect with employers, we want to make sure that they know that our job isn't done, that we want to continue to make ourselves available to whatever needs that may have to continue to support them. All right, we're back. Uh, thanks, everyone. Sorry, I just uh, needed a quick moment for a bile break and a drink. Um, but again, we're continuing on with our charity live stream today in support of Covenant House. Uh, we're going to be changing over to play some Elden Ring now. Uh, two games down, two to go. Uh, we'll play Elden Ring for a few hours, and then we'll switch over and play some Seven Days to Die. Sorry, I just had to reach my cable here. Uh, a little bit of Seven Days to Die tonight, and uh, yeah, see how it all goes. Uh, I have a game that we were playing Seven Days to Die a while ago. It was already in progress. I don't know if I should continue that one since we're already, you know, we're a little bit more advanced or if I should just start over fresh since uh, it's been a little bit since we played. 
So I'll have to decide that, I guess. Uh, or even if we're gonna do like some kind of weird challenge -y kind of thing. 100 deaths! Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully we don't hit 100 deaths. We'll see what happens, I guess. Hydrate! Oh yeah, we got, uh, I got like two different drinks here. The trouble is, I'm hydrating so much I keep having to use the bathroom. <laughs> and anytime I'm talking for long periods of time, it helps to, to have some drinks. Uh, so that uh, my voice doesn't get all messed up. Um, but it does tend to lead to other issues in terms of uh, too much hydration. Okay? Here with the deaths then. Oh yeah, we'll be, uh, there'll be many deaths here in the old Elden Rings. Can't go wrong with a little bit of deathness. Throws a banana at me. I don't want a banana. Seven Days to Die has a new update, so it's messed with new stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't been following it a ton, so... Play my fave. Right. Over. Oh, game capture's not working. There we go. That's better. Welcome back to Elden Ring. Just have a bucket next to my desk? Yeah, I mean, my wife might object. <laughs> I feel like that's a possibility, but my wife might might have some objection to the bucket next to the desk. Uh, oh right, I forgot we were here. Uh, okay, so we killed a dragon right here last time, uh, and the, uh, I, I forgot to collect my, uh, I forgot to collect my runes that are, oh, super right button not working, hold on. There we go. Um, I forgot to collect my runes when the dragon killed us that one time, so... Oh, there's a way down in here. Oh, I see this part. I didn't even notice this before. Ew! I don't know if I want to go down there or not, but... Curious now. I have a feeling that drops right down below to the, uh... The city of the Al 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 Albernax or whatever. One dollar to Covenant House for every death. Oh, that reminds me. Sorry, I gotta turn on my death counter. Forgot to have that on. There we go. What are we up to now? Uh, was that 611? I, it's kind of minimized on my screen. Yeah, 611. We got uh, we got on the death counter. <laughs> we've uh, we've just died once or twice, you know, not too many times, just once or twice. Good screenshot. Take a shot of that. To where it depends. <laughs> Again, uh, I feel like that's a good way to lead to divorce. Dan. Hey, seriously, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. What a good day so far. Good, good progress, good donations, had some fun playing games and stuff. You look fancy. Yeah, I got this, uh, this crazy, like, helmet that's got all these antler things sticking out of it. We killed a guy that was guarding a tree and he had a chest behind him. Oh, I had a lot of, wow. Okay, we got a few, a few runes. I should probably spend some. Lord knows I'm gonna die, and then I'm gonna wind up losing him. And I can't do my right attack again. Game does not like when you click off of it. There we go. Now let's go spend some runes. I wonder if I can climb up this cathedral. Is there a way to get up top on this place? All right, level up. We got enough for at least a couple. Uh, not quite three, I don't think. I should put the points. Drop one in there. We'll drop one in decks. Guess that's it for now. We got forty-seven thousand on me. We're leveled up enough now that it takes quite a bit for us to level anymore. Where was that hole in the ground? Oh, it's right here. What's this say? Lover ahead, therefore time for joy. All right. Why is it always lover? Love ahead. I'm confused by this, but we'll go look. We can always teleport back up there anyway. There's other things we want to do on, on the upper level. I'm curious what we're going to have down here. Did I just pull that sword out of my rear end? Uh, I did. It's I've actually got a sheath on my hip, so 
Not so much from my butts. It's uh, more more so from the sheath. You know that sheath is not a euphemism there. <laughs> oh. What the? Hi. That's a lot of blood here. I don't, I don't know what to make of this. Oh wait, it's Rena. Rena, Renny, whatever her name is. Only where's her dress? Those are two fingers. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I just put the wedding ring on her finger. So, it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the lord. Huh. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. My god, I totally just married a doll. She, uh, I wonder if she was responsible for killing this uh, two fingers thing here. Dark Moon Greatsword. Greatsword, Troll Knights. There's the Dark Moon Greatsword there. Causes frost buildup. Moon Greatsword bestowed by a Carrion Queen upon her spouse to honor long-standing tradition, one of the legendary armaments. Ronnie's sigil is a full moon, cold and leaden, and this sword is but a beam of its sun of its light. Unique skill, Moonlight Greatsword. Raise the sword aloft, bathing it in a light of the dark moon. Temporarily increases magic attack power and imbues blade with frost. Charge attacks to release blasts of moonlight. Well, that sounds cool. I can't, I can't use it, because it requires, uh, 38 intelligence. <laughs> I'm not that smart. But we just did a thing. That's neat. Where's this cave going now? So Ronnie died? Well, she, no, uh, it, the, the lore behind it's a little bit complicated. She, she, I guess, is, is like, one of the... One of the daughters of America who could conceivably and are like take over the something control of the, the Elden Ring or something. I don't, I don't know exactly what the deal is, but uh, the idea is that she actually killed off her mortal self because she didn't want to follow along with the normal procedure of things. And then she imbued this this doll with her spirit so that she could still act upon the world. But it's like not herself. It's weird. <laughs> and I and I totally just married her. <laughs> and that deer is a little stuck in the rock. I saved you, deer. You're welcome. Yeah, her spirit pos is like possessed the doll or whatever. Kind of a kind of a weird setup, you know. But I mean, a lot about this game is weird, so that's not really that. Strange, I guess. Moonfolk Ruins, we already did. Uh, what is this over here? Let's we'll see what's up with that. Wait a minute, which... I've got too many pointers on this map now. This number one I put over there. Where's the other ones I have on here? Somewhere I have, I have other arrows, because there's a three over in that direction. Where the heck did I put that marker? Oh, you know what? Is it below ground? There we go. Okay. That's right, I married Chucky, pretty much. Just call me Bride of Chucky.
Don't worry about how nonsensical that is. If you put down five new porters, the old ones expire. Yeah, but I don't want to just have them expire. I, <laughs> it kind of... Too many pointers I have trouble keeping track of what I'm up to. I'd rather just get rid of the old ones and uh, utilize new ones. If you ride into the uh, the pointer, it also uh, also goes away, but clearly I didn't do that before. Oops. Oh, hey, dude. Who are you and what are you doing here? A little creepy? Oh, oh God. Oh, wait, this is the same as that thing in the swamp that caused me issues. Oh, God. Yeah, that's it. All right. Oh, Mr. Ow, you gross. Vomited on me. Poison. How strong is this poison, I wonder? Flame cleanse me. A ghost glove ward off him. I don't think it sound like that poison spray, but I don't see it here. See the message Discord about the ash in the tower by the jail in Stormhill? Uh, it's your favorite enemy. Uh, I didn't actually. I haven't had Discord up today, so I haven't. I didn't see it. Ash in the tower by the jail in Stormhill. Where's Stormhill again? <laughs> Wait a minute, Stormhill up here somewhere? Like somewhere I haven't haven't been yet? Is that the snowy area? If so, I haven't been there. I thought there'd be like a basement thing here, but I don't see one. It's the second ruin in this on top of this mountain thing that hasn't seemed to have had a basement for it. Unless I just overlooked it and I haven't seen it yet. Why are there all these messages here? Alright, close quarters battle. Hidden path ahead, so to speak, try attacking. Oh, there really is. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm, I think that's the first time I've seen him use a, a floor that was an illusory, illusory wall. Mything stones. All right. Stormhill is in front of the castle, yes. Well, Stormvale Castle is one I know of, but... He's gonna tell Fox's wife, RL, he got married to another woman. Looks like two women and one, actually. Yeah, so is that three women? <laughs> well, one's just the ghost and the other one's the doll, so... Married a weird love doll? That's, uh, that's, that sounds even more awkward. Lump of flesh... Er, yeah, lump of flesh and some excrement. Hmm. Excrement. Cryptic Fox's harem. Oh, another one of these guys. Don't like you? Go away. Can't see you. Smoke him. Mad Genome, thanks for clicking the join button. Welcome to the Duplicant. Appreciate the support. Another new member today. Bunch of them here. These ones are not as strong. Oh, these are the bell. Oh god, these are the bell user guys. Oops. Damn it!
Where'd that other one go? There you. Brave Violets. All right. Uh, one of these ones I saw a little... There it is. God. Oh, stop that. Do it on foot. <laughs> I have my, uh, my magic shield on right now. I don't have the uh, one I boosted on. There you are, little sneak. Okay, this looks like another door that opens into the floor, so that's cool. Uh, you've been there. Very beginning is the jail you fought the Crucible Knight with. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Third key was lost with use, but I guess I still have to hit it. On. Yeah, there we go. Another chest. Ah, something. Likely dung. <laughs> Cerulean Amber Medallion plus two. I think I already had the uh, the one of those. I guess I didn't. Vastly raises maximum FP. Vastly raises it. Really? Well, that could be helpful if I'm using a lot of spells. In the very beginning, the Stormhill Jail, you fought the Crucible Knight with the tail. So... Uh, Crucible Knight. Stormhill Everjail, that one right there. Are you talking about the, um, there's the tower that's like right here kind of thing? Is that what you're talking about? I think I've been in there already. I got, uh, there was some sort of a trinket I got in there. Put the ash in the tower of the Stormhill Jail. M maybe I missed it somehow. Let me, which, which ash is it you're referring to? Because I feel like I already, I already went in there. Could be wrong though. I, I have a lot of ashes, so it's kind of, there's an ash in there too. I, I don't know whether I got it or not. I might have to go look. Raises the stat as long as it's worn. Which that, um... The one that boosts the focus thing? Yeah. The bird with blade feet. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I have that. Unless they... Unless they added it after I had already gone through there. Because I know they added a couple things into the game. I'm gonna assume that was probably the only... The only basement access in this one. The one we had to pay to get into. Looks that way. Oh, you're rinsing right. Okay, sorry. I uh, didn't catch all the chats. There's a bear. You a regular bear or are you a special bear? Oh. Yeah, pretty regular. Oops. Mean to dismount. Oh, that reminds me, I wanted to change something around here. Um Maybe. Oh well, no, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I just used a thing to cure rot, so go me. I'm gonna put my healing on there. 
I don't have to look for it anymore. Uh, and then I guess in here... Oh no, it's already gone. It's good. Any caves along here. Okay, so that's done. Picto that. Luna Ru Luna Estate Ruins, or Lunar rather. Uh, let's go over here and see what this is. Good night, all. I'm gonna try to sleep. All right, have a good night, Sasha. Drop it in. Bye, little thing. Oh, kill the cute thing. And I accidentally dismounted again. <laughs> There's a turtle. Turtle, turtle. Ooh, there's a dragon. Uh, and more dragons? Okay, we've got multiple dragons. I don't want to kill the dragons, but I'm also a little afraid of them, because they're still dragons. Bit of a drop. Ow! Oh. Wasn't sure if that would be too far or not. Oh, missed! Back here. Is there a jumping spot right here? That's weird. Like in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's a jail here. Let's see what's in here. Into the other jail. Wow. Not do that, please. Fall off that cliff, probably, huh? This guy is spastic. No, oh, and he's a little fast. Oh.
Tough fight, though. Yep, I agree. <laughs> Okay, well, it seems like blocking is not a big thing with this guy. We'll just try to two-hand a bit more. Let the death count begin. Oh yeah, there's gonna be many deaths. Many deaths. Probably I should be using a different spell on my sword. No! Went right through him. If I can hit him with that, it actually interrupts his attack, which is nice. Get him. One heal left. No, oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, so dead. <laughs> ah, I knew it was toast. Oh no! Cream lag kicking in again. Awesome. Hooray, interwebs. <sighs> Stupid internet. Well, I can't do anything about the data flow shafts. It's not like I have a switch that I just adjust to make it go better. Um, I, I can see that my bit rate sucks right now, but I, there's literally nothing I can do about it. Ah! It's weak to frostbite. I don't know if I even have anything that gives me frostbite.
Yeah, I know. My bitrate dropped right into the toilet. So I normally stream at like 18,000. It's dropping all the way down to about 4,000, um, which is going to cause stream lag. I'm sorry. Uh, it did this earlier right at the very start of the stream. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the issue is, whether it's something going on in my house or it's my general internet in the area. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll recover a bit. It's, it's come back up to about 17,000 now, so it should start to smooth out. I'm sorry, everyone. I, 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 it's not something I can control. Unfortunately. I'm gonna try fire on this guy. Fire. Oh wait, actually, do I have uh? Do I have any ice grease? Is, there, is that even a thing? Ice grease a thing? Fire grease, magic grease, lightning grease, holy grease, poison grease, soporific grease. Ooh, we could put him to sleep. Field grease. Uh, rock grease. Ooh, we could rot him a bit. Try that. See if we can rock grease him a bit. I'm not really hitting him all that frequently though, so I don't know if this is gonna make a difference. But getting better now. Yeah, it, it ebbs and flows. Like I don't know what the deal is exactly, but. Super annoying, regardless. Let's try to rot him a little bit. Not that time. Oh boy, that hurt a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Heal. Ah. That was rough. Ugh. Come on, you jerk. I don't know what it takes to actually apply the rod. In terms of, like, how many times I have to hit him. Oh, no! He dodged right around it! <laughs> Get up and run. Oh, I'm dead. Couldn't heal. Needed to get far enough away to heal that it wasn't working. <sighs> I was doing well. It went well for a little bit. Oh, I missed a couple deaths. Hang a couple of those in there. The only the only weapon enchant I have set right now is my electrify armament. I don't think the rock grease is gonna help. I probably shouldn't waste it on this guy. Oh no! Oh yeah, okay, good. <laughs> For a second there, I thought I didn't collect my runes before. We got it though. Wrapped up Saturdays? Would, I don't know. It, that, that You could say the same thing about earlier. I'm not sure what the deal is. It's because Bridget's so hot, it's affecting my streams. Is that what it is? Bridgerton? Too, uh, Bridgerton's too powerful? <laughs> really annoying, whatever it is. Ah, oh, missed! God, he's so fast. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> Don't get hit by that move. Have a night, Mr. Grinch. Sorry for the, uh, the whole stream challenges. Good ol' interwebs. Nothing beats the interwebs. Eat. 
sword. Oh no! Dead. Oh no, not dead. Alright, I thought for sure it was dead. That move sucks. For the record. Ah, oh, I had no stamina. I was trying to hit the attack button, but nothing was happening. And with the stamina. Ah, stop it! Stop that! This guy attacking me, man. So rude. They came into his jail. Oh, dead. Just on me. Strong versus holy, immune to rot, bleed, poison, weak to frostbite. Likely switch your Uchi to frost for this fight. I, I, I'd have to like take off back to another uh, another point of grace to be able to make that change, because I can't just do it on the fly right here. You know, point of grace. There isn't one over here that I found, oddly enough. Fortunately. It can be in the butt. In the butt! Let's, uh, alright, I'll go back over here. No, not the village. I want to go to this one here. Go to the Moonlight Altar. I'll make a change to the weapon. I can uh, spend the runes that I have as well. That'll get me another level up. Try Frost on this guy. Level up. Uh, I'm going to drop a point in... Uh, boost my arcane a little bit. And we want to use Ash of War. Stick on here. That is... That's magic. Cold Ucha Katana. I need two frost build up. Okay. Yeah, that works. The only shame with the frost, uh, the frost ash of war is that the um, the frost attack is super slow. Chucky's gonna get you. Sorry, Jack. Chucky's back. I don't think you can block through that area attack. You mean the one where he drops, uh, sorry, he jumps and does the, um, the crazy blood slashy thing? I don't think you can block through that either. I'd really love to know why there's this jumping point, like, right here in the middle of nowhere. Seems so weird to me. What's that supposed to do for you? By the power of Grey Skull! Uh, I really wish my internet would cooperate. Still all over the place right now. That's always good for getting people to watch. Give them a terrible viewing experience. Hooray! Surprise! I've got...
Ooh, that hurt. That sucks. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it hit the rock. Nice. Well, I reset the modem. It's uh, it's looking uh, just as bad. So I think it might be a broader internet problem for me with my internet provider. I don't want to cut the stream short, even though it's the, the feed is terrible right now because we're trying to raise money for charity, uh, but I, I can't improve it. We got through this earlier today, and then it, it improved on its own, but... I don't know. I guess well, I'll just have to wait and see what happens. Sorry, everyone, for the uh, the piss poor experience. That's not obviously ideal. Not ideal at all. It's uh, it's showing decent put throughput now though, so hopefully it'll be a little bit better. Yep. Worst case scenario, there is an option also. You could try lowering the quality of the feed. Um, that doesn't again doesn't make for an ideal experience. I know, but. Hopefully it will uh, it will stay a little more stable. It's uh, sitting a, a pretty much around the range where I normally would stream at, so hopefully, hopefully it'll stay that way for a bit. Ow, wrong button. Ow, that hurt. Oh god, he just barely fell short of me there. Nope, wrong way. Oh, that was dumb. Uh, I thought he was doing the, uh, the attack where it shoots out the little wave thing. Yeah, it's not my fault, but it still makes for a really horrible stream. Like, uh, generally speaking, if I'm having, if I'm having bad feed problems, it, it's obviously a bad experience for people, so then people choose not to watch, so then we never get the same number of people in, and it just, it's a compounding effect. Anyway, we'll see if it, uh, helps her a little bit. The reset seems to have helped for a bit for now. It's looking relatively stable. See how it goes. Good old technology. fall off that cliff. Oh, my button's not working! Oh my god. I can't, I, I literally can't light attack. That was going well, too, until that point. Yeah. Elden Ring doesn't like when you tab out of the game to do other things. When I, when I go back to it, sometimes my light attack button doesn't work. <laughs> Good times. We're off to a good start, too. I was going to get a nice little backstab and everything there with the frost weapon. That would have been great. Crit attack with the frost would have been a good one. <laughs> Ryan must be watching behind on the, uh, on the stream. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get these. Oh, there's like nothing there. What am I worried about? No! Just me. Sucks. So you can block that, but it does a ton of damage still. That's not the heal I wanted. Oh no! Ian, that hurt. 
hurt so bad. Oh my god, I'm almost dead already. Just skip to the next video in your queue. Weird. Yeah, it's it's YouTube because the feed was so bad it passes people on to a different video. <sighs> 91 concurrent viewers. Awesome stream so far today. <laughs> God. On the plus side, we are still making some money for charity, so that's a good thing, but sadly, uh technology is not working in my favor today. sucks yeah i can't summon in jails unfortunately well actually i mean blogs can help with the one apparently but i didn't use him i i just beat the guy straight without it i'm not sure what's better trying to use this frost attack knowing that he's he's weaker to the frost or just sticking with the unsheath ability that lets me smack him really hard every now and then because the uh the frost attack is good, but it it's it's really slow, and he's really fast. So every time I do it, I'm giving him a, like a clear opening to just smoke me really hard. Not that that's entirely what I'm dying to, but. No, oh, oh that, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Trigger the frost on him. Oh! No! No! Uh, don't. Hey, Fox, good evening. Sorry, YouTube isn't working for the stream when the Covenant House needs the proceeds. Yeah, it's really the worst possible timing to have bad internet. Plenty of times when I'm streaming at night, no problems whatsoever. Everything's smooth sailing. And then I plan a 12-hour charity stream, and we had uh, 
This is the, I mean, we've had a couple times today with a really crappy internet feed. I could grab my runes, but there's only 20, so I'm not even gonna bother. Just leave them. But despite the internet feed, if you would like to still support uh, Covenant House, there is a link in the description you can click on. Or you can make a donation, or the link that I have pinned in the top of the chat uh, goes to the same place. So two good options. I got him with a, a frost thing already. Oh, missed. so dead. Yeah, shoot. Just four more of those hits. Yeah, a lot more than four. <laughs> oh good, we're buffering again. Hooray. Whatever can go wrong, will go wrong. It does certainly seem that way some days, doesn't it? Oi, oi, oi. Oh yeah, I forgot to hit the death add button. I probably missed a couple there, I just added a couple. <laughs> Ducks he can't block. Oh, the one where he's grabbing? Yeah, you just gotta avoid it. Some of the other ones you can you can block, but... And actually, the block works pretty good because then I can counterattack off of it, but... What am I doing here? Oh, dead! Oh my god! Bad timing. Bad phone, sir. Bad phone. It was not the right time to do that move. Yeah, the follow-up strikes can be tricky. The, the He's got a lot of these strings together, too, so if I can, like, block and counterattack, I'm usually getting hit while I'm counterattacking him. I'm just, I'm soaking up way too much damage right now. Dun, 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 dun. Why is my life total not full? Oh. He almost got me with the grab there all right away. Oh, 
uh, we both jumped at the same time, but his came in a little bit stronger. Dead. Oh, overkill, buddy. Come on. Be back in a bit. Got a call to me. All right, see you, Rissa. Boy, they. Boy, they indeed. Incidentally, we're up to one thousand six hundred eighty dollars raised now towards uh, Covenant House Toronto. Uh, Fireith, Fireith was the last uh, donation. Before that was uh, Daniel Grothman with a hundred dollar donation, and then Adam Turner before that. Thank you so much for all the donations in support of Covenant House. Very much appreciated. Yeah, he got me the overkill there. Like, just, it wasn't enough for him to kill me. He needed to rub it in a little bit, you know? <laughs> Everybody's messed up a bit. You get that ash in the Chapel of Anticipation. All right. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure where that is, but now I'm anticipating it. I thought I was doing a backstab there, but not so much. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, man. That, that ability is vicious. Oh, come on. That should have hit the rock. <laughs> he grabbed me out of my ice attack. Oh, so mean. Not nice. Not nice. Stream straight now, knock on wood. Yeah, hopefully it'll uh, stay that way for a bit. Well, I'm going to just swap controllers here. The one I'm using, the one control stick, unfortunately, comes loose. Drives me nuts. I think it's on a warranty still. I could send it in for for servicing. I just nothing yet. There we go. <laughs> I was in the middle of doing that um, that ice attack when he like leapt in and grabbed me out of it and just killed me <laughs> like instantly. Attack is brutal. You think controller that doesn't kill you? What? What level is my weapon? It's level 17. Uh, the runes don't matter. There's like 20 there. I had spent almost all of them using a, for like for a level up, and the only runes I've been, I have over here are like from some animal that dies nearby. So I'm not worried about picking them up. Some people say the Ashes rewarded here are more powerful than the Mimic. Yeah, I've heard that, yeah. Well, because it's this guy, right? Somehow. Oh, dead. Good start, bad continuation. <laughs> if all of us imagine the stream going well, and it's smooth experience, that will help. So please, everyone, imagine watching the stream all the way with fun, smooth experience. You're going to have to use a strong imagination for that, though, because it has not been smooth today. Not him, but another Black Tish assassin? Oh, I see. So it's not this actual guy, just the same type of assassin thing. Well, I want to level that weapon. I uh, had plus 20 at that point. 
Maybe. He like kicks me over or something with that move. Nope, stamina. Stamina. Watch the video. Apparently, the streamer I was watching had a glitch that he got it somewhere weird. All right, I don't know what to tell you. Too many things, too many places. This game has all kinds of cool hidden stuff. It's worth exploring just for the sake of like finding all the neat little things. I have a whole pile of weapons on me that we found in all kinds of weird places that I I know I'm never going to use. <laughs> they're just they're just fun to play around with. is where you start like oh at the very beginning area where that first boss kills you as part of like a planned progression thing oh back there i don't even know how to get there to actually be honest with you i know there is a way to get there i have to look it up we're gonna beat this guy he's gonna die one way or another he's going down the first little bit, I'm like taking the fight to him and then getting that crit hit on him, which is nice. Uh, but then it all goes downhill after that. Oh, missed me. Ow! Ah, uh, no stamina. Didn't counterattack. Because you die and revive there, right? There's like a way to get back to the very, very beginning before you even start the training area. <laughs> My bet is I'll bet it beat him on death 645. What are we at now? <laughs> 627? Yeah, it's a pain in the butt, man. I'm, just ha I'm having to spend too much time, like, running away from him. That's, uh... Problematic. Oh, my... Buttons not working. I keep dropping my shield. Ah, oh, dead. Ugh. Wait, Boxy said you would beat him. What happened, bud? Lol, just teasing. I didn't say I would beat him that fight. I said we're going to beat him, which means I'm going to bash my face against the fight until we win. <laughs> I didn't say that specific fight we'd beat him. Wah, wah. Oh, 
Oh, missed. Ow. Ow. God dang, that ability sucks. Yeah, I'll get it eventually. <laughs> we might have to leave her a bit and come back later, but uh, we'll get him. <laughs> Box of the school, try, try, try again until somehow you manage to land the right blows at the right time and move on to the next try, try, try by again, boss. <laughs> that's because that's how this game works. <laughs> it's... If you beat everything on the first attempt, then there's not there's no point playing it. Pretty much pretty much how the whole Dark Souls experience is. Oh man, the range of that sucks. Oh, wrong button. I'm dead. He's immune to rot. Rot does nothing. Yeah, it wouldn't be a Souls game if it was that easy, I guess. Give it a couple more attempts. If it doesn't work, we'll move on. We'll try something else. Maybe come back to him a little bit later. I can keep my stamina up, then uh, counterattacks seem to work all right on him. Maybe I should be changing up my trinkets. Is that that one that boosts my jump attack damage right now equipped? Because I was using the jump attack a whole bunch for something. Oh boy. But I haven't haven't used it in a bit now. At least not extensively. I'm using a little few jump attacks on this guy, but it's not like crazy. Oh man, that sucked. That kick sucks, whatever that is. I like a sweep attack. <laughs> no, I don't have uh, I don't have a kick attack. That's not really an option. I, I have the the one shock attack that like pushes back. Um, so that I mean that might be a possibility. I don't know if he's even susceptible to it, but it, um, what else? See, groceries, memory slots. Hmm, raises strength, raises intelligence, raises dex. I wonder if I should raise my dex. That'll speed up my stamina recovery, which will be alright. Yeah, surviving that attack where he, like, jumps and does the... Whatever that is, the big slashy thing all around him when he hits. That one's vicious. Crazy damage. Trade blows with him that way, but it's like constantly do the uh, 
the counter strike, but he hits me at the same time, so it and then I'm going to move on and do something else. The one effect he's putting on me is like this burning slash kind of thing. So it does like a bleed effect and then leaves behind a, uh, a remnant that burns on you. So you, you're da the damage keeps ticking down a little bit. I have that spell that I could be putting on my blade, but um, I don't have it memorized. So change that up. in the stone. on that is sick. there he was going for the grab too when he does that move. I'm gonna try something else, we'll come back to that. That went a lot better that time, but uh all it takes is a few few slip ups in your toast. Oops. The wrong button. 
That was, uh, that was something else. Okay, so down here, there's a tower. We'll see what's down there. Oh, we got some of these crystal guys here. Come on, me, just coming through. There's a bunch of them. Like, how dare you kill our deer? What is this? Oh, hi! Oh, you're a jerk. <laughs> I hate this guy. already did that if you're talking about the uh the doll we married that's down in the well underneath uh, that broken up church or whatever yep totally missed it okay so uh i'm not really worried about my runes but i'm kind of curious what's over there i want to get past that crazy fox thing now oh the dragons are down here Are these the kind of dragons you kill once and they're gone, or are they the kind of dragons where you have to kill them over and over again? <laughs> I say as it almost kills me right off the bat. Got a frost effect on it. I don't know if that does anything to this guy or not. Okay, one dragon down. I think there was a second one over here somewhere, right? Didn't I see a second one here before? Thought there were two. <laughs> Give us new meaning to ankle biter. Yeah, there's the other one here. New meaning to ankle biter. Darn right it does. What we do? I'm right in the tail.
<laughs> kind of get my mount hurt a lot here. He's cheating. Down here. Can get you up there. That's better. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I think I killed an animal. I just got, I just got some runes. I'm on his back! <laughs> you dead yet? more runes fox dragon rider yeah <laughs> i was on my mount on a dragon that's uh called efficiency right there efficiency um i can't just jump straight down there that's too far down no way we're surviving that attack the mommy daddy button oh right in the mommy daddy button Uh, we can go down here. Quasi works. I gotta go through all these crystal guys again, though. Oh, God! Just in your Cheerios. Oh, God, that does, like, nothing. <laughs> the sword, it does nothing. thing you know how hard it is to find a good horse thing now dad you're right in the heart you jerk now oh no fair no fair You're looking fat rolling. Why is that guy overweight for some reason? Slash sucks. It's so slow. It's great when you hit with it, but... dragons no problem this guy problem okay i need to take that cold slash off uh, let's see uh, ashes of war 
There we go. Hit him with my heavy slash to slash things. Maybe another way to get down there that doesn't revolve. Going past those crystal guys. What is this? Oh, that's the elevator we came up. Never mind. Uh, all right. Maybe there's not. That's uh, that's really far down there. I guess we gotta go around that other way. Yeah, nearly dead. I pretty much just needed to hit him like one more time. I think. I forgot to anchor up my death counter. I'm not fat rolling. That's weird. I don't know what the deal is there. Uh, I want to use the one that lowers my... Actually, I could use one of these. Raises attributes, but also... So I'd take more damage, but again, we'd boost all of our stats a little more. Or I could use the one that... reduces my FP usage. Chances attacks on horseback. <laughs> That'd be a good one. But here, I'll use that, I guess. Streams been stable for a while. Yeah, it uh, it improved again. I, I don't know. It's it's probably my internet service provider. Sometimes they, they get bogged down or something. I don't know. Whatever it is is annoying. Whoa! It was fucking following me. No, don't throw your ringy things at me. I don't like them. Need my runes back here. That sucked. Okay, and I'm almost dead already. And I'm dead. Wow. <laughs> the self. Don't mess with the fox thing. Jeez. Three straight hits. Boom, boom, boom. Dead. After all that riding, there's gotta be a gotta be a grace closer to there that doesn't involve this much riding back every time. Yeah, the one's like this. Where spots like right here. If I could just drop off here. Oh god, I overjumped. I'm dead. There goes my runes. Yep. Now I'm perfect. <laughs> what demigod god do I think I'm gonna try to kill next? I have no idea. Like I don't. I have like a list of all the bosses and everything. I'm just kind of in encountering stuff as I go. Um. And trying to take him out. We're done, Godric, Rhea, no problem. Put Fox against a fox and he kills him in less than five seconds. <laughs> well, it's, uh, I mean, we did die quite a bit to Radon, so I don't know if I'd say that was no problem. Gonna die? I'm so dead. I gotta live. Of course, not so much. Here you go, buddy. Wow, that did not do a lot, did it? All right, well we're gonna get we're gonna dismount as soon as we get in here, anyway. Man, that thing really sucks. Oh, oh, my 
for it. Stop killing me. Now. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh good, the internet screwed up again. Hooray! Way to mess with my charity stream, internet. God dang. No, the lag has been a problem a few times today. I can't get past it. It every time it smooths out, it's good for a bit, and then it going downhill again. Almost seven and a half hours into stream. We've already had three bad bouts of uh, internet performance. Not so great. Yeah, everyone sacrifice a goat to the interweb god. <laughs> Got mine. That wasn't a goat, it was a deer, but it'll do. That'd be an easier way to get down here. Something that doesn't involve me going splat. Like if I could, if I could jump on this thing. <laughs> Sliding down the side of it. That was lame. Yeah, it may not be as bad as last time, but it's probably gonna kick up again. It's super frustrating. But don't let the internet performance stop you from supporting a wonderful cause. Covenant House Toronto is the, the charity we're streaming for today. Those dragons came back. I was not expecting that. Um, I guess there's a place to farm dragon hearts or something. It's weird. Yeah, coming out of House Toronto, they support uh, youth that are homeless, trafficked, and at risk. We're raising funds for them. Dead. We're raising funds for them today to help to ensure that they can continue their main mission, supporting uh, supporting youth in Toronto. Uh, since 1982, they've helped 100,000 kids. Kind of impressive. Also sad that there's that many that needed it. And still use the graces? What do you mean? <laughs> Up to four eighty P now. Woo. That's high quality interwebs. Didn't sound like they were being friendly back there. I think they were throwing stuff at me. I don't want to mess with them. Now while we're fighting this guy. That's good. That's bad news if they're following me over here. Oh, God! Can't see. I can't even see what I'm doing!
Ah. This guy is the bane of my existence. <laughs> He's just a freaking fox. Is it different the map? If you see a hole uh, with red around it on the map, that means a cave. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Uh, we've already seen a few of those and, and gone into them. There's got to be another grace down here somewhere. There's like three of them in this one little section up here and nothing down here. <sighs> Sometimes this game, it frustrates me. You know what I should do? I haven't been doing is switching over to my magic defense shield. <laughs> I'm getting beat by web browser. Firefox, that's right. Who's into the Firefox? I feel like there should be a better way to get down here than what I'm using, but... I keep going splat, so I'm not gonna try it. Unless there's something closer over this way. Doesn't look like it. Don't hit me! Don't hit me, I'm a nice guy! Ah! The good lord! Oh, come on! Clearly the spells track a little bit. In the butt! Right in the pooper. Didn't like that much, did ya? Ow! Jeez. He's good at, uh... Combine oh, god, that sword thing sucks. He's good at combining the, uh, the spells with his attacks. He's got a good setup going there. Attack! Good. Good. We're already dead. Good. This is going great. This isn't even the first time I fought this kind of wolf. Dead. There's a grace at the very end of that peninsula thing in the southwest. Very end of the peninsula thing. Oh yeah, but that's that's farther down than where I'm. I'm fighting like right here. So at that point, it's like six to one, half a dozen the other. Increase my arcane resist a bit. Just wait till the Mozilla comes out. <laughs> Not the Firefox, it's the Mozilla. Run for it! Me coming through. In the back. Got a fancy arm release really now. I'm 
sometimes this game is very frustrating. <laughs> Heal quick. Go quick. Not quick enough. On either front. Them. Look at that when he moves fast enough, I can't even get him with a quick attack. I wouldn't attack! Finally! Oh my god. Oh, it's giving me fits. Alright. Just watch there be like nothing worth grabbing here. <laughs> would be the best. Fox versus Fox. Yeah, we finally, uh... Finally beat the Fox. Worst part is, that's not even a boss. Like, it's the same as a boss you fight in another spot, but that one's. That one specifically isn't one. All that for some smithing stones? Really? Oh my god. Died a whole bunch for nothing, I think. Unless there's something else these, uh. These statue things are used for. That was quite excruciating. Whoa! <laughs> that was close. There's the other Grace. Finally. Very close. That was a little, little bit too close for comfort, I think. One of these again. Seek three wise beasts. Oh, uh, this is another one of those turtle things. We gotta find the glowy turtle guys. Might be a little bit tricky with everything glowing around here. Again. Three turtle dudes. Three turtle dudes. And when we did this before, one of the turtles was invisible. There was like a pond. Uh, not these guys, though. It's got to be like a glowy turtle. Like a mutant ninja turtle. You know, when they're still affected by the mutagen stuff.
Hurdles. Where are them turtles at? I don't even know how far away they can actually be. I don't know if they're like all close or farther away or what. Not right off the cliff. Now, one of these, the turtle's in a tree. Really? Like in the upper branches of a tree? That's crazy. Come here, flight pinion things there. It'd be wise to stay hidden, yeah. They're special turtles and they like to hide in weird places. They're like the, they're like the ultimate hide and seek turtles. See, you have pizza. Yeah, I've got pizza. You turtles. I don't know if they're going to be like how far from the tower they're going to be. Is it infinite range or nearly infinite? Pick the sewers. If only we could find the sewers. Maybe if we could call April O'Neil, then we'd have an idea where they are. He could tell us. Turtles, turtles, rah, rah, rah. Turtles, turtles, ha, ha, ha. Ooh, I love turtles. What are these? Oh, those things. The snails. Snail snakey things. Oh, there's more. Okay, well, it's a good thing this isn't annoying. They're all on that rise. Which rise? No, oh, there was another way to get down here. Okay, I'm sure we gotta, we gotta go back by the tower, I'm sure. Go that way. Like, what do you say, Rise? Are you talking about up there? Where we killed the fox thing? Should have already been asked, but is there a reason uh, only an hour of the stream recording is available when scrolling back? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because we're still live and it's a really long stream. It's already. Where are we like. Uh, Oh, seven and three quarter hours in. Uh, so it could be that uh, normally YouTube bullying will have two hours of a stream available at any given time until it's processed it. So it could be related to that. I've never tried to look back in the stream when it's live to see how far back you can go. Rise equals tower in Elden Ring. Ah! If we can find one, at least we get some idea of how far away they'll spawn.
Maybe this one up here. Maybe this was the whole point of killing the fox. It'll be clear up here for uh, turtle hunting. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I might be too far away. Check through here just to make sure, but... It could be that I'm too far away. Oh my god, just kill the thing. Good lord. A lot of work to hit one of those. Alright, we'll go back look, look, look closer to the tower. One of them at that particular tower is flying. What? No. Flying turtle. That's ridiculous. Invisible flying turtles should be easy. Oh yeah, absolutely. But they glow blue when they're uh, when they're visible anyway. Oh hey, look! <laughs> Found one. That's uh, that's pretty cheeky. The seal on the rise opened? It was one turtle we had to get? That's gotta be broken. I only got one turtle and it, it said I had to get three. Oh well, I'm not gonna knock it. We're in. <laughs> I sure didn't get three. Yeah, it's supposed to be three. That's super weird. Like I said, though, I'm not going to complain. Maybe they patch something to say that you only got to get the one until they fix it. I don't know. Maybe there's something you're supposed to be first because I recall one of them clinging to the side of the cliff. Well, I got it all right, but I don't know. That's the, that's the only one we shot. Other two must have died somehow. Maybe. I don't know. Ronnie's Dark Moon. Is that a spell? Incarnate a cold, dark moon and launch it at foes. Legendary sorcery associated with the Carrion Queen. Uses the caster as a vessel to incarnate a cold, dark moon that sends it floating towards foes. Dark moon dispels all sorcery sin that it touches and temporarily reduces magic damage negation for those it strikes. This moon was encounter uh, encountered by a young Rani led by the hand of her mother, Renala. What she beheld was cold, dark, and veiled in occult mystery. Well, that's cool. It'd be cooler if I actually used those spells. They died of old age waiting for me. That sounds about right. That was kind of a lot of work for uh, something I'm not going to use. Um, 
So the only thing left up here is this guy. I guess we can, we'll just mark this for later. I can get that later. Uh, I don't think there's anything else on this rise here. We could try going along this way over here behind the Lunar Estates and see if there's anything, but... I think that might be it for up here. One turtle the size of three. Maybe. Maybe it's the turtle that ate the other two turtles? Cannibal turtle? All right, turtles, we're out of here. Maybe the turtle's three apples high like a smurf. <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to complain about only having to kill one of them because that was a pain trying to find them, but... I wonder if, uh... I wonder if they decided it was... Where, where they had them hidden was too much of a pain and they, uh... patched it or something, but... It doesn't sound like something they would normally do. Slapped him in the butt! I swear I was hearing like a weird music. Maybe not. I only had one ear cup on, and I wasn't sure if I heard it or not. You can move them by dropping your pants at <laughs> the zero FP. Uh, could be dementia, yeah, maybe that's what it is. I don't know, I'm riding around here just to see if there is anything, but I don't know. I think we, uh, we might have tackled all this. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna check the lower section down here to see if there's anything to find, and then, uh, we'll teleport off somewhere else. People go try the, uh, the lava place. I haven't played around there yet. Aside from when we went there to fight that one boss. Looking rock face there. Have you killed the stale natural born of the void? Uh, I think so, yeah. I think we did that last time. That's the one that's like a giant dragonfly with a weird death head thing, right? Alright, that's all cleared. Okay, so aside from the, uh, the jail that's up here, there's nothing left to do up here. Uh, let's go back over to... what is this? That's the Magma Worm. Grand Lift of Dectus. I actually have the stuff that will run the Grand Lift now. But I think that takes us into the city, doesn't it? Uh, I want to go over here where the, uh... Grand Inquisition Chamber, no. Go over here. Try the lava stuff. See what's going on here.
vastly raises FP. So my FP is 124 when I use that. Oh, it was 112. It went up to 124. 12 FP? That's vast? Doesn't feel very vast. I need, uh, I need this map over here. Oh. That is not the way... Alright. Not the way I marked, but there's something here to check out. The Altus Plateau. Ooh, look at that view. Crazy. Windham Ruins. Oh god, I don't have my holy stuff set up right now. Ow. Skeletons. Oh, there's a church up there, actually. Skeleton. A little bit like something big moving through the water over here. It's just a, to be a mariner, but seem more aggressive than usual. Where is he? Ow! Where are you, mariner? Or is that something it's summoning? Oh my god, I'm getting old here. Pick it up. Heal. But to be a mariner is normally like a little dude in a boat. I don't see him. Oh, there he is over there. I wish I had my holy stuff memorized right now. This time. Yeah, your boat, or I mean, uh, Hilton thing.
See you. Oh my god. Dude just eyeball blasted me. That was ridiculous. Okay. Give me the old stink eye. Attack was so strong as it caused the lag, caused the lag spike. <laughs> oh shoot, what was I thinking? I should have memorized my, uh, my holy spell again. Oh god, you know what? How about you just go away? Oh, you moved already. Where is he? There he is. I see you! So I think it had done that attack before, but I was behind the building before, so it didn't really get me. Must be that time now. Oh, oh that hurt. <laughs> what a weird attack. Kill your own skeletons. Perfect. Ah! Oh, and another skeleton summon. Oh good, more lag. Hooray! bad is it? Pretty bad. Awesome. He had a bone to pick with me. Yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> Sorry everyone for the lag. My internet service provider has not been cooperating today. I keep getting these weird lag spikes. I'm getting, I'm getting bad bitrate. I can't attack. This is great. Clicked off the game and screwed my game up again. I mean, just friggin' there. Better. Okay. Messy, messy.
There we go. This will be over for now. Yeah, it'll kind of comes and goes. I'm sorry, everyone. It's uh, not something I have control over. Seems to be some bad performance issues with my internet provider today. Bad, bad timing for it, given we're trying to do a charity stream to raise some money for Covenant House, and this is when the problems happen, but... Jinxed it. <laughs> yeah, figures. Buffer boss has appeared again. Unstoppable buffer. Oh, dude, shoot me in the back, man. I, I literally can't do anything, including targeting, because of the, uh, the message at the bottom. <laughs> I wish that would not stay that long. I don't need to know for two minutes that my stone sword key was used. There we go. Or if I just tend to hit Y or something to make it go away. Am I playing online? Maybe offline mode would help. Uh, I am offline right now, actually, because we we got dis when I got disconnected earlier, and I reset the modem. It uh, loaded back in in offline mode. Boy. Oh, the backstab and missed. That was weird. Says. Earl Drake's talisman plus one. I have no idea what that even is. Greatly boost non-physical damage negation. Oh. Interesting. Starting to get better? Yeah, it comes and goes. Might get better for a little bit, then it's gonna slowly kind of come back again. Oh, you know what? I want to have the uh, the backstab one equipped. There we go. Get my heels back. Cannot win for trying some days. I'm telling you. I'm gonna go over here and see if I can get that thing. Is that within reach, or have I gotta go weird places? It looks like I can actually get to it. I think. Maybe. Try to get a map of this area a little bit. Shoot at me. Clearly, they don't know who I am. Oh, that's. More to that than I thought. Oh, there's a uh, statue that points at a burial crypt here. Up there? Where's that pointing to? Maybe it's Sea the Water Cave it's pointing at. Weird that it point it's pointing me like way up. There's something far away from here. I'll leave that for now. 
You sure it's your internet provider? Uh, maybe YouTube specifically dropped down to 780p and it's fine now. Yeah, I, I don't honestly, I don't know what it is. So I, I can see my bitrate dropping. Uh, it's possible it's a YouTube intake issue where it's it's not pulling the data in properly. Uh, it's possible it's my internet. I don't really know. All I can tell is that I have my stream set for a particular bitrate output in order to produce a quality, you know, quality feed. And I can see it fluctuate. And that's it. I, I don't know if it's my internet or if it's uh, YouTube or what. Whatever it is, it sucks. Super lame. It's not exactly leading to good stream participation. All right, let's uh, update our flask here and charge. Enough golden seeds. Bigger tier. All right. Oh, actually, I've been dealing with undead here. Maybe I'll change over my memorized spell. Swap this over for the holy sword, Order's blade. Welcome to the Lux Ruins. They're way better than the than the basic ruins. Something up there. You got kicked? Yeah, still have just under 200 viewers. I know, but but uh, after we've been live for this long on a Saturday, could have been better. People get irritated by the poor performance, like understandably. Really hard to watch something when it's almost unwatchable. You know? oh, that's a dead end. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh, the one guy without even seeing him. Stream died now as if it's over. Well, it might might have for you, but that's that's the trouble. Is it, it when it gets the really bad feed, it will do stuff like that. It'll it'll kick you off and like send you off to another video. Stream's still here though. It's uh it's all about the uh, all about the feed. It's I don't know it's killing me. How do I? Why does something sound like giant footsteps? What's going on down here? Dead giant guys here.
Yeah, it's still terrible. I can't get over... I'm in trouble getting over 2,000 kilobits, which is not nearly enough for the stream. It's back, but it's, uh, still terrible performance. Come on. Oh, man. Why today of all days? No. Yep, that helped immensely, Rabbit Dog. Thanks for uh, typing. Hold on, does this help? <laughs> yeah. No. Nothing's working. Uh, I've tried rebooting the uh, rebooting the modem. I've tried rebooting my PC. I don't know if it's a YouTube feed intake problem or a problem with my internet service provider, but we get, keep getting these brutal spikes where I can't get data to flow through consistently, and if I can't get data to flow, then stream doesn't work. Even on my phone, it looks like I'm still standing still, but I'm not. Awful. Ball nights, yeah. Uh, it's very frustrating. Good daddy, and what's he doing out here? Ow! That's his heart. Used to streams like that on Twitch. Man, it just shouldn't be that way though, like... Like I said, most of the time when we stream, I have no, I have no internet problems at all. I even tried lowering the, uh, lowering the rate that I was sending data at, hoping, like, maybe it was just a function of the system being a little overloaded, but... Nothing doing. Nothing gonna work. Determined not to cooperate. Let's get this here before I get myself killed again. And hit me when I'm doing things. Ow. Yeah, I mean, there's only so much I can do, but it's just really frustrating. Any other day, you know, I get it. I can just be like, all right, you know what, I'm going to... I'm just going to call the stream for now, and we'll try again later, maybe when internet gets better, but... A day like today, when I'm trying to do a, a charity thing... If I'm not live, I'm not getting donations for charity, that's for sure. Ow! That almost killed me. I almost died! Been turning off other devices. I've done all kinds of stuff. I mean, my family's upstairs doing whatever they're doing, but nothing they're doing should be involving an upload, which is the problem here. So my bandwidth for download is one gigabit, but my bandwidth for upload is only like 300 megabit. Or no, sorry, 30 megabit. So I have to kind of stay within those constraints when I'm streaming, which normally is not a problem. 
But today, not going so great. Yeah, it, it's smoothed out at the moment. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how long it lasts again. Hopefully it'll hold out. Unfortunately, with all the problems we've had today, though, it does, uh, does affect the overall stream performance, and then that reduces the amount that we're capable of raising for charity, too, unfortunately. So we usually stream at this time. Well, yeah, I mean, I would normally stream, like, a little bit later than this, but... Yeah, you're right. Sometimes I go live at, like, 8 o'clock. Didn't realize what time it was, actually. Um, so, yeah, it is in that same general range now. It's not cooperating today. Can't get a solid feed. Ashes of War, Sacred Order. I already had that one, I think. I mean, I, had a, I thought I had a map spot. Oh, I did. <laughs> I've kind of been riding away from the spot I marked. All these flowers here. This whole flower business seems a little uh, suspicious. What do we got? Found a cave. I take a drink and try again in a little while. Maybe with Mrs. Bucks won't sabotage the <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Tell her you said that. <laughs> That's weird. Why would they have a hidden entrance right at the entrance to the entrance of the cave in here? Unless they're implying that at some point in this cave there's gonna be other hidden things. I need to get my holy sword going here. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go back and oh wait, no, I have it. I already set it up. Yep. More hiding things. Ooh, chests. I like chests. Lost Ashes of War. Rejuvenating boluses. I've restarted my PC. I've restarted the internet. I've tried lowering the, the uh, bandwidth output. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing, nothing that has any direct positive effect. Is suspicious. Hey, dude. Ow. I'm curious what's out here now. Oh, more chests. Oh my god, so many chests in here. Yeah, it's working for the moment. We'll see how long that lasts. Black Hood. Handle Tree Wooden Shield. Mason Butterfly. What's the Black Hood like? Hood of lusterless black fabric that conceals its wearer's identity. In this world, there's very little that must necessarily be known. I wonder if that has a benefit in any way in the game. And then that candle tree wooden shield is this one. Yeah, 50, 50 protection at lightning. That's not horrible. Tall, medium sized wooden shield, light for its size and easy to handle, though. Uh, thought to represent a surreptitious prophecy of cardinal sin, the lit candle tree design was forbidden. God.
I'm getting kicked in my last Icarus stream. Hooray! Go, go, gadget, YouTubes. If I could fix it, I would. Is any other any other day but today, I'd take a break. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god, that thing totally killed me. I didn't realize how hard he was hitting me. Wap. Smoked. Maybe use a phone as a hotspot? Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> There's no way a, a, a Wi-Fi hotspot phone spot is gonna be better than my physical cable connection. Even with the internet problems I'm having. And there it goes again. Dang it. <laughs> and they're facing the chest in the wall. On sword key. Great golden arrow. Raptor talons. Dragon one grease. Uh, what are those raptor talons like? It's like a claw weapon of some kind. Raptor claws. Very similar to the other ones we already had. They have quick step on them though. Oh, so did the other one actually. Two sharp twin blades wielded by the assassin of Ravenmouth. This weapon allows them to imitate the attack of death birds. Besides excelling at airborne attacks, charge attack mimics the vicious swoop of a bird of prey. Huh. Yeah, I... There's almost no point in even streaming right now. So bad. Like, I just... <laughs> I feel like I'm wasting my time. Yeah, we definitely want to jump in the water here, so not do that. Where's this go? Oh, another spot with more chests. Holy cow, man, this place is loaded. Raptor's black feathers. And a skeletal mask. A little mask that tightly grips the face worn by the assassins of Ravenmount. This ritual implement relentlessly digs into the wearer's face, preserving one's human instincts while dressed in imitation of the death birds. Huh. There was an armor too. Raptor's black feathers. Robe crafted with black feathers of birds of prey worn by the assassins of Ravenmount. A ritual implement for transforming to a death bird if only by imitation. Strengthens jump attacks. We are birds of prey, bringers of death. 
Interesting. The jump attack boost is neat. Oh, boss. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's give it a whirl. Why not? We get our. No, oh, wait. I need uh, a little more. A more focus point magic going on there. Let's see what this brings. Who are you? Now. These the uh, vaunted assassins of Ravenmouth. Necromancer Garrus. That stopped him. Good job, Shield guys. Oh no, family heads. <laughs> I got a weapon that's like a stick with a bunch of heads on it. That's nasty. Where is it? Here it is. Three bludgeoning copper heads attached to a handle by chains. Signature weapon of Necromancer Garrus, the heretical sage. Heads are made to resemble those of his wife and two children. Oh, that's so gross. Unique skill, familiar rancor. Gently uh, rattle the copper heads to summon vengeful spirits that chase foes down foes. Anguish of a spouse and children invites a cursed wrath. That is messed up right there. Won't let you stay alive. Yeah, the feed is just a hot mess today. I'm sorry, everyone. We've still managed to raise two thousand dollars today towards the goal that I had. Uh, last last donations were uh, two hundred dollars from Nick Urick. Thanks, Nick. Uh, Ghost Raider with a soup with the uh, donation. Love the videos, and I can't see the whole message. Uh, where are we here? Really need a better offer to show me the details of the donations here, if I can find it. Word it. How do I get to my own stream page again? Oh, there should be some way I can see all my donations. Donations, there we go. Uh, let the videos and your personality keep up the great content. Thanks, Ghost Raider. John with a hundred dollar super uh, hundred dollar donation. Uh, a couple of a couple of anonymous ones. One with a message earlier that I missed, unfortunately, because of the way I was looking at the uh, donations. I want to thank you for streaming games. You and my wife have been watching for a while now. Very entertaining. Great channel, especially when you do streams for charity. Those who care for the cause and your subs, thank you. Well, thank you all for the uh, kind messages and for the donations supporting uh, Covenant House Toronto. Any money we can raise for them, of course, helps to support youth uh, who are homeless and at risk of uh, trafficking. So very, very much appreciated. Dead end, dead. I think uh, I think we're all out of secret walls to hit here. Hey, there's 36 people watching. This is pointless. God. Okay, I can't deal with this anymore. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I intended to stream until midnight tonight, but I, I cannot get a consistent feed. And it's okay now, but. The next time this dies off, I'm just gonna call it for tonight. No more stream. I'll do another another stream this week that will focus on uh, uh, for the charity and try to drive some more donations and stuff. And then I still have a 12-hour stream planned for next Saturday as well, so we'll see how it goes. Um, the feed is looking okay for the moment, so hopefully it will stabilize for a bit. But if it doesn't, I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna call it, and we'll. Uh, We'll add some other days in to try to play catch up for what I missed tonight. Unfortunately, if um, if nobody's watching the stream, like we got 59 people in here right now. That that's a I have a channel with over 100,000 subscribers. I can't keep can't keep even 100 people on because it's so bad. It's kicking people off and awful, just awful. Anyway, oh, there's another boss.
Check your fans' attempts. Might be running hot, making that things act weird. I mean, I don't, I don't think so. But my fans have barely even kicked in. I mean, they run constantly, but they're not. Um, let me check my attempts here. I mean, my my computer's kind of a beast. I don't, I don't think it's a temperature issue, but not impossible. How do I check my temperatures here? Uh, can I get it from my task manager? Performance. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I mean, nothing's getting tapped out. My GPU is running at like 30%. My CPU is running at like 23%. Like, there's nothing that's that's pushing here. I shouldn't be having any issue with temperatures. Resource monitor, I think, will show me temperatures. And maybe not. I don't know. I don't think it's a computer. I, I I mean, I do this kind of stuff all the time, and I I don't have issues, so it can't be that. Something broke. Black Knife Assassin. Such a good assassin, I can't even see him. Oh, there he is. Oh my god! I really couldn't see him. Okay. He's awesome. This is gonna be brutal. I can't even keep track of the guy. They know where he is. Good job, guys. <laughs> it's nothing like fighting an invisible enemy. I can't. E I can't even. It's brutal. What kind of cruel and unusual boss punishment is this? Oh. There's got to be a trick for making this guy visible. There he is. This is ridiculous. Him. It won't. It won't target him if he's, uh, he's invisible. When he comes visible, I can get him for a second, and then he goes away again. It's the, uh, the only thing that's helping is the little shield guys, because they seem to see him even when I don't. This fight's ridiculous. They're literally doing all the work. <laughs> Alright, I won't fight. You guys do it. Good job. I got the kill shot. <laughs> Chill guys for the win. Concealing veil. Does that let me go invisible? That's something I can put on. It seals wearer when crouching away from foes. I don't feel concealed. I don't know. <laughs> Great kill. <laughs> that was the weirdest fight I think I've had in this game. Talisman put together from dark cloth with a lustrous sheen completely conceals the wearer's presence when crouching at a distance from foes. 
part of one of the concealing veils used by assassins on the Night of Black Knives. That's nutty. That is so crazy. That's two bosses we fought in this one little cave. That's so weird. I wonder if there's any other, uh, any other points we can go farther. I don't think we can go any farther down. <laughs> yeah, we can see you! It's not doing a very good job of hiding me. Oh. The water turned off for a minute. You turned off the water! I'm assuming we can't go down there. That looks like death. As much as I want to try it. Chris with a super chat. Already donated to charity. This is for the adult beverages you'll need today. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. I appreciate the super chat. And thank you also for donating to uh, Covenant House. Really appreciate uh, everyone's support for them. Wow. All right. I guess that's it for in here. That was cool. This fight was ridiculous. Honestly, how would you even do that without that ash I used? There's got to be a trick to making them visible somehow. So nutty. I tried it already, you'll die. <laughs> I believe you. Oh, I said good lord. How can you hit what you can't see here? Uh... Man can't stand, you can't fight. Man can't see, you can't fight. Use light to make the maybe. Blue flame torch reveals invisible remains. Oh, does it? I don't blue flame torch. What's that torch? I don't know who you are or why I just killed you, but you're dead now. Where am I? <laughs> I was gonna go get the map fragment, and then I've been busy like doing a whole bunch of other random things here, because that's so I that's how I operate. Perfumer's ruins. I wonder if the flowers will leave me alone until I attack. Oh, are you a perfume? You... Oh, I got a magic. Uh, sure. A focus point left. Perfumer's robe. Who are you? Oh my god, he brings fire! That wasn't perfume. Uh, I'm all out of focus points, too. I can't even use a flask. Um, okay. Ow. Ow. I hurt, dude. I don't like it. They have that mask? Woman killer robes, gloves, boots. Ah, oh, everything but the mask. The mask was the only cool part. Perfumer's cookbook. Number one. Perfume bottles. Smash all the stuff. Maybe there's more things to collect. Need more perfume bottles. We can make Chanel number four.
Imagine if the ringleader had invisibility like the other Black Knight boss. Oh man, that would be so bad. Like he's he's brutal enough as it is. Without adding that in. Oh wait, there was a uh, something overhanging the cliff over here. Over there. More perfume bottles. Oh hey, it's one of these things. Ooh, get out of the perfume! Thank you. Man, that one's far reaching. flowers no oh, I can't craft I guess when I'm in a fight that sucks and butterfly. I'm a bowling ball. I'm a bowling ball. Fighting Audrey too. <laughs> Not a lot of time to do much with playing, dude, I guess, but I, I stepped back out of range. I should have been able to, like, craft something, but... Oh, well. There's treasure chest. Perfumer's Talisman. Hey, what is all this perfuming business? And I'm crafting... Oh, there we go. Spark Aromatic. Uses FP to scatter sparks in a wide area. Uplifting Aromatic. Boosts ally attack power and reduces incoming damage once. Uses FP to release acid mist from the mouth. Oh. I guess that's like what that guy was doing with the fire. Bringing fire from the mouth. Isn't that strange? Neat. Won't let you craft or even open the map if you're aggroed. Yeah. Can't. Yeah. The map's a thing too. That's neat. Okay, so we can make perfume now. Only, uh, it's not the kind of perfume you normally want to sniff. Let's see, it would seem... There's... What is that down there? Oh, that's the, uh... The Royal... Whatever it is. Not the Academy. Something else. Place where Rena's stuff is. A fire halitosis. Oh, is that what that was? Super stinky breath. Gotcha. There is one of those statues there. I bet you there's a crypt under here. Dang it, you're not a hot chick. <laughs> oh. That's very well hidden. I think we had a statue to point us right at it. Oh, this dude's up here, too. Feeling so perfumey now, is he? Rin. Just 
<laughs> yeah, thanks, Jax. <laughs> Unsightly catacombs. Okay. I think I'm going to hold off on going through these catacombs until the next time I play. Uh, we're running up on that 9 o'clock hour. I think we'll transition games again, and hopefully uh, the internet will cooperate a little bit, because uh, up until now, it's uh, it's really not been my favorite thing in the world, I gotta say. Rotten, evil interwebs. I mean, it's been... Oh, I forgot my light. Ah, better. Been fun so far, aside from the uh, aside from the lag and stuff, and we've done a pretty good job of raising some funds for charity as well. We're at uh, two thousand and ninety-five dollars raised. Uh, I had a goal of five thousand dollars. I was hoping to hit today, but I think the uh, internet is certainly not helping. Uh, we had another, uh, let's see, Roo, another anonymous donor. Thanks for doing this. Appreciate the super chat. I'm Peltier with a super, with a or not super chat, a donation, and uh, John Peltier with a donation as well. Keep up the good work. Thank you to everyone who's been able to donate so far. Uh, to Covenant House is certainly a worthwhile organization, uh, doing lots of good things for youth that are in trouble and need the uh, need the help. So all the resources they can get, like something like eighty percent of their operating budget every year comes um, just from donations. So uh, obviously anything that uh, people can do to help uh, is a makes a really big difference. So thank you all very very much. Uh, I'm gonna take a, a quick little break and then uh, and then we'll transition games. Uh, I think we'll be playing uh, some more seven seven days to die. Uh, I'll probably just start a new game rather than continuing where we started off before or where we finished before because uh, it's been a little while since I played uh, and I frankly don't remember what we were up to. <laughs> so we'll, we'll probably just start fresh uh, and run it from there. But uh, I'll be back shortly. I'm just gonna take a quick break. Uh, thank you all. No one decides which country or city they are born in, who their parents are, how they're raised, or what neighborhood they grow up in. No one decides how their story begins, but everyone can decide the next step in their journey. Every day, we see youth walk through our doors feeling powerless. We're here to help them take back their power. We believe every youth is brave and resilient, even if they don't know it yet. We believe every youth deserves the opportunity to heal and realize their full potential. That every youth has the right to food, shelter, emotional support, and safety. We're the coaches, the mentors, the allies, the counselors, the teachers, and so much more. From the small wins to the big wins, we're here every step of the way because no one walks alone. We are Covenant House.
I'm Amy. I did really well in school. I had a lot of friends, but I really hated the way I looked. I started dating Ryan. He just seemed really interested in me. He gave me a lot of attention. I'm Amy. I did really well in school. I had a lot of friends, but I really hated the way I looked. I started dating Ryan. He just seemed really interested in me. He gave me a lot of attention. He loved me. He just made me feel really good about myself. We talked a lot about what we wanted and the future. I was in love with him. After two months, he started telling me he had money problems. He told me his friend's girlfriend was opening a massage parlor and I should go and work there. He told me it would only be for a little while. You know, we would make all this money and buy a house. I was working 12 hours a day. I was in so much pain from having sex. I had this total breakdown and I was crying and I told him, I don't know if I could do this, letting these guys be all over me. He was like, you better figure out how to deal with it because I'm not going to be with a girl who isn't giving me money. And I'm hearing conversations like if we killed her, like we can just bury her somewhere up north and no one will ever find her. I was just so scared. And the thought going through my head is that he really could have killed me. I felt so much shame and guilt. And I still didn't understand that I'd been pimped out. All right, I'm back. Uh, sorry, that last video I know is really dark, but I think it's uh, it's also really important to understand just how important charities like Covenant House really are. Uh, unfortunately, 30% of the youth that they help support have similar stories to what Amy has. Uh, and while that's a, a dramatization in terms of the video, uh, it's based on a real story of someone that they helped. Um, so we're working today to try to help raise money for Covenant House so that they can help support youth who are homeless and who are being trafficked like Amy. Uh, and try to get them some help so that they can they can get away from those kinds of problems and help stand up on their own two feet again. So uh, I know I, I debated a little bit about whether I should play that particular video because I know it's very dark, but I think it's also important for people to understand just how critical places like Covenant House really are to help support youth that really need it. Um, and I think to me, the first time I saw it, I brought a little bit of a tear to my eye, to be honest, because um, as a parent, it's very dark. And to think, and I have daughters, and to think that they could find themselves in that kind of situation is terrible. But at least knowing that places like Covenant House are out there and uh, and providing support so that they can get away from those kinds of problems is a really big thing. Uh, so we're driving to try to raise five thousand dollars in total for uh, for Covenant House. We're streaming twelve hours today, of course. Uh, the the uh, the links that are in the description and in the pinned to the top of the chat uh, will be live right through April second. And I'm having a second twelve hour stream on April second to help raise money for Covenant House. Anything we can do to give them some extra support, I think, uh, is greatly appreciated. Excuse me, and certainly something that uh, that is a worthwhile cause for sure. Uh, so thank you for everyone that's donated so far for uh, helping out youth that uh, that really need it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start a new game, I guess. Um, we're gonna shift over to Seven Days to Die. Uh, now I I'm gonna start a new game rather than continuing one that we had in progress, only because I don't remember exactly what we were up to. Um, I guess we'll just use like a a pre-made map, I guess. I don't, I don't want to use a random random world tonight, I don't think. It takes too long for it to load up. Pre-gen 10k, pre-gen 6k, I don't know. Let's use the pre-gen 8k, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll go with Nomad. Oh, sorry, the game's not showing, is it? Hold on. 
There we go. <laughs> I'm just doing settings right now anyway. It's going to take a little bit for it to uh, fire into the game, as usual. Seven Days to Die is not the fastest loading game in the world. Uh, jog, sprint. I'll leave all the settings the same way as we had it in our last game. Uh, yeah, should be good. Fire it off. I'm muted. I'm not muted. Totally lying, rabbit. Don't mess with me, man. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I can see when my mic when my mic is working. <laughs> what gen is my seven days to die? I'm just using one of the pre-gen ones. This is the pre-gen 8K, uh, as opposed to like a, a randomly generated world. The last one we were playing was a random gen, and I figured this time we would just uh, rather than like waiting a, a super long time for it to to make the world up, which takes forever, unfortunately, uh, we would just play one that's already pre-gen. Face game is muted. Lol. <laughs> oh, I'll use my headset too. That might make it a little easier. How did I die 640 times? Oh shoot. Uh, hold on. Let's turn that off. There we go. <laughs> Those deaths were not from this game. Those deaths were from uh, from Elden Ring. All right. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die. I haven't played this in a hot minute. I swear, every time I come back to this game, I, I, I don't know, I gotta adjust my settings for... Settings for mouse sensitivity. Uh, manuals, UI, blah, 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 gamepad. Oh, wait. Uh, interface sensitivity. Turn that down a little bit. Maybe not too much. Wait. There we go. Look sensitivity, zoom sensitivity. That's a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, every time I come back to this game, I feel like I have to relearn it, because uh, I take too long gaps in between. Oh, we're right on the edge of the nasty zone. Not going there. <laughs> yeah, nice starting point, like right on the edge of the wastelands. Let's, uh, let's not go there. Let's try to, like, go somewhere where there's things that are growing. Captain Bedroll, we gotta get some, uh, some of this fine, lovely grass here. Head roll. Yeah, that was a trader. What I've noticed is that they've uh, they've placed the traders a little bit more conveniently lately. Uh, so they're kind of like they're like right on the edge of things now. Don't axe crafting. Uh, let's get all these things out of my inventory. We'll have the hot bar anyway. I don't need them down here. There we go. Oh, I need my axe. Plant. I get some plant pants. Yeah, I could check the abandoned car there, I guess. Not to say with the traders, you have it over 2k to get to a trader. It, oh, when it's uh, when it gives you the mission to go to the, the the trader, yeah. I'm curious to see if it'll point me to the one that's like right there as soon as we. It'd be really funny if we got through this and it sent me right there. Uh, where are that? Where are this? Craft the wood club. Okay, I gotta get uh, I gotta get more wood and we gotta get some feathers here. I didn't even see a nest yet. Oh, never mind, it points it right at me. That's fine. Oops. Ah, oh, what'd I do? Goes. I don't have any respawns on in the settings, so we might as well just destroy the nest. There's no point letting them sit there since I'm not gonna get anything back from them anyway. Plantist. <laughs> it's a plant abuser! Fine, the plant said it wanted it. Uh, oops. <laughs> I got one arrow. Woo! Go me. Really, is that it? <laughs> I think we got some more stone. Hey, I also need to make some frame shapes. Craft that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Place that. Oops. Ah, upgrade that. Done. We need this campfire, so we gotta get some stone. 
Everybody's got to get stones. I want to disappoint Rabbit and make him think I'm not going to do it. Campfire. Okay, trader. 1.3 kilometers. Yeah, see, it's sending me to the trader that's not in the wasteland, I think. Yep, it's pointing me to a different trader. 1.3 kilometers away. <laughs> that's great. Nothing like... Nothing like sending me to the one that's close by. It's gonna send me far away. It's a light flickering. Okay, let's, uh, wait, fiber. There we go. Let's go with the plant fiber hood. Some plant fiber shoes. Plant fiber gloves. Better. This one we can scrap. Okay. We get some rocks. I can make, uh, oh, here we go. Get a few rocks. We can make a few arrows. Stay away, buffer boss. Stay away. Yeah, I really, really hope we don't have buffering. Oh, look, it's. Oh, I see what it is. I'm on the edge of the. I'm on the edge of the biome. It's dark in one biome and light in the other. That's weird. It's a little freaky. Yeah, congratulations, Rabbit. You got me trained to say something. <laughs> Ashed it. All right. Uh, I want arrows now. More arrows. No, oh, nine of them. Did a couple times at first, but it's stable now. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It's been it's been just hot garbage today, so I don't know. With any luck, it'll hold out. Uh, this is the Navs game, or not the Navs game. This is uh, the pre-gen 8K map. I've never played it, I don't think, so it'll be, uh, it'll be a new one for me. Okay, I was busy gathering stone there, but I'm actually out of feathers, so we can't make any more arrows anyway. Oh, we got points we can spend. Uh, let's go do that. I'm gonna throw something into... Pummel Pete. A little clubs and bats business. Uh, sexual Tyrannosaurus. Uh, let's do... Hmm... <laughs> Advanced engineering, so I can do forges. And... Animal tracking, eluder. Factor... Hmm, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do for the last one. Maybe we'll do archery since I've been doing a lot of... We're doing a lot of bow shooting, I guess. And better barter actually would be a good one too, though. Eh, whatever. Let's, uh, let's, let's get it in the archery, I guess. Flap it in there. Make a tier 2 bow ends up. Oh, I can make a tier 2 club now. Wooden club. Ooh, baseball bat. Yeah, I'm right. I can make one right away. Uh, I need wood. I got wood. More. Give me more. Uh, repaired. There we go. Archery is pretty useful. Yeah, hopefully. Should be anyway. Yeah, there's, there's always bears. Okay, wooden club. Tier 2. This one we can scrap. And we'll put that one in down here. And then I can actually make a new bow. A bit of bow, tier 2. One will scrap. There we go. So it's not awesome, but it's uh, it gives me some some range firepower anyway. For zombie. Back off. Off with his head. 
Yay, there goes the internet again. Hurrah! You know, it's been just all day... All day I keep running into problems with that. It's it's getting very frustrating. If it doesn't clear up in a minute, I'm just gonna not stream tonight. Swear to God. Nothing but internet problems today. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't know if it's my internet or YouTube or what. It's most likely my internet service provider. I've tried resetting the modem. I've tried rebooting the computer. It's just been a hot mess today, unfortunately, uh, which is really sad because I think it's, it's really hindered our ability to help raise money for charity. Um, but all this week, all this coming week, the. Uh, the, the link for making donations to Covenant House will be live, um, and I'll be, uh, pushing it in the streams all week, pretty much. Back to 1080p for now. <laughs> it's been uh been highly inconsistent. Oh, got it. Sniper. Snipe that chicken. I don't have a knife. It's going to be a problem. I guess we could just use the axe. Look, it was just one arrow, lady. Relax. Eight hundred and some odd meters this way. Care to share the name of my? Fr I use Kojiko. It's a cable company. So I have cable internet. May I think my internet might have a maple syrup. It might have. Maybe it is a maple syrup issue. It's not. It's not led to good things today. That's. Let's just. Let's just put it that way. Been suboptimal. Oh, come on. Ah, you know what? Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it. It's not clearing up. This has been an all-day problem, and I'm sure it's horrible for everybody watching the stream. I really apologize that it's been such a, a technology problem today. Killing me. Uh, I had planned to stream until midnight, but... At the rate that this is going, it's just, it's not worth it. I mean, I can't keep a consistent stream going, and so we're we're constantly dropping people. Um, so I think I'm, I'm going to call it for tonight. Um, this coming week, I'll be streaming every night, usually the way I normally do, at like 9 o'clock. Uh, the links that are available in here are going to be live uh, for, uh, for Covenant House will be live right through April 2nd. Um, so you'll be able to make a donation anytime between now and April 2nd. And then next Saturday, I'm also doing a 12-hour live stream. Uh, where we'll again play a variety of games so that um, we can try to, you know, check out uh, some a uh, little bit more fun and some other things. Uh, we did so far today, though, raise $2,175. So thank you so much to everyone who's donated. It uh, It is hugely appreciated, and I know that uh, the money is going to be going to a very good cause. Uh, I'll keep pushing this all this week as we try to uh, try to raise some more money for Covenant House. 
and uh, do the best we can for them and their main mission. But thank you so much to everyone who came to hang out today. Uh, I apologize for all the uh, the wacky uh, internet lag problems. I can't uh, can't get a handle on those. It's been awful. Um, so you know we'll try again next weekend, and then hopefully uh, this week things will be okay too. But uh, thanks so much, everyone. I really do appreciate it. I'm as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.